on a 65 degree night in Northern California. The championship coronation continues here at Oracle oh, Arena yeah. in Oakland. Better than 20,000 have packed the house. It's the 135th consecutive season of sellouts. Now it is time to get the new season going with the newly added championship banner up in the rafters. It's the Golden State Warriors facing Anthony Davis and his New Orleans Pelicans. And the crowd still in a festive mood. Andrew Bogan, who broke his nose, gets a nice pass to Curry. Bogan playing with a protective mask. A broken nose suffered during the course of preseason is Cunningham. Dante Cunningham firing high off glass. Curry facing a triple team, fires and hit. Steph Curry, the NBA's MVP last season. He averaged just under 24 a game. Golden State Warriors last season, 39 and 2 here at home. Oh, Bogan off the pass from Curry. Love watching the penetration. Why is Curry such a threat? The easiest person to guard is a selfish player. He's not selfish. He gets others involved. Difficult to check. And pass. Here comes Curry. Curry all the way. Warriors up by three. Curry right back from downtown. That goes to work every night for Curry. Knocking down another opening. And how about Kendrick Perkins with an onslaught. Eight points and Steph Curry has opened up with sensational shooting. Not exactly a surprise. He now has 12 points. On the back tap. Here comes Curry. He has Thompson on the left wing. Curry pulls it up. And hits a long three for oh. Steph Curry. He's a human video game. Usually in video games, the percentages of threes are really off skew. But he really shoots like a video game. Smith all over Curry. Curry with the step. And he calls the foul. Ish Smith last season with Oklahoma City and Philadelphia. Green able to take it on that deflection. And knocks it down. Golden State has hit its last seven shots. Open shot for Curry. Oh, what a move on the pass from Green. A sizzling start for the MVP. Four for five from downtown. He has 20 points in his first quarter. Here's Curry putting moves on. Curry to the rim. He scores! Made the move on the seven foot two. Argentina. 22 points for Curry. And again, it is Steph Curry, and that is an all time high. 24 points for a first quarter for Curry. Beautifully done. Curry got it to Bogut who just came back in. Green for three. Chased down by Curry. Curry getting off to the terrific start. Draws the foul. And it counts. He'll get the ball. Yes, and the bucket. Green with a hook pass. Beautifully done. He got it to Curry who found the cutter. Bogut. Oh, beautiful pass. Curry on the hop for Bogut. Final seconds of the first half. Curry. Spinning on Gordon, gets the step, fires it up, and scores! He taps to the second left, in the half. And if you're the Pelicans, you're still within striking distance. You want to make sure that you take great shots, as you see right there. Golden State getting a great shot for Bogan inside. The Warriors' first title since back in 1975. The Rick Barry Al Addo's led Golden State Warriors. Foul is called on Perkins, took it out of the hands. Of Curry. Let's check it with Craig Sager for more on Anthony Davis. Well, I talked to Alvin Gentry at halftime. He says his biggest concern is getting Anthony Davis more comfortable out there. He said he's trying to force it. Beautiful backdoor. Bogan and Curry. Once you get able to combine, what a game for, for Steph Curry. 37 points. And how about Bogan? He's six for six from the field with five assists. Arbosa fires. Kept alive by Iguodala. Curry is open for three. Yes. Steph Curry from downtown. That's his fifth three-pointer. 40 points for zero for Curry. Final seconds. So the defending champs win the opening. 111 to 95. 
Welcome to the NBA Friday Night Game presented by State Farm. Tonight in Houston, Texas, it's a Western Conference Finals rematch between the defending champion Golden State Warriors and the hometown Rockets. Last time Stephen Curry and James Harden met, they were hugging it out with confetti falling, the Warriors having claimed the West. Stephen Curry's gotten off to a scintillating start this year, a 24-point first quarter in the Warriors opener. Meanwhile, James Harden and the Rockets trying to bounce back from a 20-point loss in their opener. Curry will pop and hit. You can't give him that space. Well, we saw that he's the best three-point shooter off the dribble that I've ever seen. I mean, that, that is just the way he can release it and balance up off the dribble. You've got to stop him way above the three-point line. And you can't give him space like that. Yeah. Coming off of his body to try to shoot the gap on pin downs it is a mistake. Curry pulls up from 30 and knocks it down. Here's Curry, the crossover, step back. He got hit by Harold. And Stephen Curry will go to the line and the crowd's not gonna like that. Curry, the dish, what a feed. The breakdown, the delivery, and then Azili putting the cherry on top. Well, how does a reigning MVP improve in the offseason? How about with neurological drills? Looking at lasers and helping his brain function on the basketball court. Take a listen to Stephen Curry talking about how he improves. It's a cognitive and neurological drill that helps you, one, takes your mind off the basketball. Um, because when you're in a game, that should be the last thing you're thinking about. There's so many other variables out there that you have to, to kind of survey, you know, where your defender is, where your teammates are, where you are in relation to the basket and, and making reactions. So um, those lights kind of train you in that, that regard. You have to you know, see what the color is, make a, a determination of what move that, that corresponds to, make, execute the move, and then finish the jumper. Pretty cool routine, innovative, technological for Stephen Curry on how he gets better as Thompson connects on the long two on the delivery from Curry. Lawson into the teeth of the D, had it poked away. Curry will lead Iguodala to the rim. He got hit, no call, does finish. Got clock at five. Harden, the breakdown. Into traffic, can't finish in green, the strong-handed rebound. Green sees Curry. He got it. Share with me some of the things that Kurt went through. July 28th, he had surgery to repair a ruptured disc. And because of that surgery, they nicked what's called the dura. And the dura is the covering of the nerves, and it covers spinal fluid for the spine and the brain. Jones, and he just hasn't looked quite right all night. Thompson leaking out for the finish on the delivery from Curry, and Kevin McHale wants to talk it over. Curry, the floater is good. First points of the second half for Stephen Curry, who has 19, five to shoot. Jones, difficult look. Almost got it to go, and Barnes on the rebound. Here comes Curry, switched up on Jones. Curry trying to break him down. He does, the floater is good. 21 for Stephen Curry. Lawson ducks under, banks it off, and the rebound grab by Spates. Can Green catch up with it? He can to Curry for two. Curry finds Spates and the finish. Beautiful look from Curry and Maurice Spates having a huge fourth quarter. Curry gets loose. Stephen Curry with 25 now. Well, the Houston Rockets will lose the first two games of the season at home for the first time in Houston history, the first time since they were in San Diego. Steph, you didn't have 40 tonight. What was wrong? We came out and, you know, started off the game like we were supposed to with a lot of energy. Defensively, we we, uh, we came out and did what we were supposed to do. So uh, I don't need to score 40 every night for us to get a win, but uh, just trying to do my part. Two playoff games, two playoff uh, playoff opponents, two blowouts. You guys look like you're almost in midseason form. You feel that way? I mean, we got a long way to go, but this is obviously a great start. Um, there's no championship hangover. We're all focused and committed to uh, the, the new journey. So, um, you know, we got that celebration out the way, and now we're 2-0 um, just on our way. So we just got to keep building, 
Uh, keep looking ahead. It looks like the defense is really playing with a lot of intensity. That's the that's the biggest part of our game. Our team is our versatility, um, being able to throw different lines out there for different situations, but knowing our defense is going to hold us up. So no matter how we shoot, whether we're home on the road, we know that's that's what's going to help us get wins and what's help us win a championship. So uh, we got to rely on that. Thanks, Seth. See you, guys. Welcome to opening week presented by Cricket Wireless inside the blender. The Smoothie King Center, Bob Fitzgerald, Jim Barnett with you. And the home opener for the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans 0-2, Warriors 2-0. And, and having already met at Oracle on ring night with the Warriors winning by 16. Draymond rolling this time. Draymond, a nice hook pass from Steph Curry. Well, Curry, who dropped 40 on this club on Tuesday night, looking to be a playmaker right now. Drew Holiday missing the left. And here comes Steph running with friends. Behind the back to Harrison Barnes, but Cunningham met him up top. Davis switched out on Curry. And Steph shot that from Mississippi. That was a 30 footer. Steph Curry moving without the ball. Draymond fed him perfectly. So it's Ish Smith, Tony Douglas with Anthony Davis, Omer Ashik, and Dante Cunningham. Tony Douglas, a former Warrior. As I said, he played 12 games with them last year. He's in there for defense against Curry. And that means Curry has a chance, like he did against Della Vadova, not to settle for the three. And Curry, he's hitting threes that defy description right now. And rebounding, a lot of times, is just finishing off the defensive stop. You're getting the Pelicans to miss. You're just not rebounding the ball. And well, it's nice to get, we talk about help defense, but sometimes you do leave someone a lane to get a rebound. Steph Curry, beautiful teardrop. Just more size on Anderson. And McAdoo played the defense, and there were four slate jerseys on the glass. Lane Thompson in transition. And this is when the Splash Brothers start to work together. Clay's got 14, Steph's got a dozen. Draymond, that trail three off the Curry creation. Boy, has he come a long way from year one, hasn't he? Steph zigzagging. And getting to the line. Did a great job of just leaning in enough to draw the foul and get the call. Steph Curry getting banged around, and Harrison Barnes able to put it down and draw the foul. How what pretty a play. was that? What a play by Curry. People hanging all over me, weaves in and out. Oh, man. I got to clear it out so he goes one-on-one -on -one with Davis. Steph a deep three. Hit another one. And Davis just doesn't believe he's going to shoot from that far away. Curry. And to the line. Oh, he came down. His eyes got wide. He, there was no way Alonzo G is going to stay with Steph and Curry. Can the Warriors start to assert themselves here? Curry three. Rimming in. You were so worried about those ones that rimmed out last night. Some of them bounce in. He's got to have a little luck there, too, and that's good. Soft touch. Steph again. The human torch. Absolutely heating up here in the third, and Alvin Gentry takes time. Steph setting up Clay Thompson. Never get easier than that. Yeah, you were talking about Stephen Curry taking over, stepping up the level of intensity. He said, every year I get more experience and I start to see things better and I play within myself. He says, every best player has to learn to become more efficient. Well, well how about efficient on that? A stop and pop jump shot from 18 feet. Draymond with a three. They just play, they play much better when it's a little loose. Shot clock at seven. And Curry just took it from him. Curry going right back. Curry down the lane to lay it up and in. Well, he schooled him. And Holiday eventually gave up on the play. Steph Curry with a 15-point third quarter. And there's still five minutes left in the third. Steph Curry, another three. I'm telling you, you could not be defended any closer than Tony Douglas. He was wearing him like a sweater. Curry around the corner to the rim again. 20 in the quarter. Raymond's got Anderson and Livingston the steal. The push ahead to Steph has got to beat Babbitt. Goes around the back to lay it in. Oh what a play! 
away. 22 in the third quarter. I just hope someone captures this third quarter for Stefan. What's he and, got? And the lane again. Oh. 24. 24 in the first quarter opening night. 24 here in the third. Davis missing. Iguodala with a nice box out. They're going to go two for one here, so watch Curry may get a quick one. Heat check. And a four-point play opportunity. Oh. Hits the three. Draws the foul. He's got 43. 43 in the game. Steph reheats. Yes, he can. So the game kind of hanging there right now. The Warriors put the Pelicans away. That three will go a long way. Draymond off the Curry delivery. Clay Thompson curling out that three. And the Pelicans still alive until Curry steals it. And Barnes has the dunk. That is a big play. That's a changing game play there. Steph drawing all that attention. How about 47 for Steph Curry? Got Babbitt switched out on him. Curry for three! And 51! <laughs> he makes believers out of it, but they still don't get up any closer. Curry is going to go to the line. He hits New Orleans for 40 opening night. And sitting on 52 right now. No. 53. Curry with a steal. Push ahead for Draymond to lay it up and in. Just a few games in the month of October in the NBA, right? Do they have a player of the month for October? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do they have a player of the month for, you know, the four days that you play in October? If they do, we know who it is. Uh, the two-game road trip is over. Warriors win it 134 to 120. Curry spectacular. They beat New Orleans, they beat Houston, they beat New Orleans to begin the defense of the NBA title. And for Steph Curry, what a fun game on Halloween. We won't forget this one anytime soon. He gets the assist to Barnes. And then takes upon himself a little stop and pop three. Several over Anthony Davis tonight. Takes Alonzo G. Steph, 28 points in the third quarter. As, it, as you were starting to heat up, did you let the game, did you let the shots come to you, or were you looking for your shots? Man, when you get a, a big quarter like that, it's a little bit of both. I got some team, uh, some screens off pick and roll and off the ball that got me some free looks. And then out of that, you start to get creative and try to be more aggressive uh, and test out the hot hand. So um, it's a little bit of both and just having confidence. So far this season, it looks like you're getting very comfortable taking deep, 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 deep threes. Are you working on that? I mean, what is your range? Is there anywhere that you hesitate? I mean, within reason, but uh, I hope that I keep making them. I, you know, it gives me that much more confidence. If, if uh, you miss a couple in a row, you might want to get a little bit closer, but keep shooting. But I mean, I, as long as I'm making them, I'll keep taking them within the within rhythm. You know, you mentioned to me yesterday, part of your improving off of an MVP season is continuing to trust your teammates. How does trusting your teammates help you perform? I mean, it just allows us to be more of a powerful offense. Um, when I get going and then, you know, being able to draw a defender or double teams or what have you, move the ball and everybody gets touches and everybody is able to get some shots and some good looks. We're a tough team. We've got so much talent out there. So I want to try to come out and be consistent and get everybody involved and um, you know, also look for my shot and, and, uh, and make it happen. You had 40 against the Pelicans opening night, 50, over 50 here. Is it something that the Pelicans are giving you or is this going to happen to anyone in the league? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I come out every game with the same mentality, trying to just uh, leave an imprint on the game. So, um, you know, hot start to the season. I want to try to keep it going. And we're 3-0 and in the process, so that's all that matters. All right, thanks, Seth. Congrats. Congrats. A week at home for the Warriors inside Oracle, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And the MVP is playing like the best player in the league. Bring on the skill of Curry, the size of the Grizzlies, the Warriors in Memphis coming at you, brought to you by Cricket Wireless. Tony Allen, you've given that shot all day, and it's an air ball three. Great defender, but a liability with the offense again. Steph Curry, he can hit threes. Hey! Flat foot jumper, Zach Randolph. He's good to about 20 feet with no one on him. Field 
goal and the foul. And you get a look at the tempo that the Warriors want to play, and Curry pushed it immediately. How do the Warriors finish the half here? Curry! The lefty flip, the foul, and the free throw. It's tough to get by Conley. Clay, there's the free one, and he hits a three. So Clay Thompson with a dozen, and the Splash Brothers at 21. And Tremont saved a turnover. Just how you draw it up, Jim, as Curry hits the jumper. Tony Allen attacking, Curry picked his pocket. Step off to the races. Clay Thompson leaking out to lay it in. Biggest lead of the night. Memphis takes time. Oracle begins to boil. Well, we always talk about the Warriors, all their offense. Everybody just thinks about that. We have a lot pretty to watch, particularly that guy. Steph but Curry hitting a three. But, but they play defense, as we've seen tonight. Curry stealing the inbound. Curry flipping it up and in. Another foul. Another flip. And another free throw. This was actually a reverse layup controlled better than the one he missed going under Gasol. He knows the defender's coming. He knows where Courtney Lee is. On opening night, the NBA had a panel called The Game. I was involved with Rick Barry and Jerry West. And they were talking about Steph Curry. And Rick Barry was marveling at Curry's left hand. Yes. He, he said, I've never seen a guy with a left hand of that quality. Curry with a steal. Curry in a foot race again, hang and finish! And he was expecting Jermichael Green to jump, so he had to improvise, which he does extremely well. Courtney Lee, tough take, couldn't finish. The Grizzlies are shooting 26%. Curry, the three, yes sir! Well, you're not talking it. The timeout save some of these for a week and a half from now. Conley sent away again. Block number 11. Courtney Lee still can't finish. There's a lid on that basket. Curry? No. Yes! Come on! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, supernatural. Who hits that shot? 25 in the game. 16 in the quarter. Marcus all missing. Matt Barnes can't finish. Best is knocked it away. Iguodala in motion again. Curry one more time. And he, was he fouled? He was. Three free throws. Courtney Lee missing there, but you highlighted at the top of the tunnel cast, Jim. Memphis is one of 14 on threes. Yep. The great interior game, but the league is getting to the three-point line. It's Curry with the floater. That's Remus Batley. Curry on the handle. Hackadoo running the floor. He's fouled as he dunks it home. How about the timing on that? Stephen Curry goes behind the back. There was a purpose there. He let the flow come by going behind the back, okay? Just a little bit of extra time. Brings defenders out. Gives time for McAdoo to get directly in front of the basket. The Warriors have played four games. Curry had a 24-point quarter against New Orleans, a 28-point quarter against New Orleans, a 21-point quarter against Memphis, we got a 20 or more quarter in three of their four games. And the Warriors win by 50. They moved to 4-0 all against playoff teams a year ago. And a new franchise record, 20 straight wins at home. And the Clippers looming Wednesday night at Oracle. Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. It's the home of the NBA champion, Golden State Warriors. With a big man on campus is number 30, Stephen Curry. Last year's MVP is picked up where he left off in four games. 37 points per game on 59% shooting. He's gone for 40 twice. He even went for 53. Add in that he's fourth in the NBA in steals, six assists, five rebounds, and he's led his Warriors to a dominating 
a 4-0 start. As the celebration in some ways seems like it's continuing from last year when the Warriors won their first NBA title in 40 years after defeating the Cleveland Cavaliers in six games. And they have started the defense of their title quite well. Draymond Green misses. Harrison Barnes the rebound. Curry, his first shot of the night. Azili catches the Curry pass and throws it down. Jeff, what makes them so good defensively, Golden State? Well, they had similar sized players as Curry gets the wide open three <laughs> off the great screen by Draymond Green. Curry, quick release. And is fouled on the three point attempt as Wesley Johnson picks up his third. Curry. Oh! Counted and a foul! Ball stolen by Curry. Curry fourth in the league in steals on this young season. Azili slams it down. Nice fake on the feed from Curry. Curry for three. And right now, the, the Clippers are getting messed up on their switches. Curry for three. Puts it in. Warriors back on top. Curry again for three. Bang! Mike again coming off to his left on the dribble. Your big man against 95% of the players in this league can be back in the lane, but not against Steph Curry. Curry gets out, corner three, puts it in. They say a two-pointer is put on the line. Curry, long distance. It's good! Steph Curry from way downtown! Those are incredible shots, but I'm surprised that DeAndre Jordan has repeatedly made the mistake of giving him too much space. Crawford has it, looking for a screen. Obviously, they're looking for a three. Crawford forces it up, blocked by Thompson. Ahead now to Green, and that will do it. And the Golden State Warriors improve to 5-0 with a thrilling come-from-behind win over their rival Clippers. Steph, your first close game of the season. How are you able to dust off the cobwebs and get down to this late-game execution style again? Uh, our experience as a team together. We've been through this uh, situation before, not this year, but playoffs last year, the last three years. I mean, you remember that stuff, and everybody made plays. Harrison knocking down threes. Andre handling the ball, playing defense. Draymond making big plays. Um, team effort to be down eight in the fourth and come back and win. How do you explain this 5-0 and start you guys are off to? We're better than we were last year. That's, uh, that's the In what ways? Uh, I think we're just more composed. We, we get off to better starts uh, than we did last year. Our defense is obviously, you know, championship level. So uh, I think we're just a mature, composed basketball team. And no matter what all the noise is around between us and them and anybody else in the league, it's really about what happens on the floor, and that's what we're focused on. Thanks a lot, Steph. Finishing off a week at home on a Friday night. The Denver Nuggets in town taking on the Golden State Warriors, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. Steph Curry was the seventh pick in the draft. He became the cornerstone of the Warrior franchise. The Denver Nuggets had the seventh pick in the draft, and they would like Emmanuel Moutier to be much the same. The point guard matchup, the one to look at tonight. See, they double jump Steph there, and Clay Thompson makes some pay. Will Barton was acquired mid-season for Portland a year ago. Gonna start tonight, missing the jumper. Curry with a moving screen from Draymond. Harrison Barnes for three. Penetration brings defenders. And no one can break down perimeter defenders like Stephen Curry this year. This game is beautiful as Harrison Barnes puts it in. Well, they're getting points outside and inside. Steph Curry. This is the driving layup and the threes are easy for him. I see why you like Barton in the open floor, but he could down a nice block. And here come the Warriors. Back and forth we go. Curry deep three. Well, you and I talked about it, Bob. He's extended his range this year.
and he's Which moved, is remarkable. He's moved from Alameda out to Berkeley. <laughs> he, he's otherworldly, that's for sure. Clay Thompson running the floor. Denver's got to stop it again. Well, the Warriors keep coming at you. They keep moving the ball, so they've got the guys in blue hit, turning their heads, and they can't find everyone. And you keep it moving that much in a half-court situation. This is an easy call. Steph with a steal, but Jameer Nelson the foul. That's got Gallinari on a switch. Fly by, three on the way. That wrist action of his is beautiful to see. Steph Curry. And there is the highest scoring quarter of the season for the first for the Warriors. Beautiful. Steph back to Festus. Oudier, we mentioned he's been making threes, but missed there. Curry off to the races in a foot race with Moutier and laid it up and in. Step behind the back. Clay Thompson three. And that would have been the highlight of the night. Draymond went straight up. Beautiful defense. Jason Thompson. I love Curry getting in the ball there. Curry on the flyby, the reload, and the three! And yet Gallinari is in the vicinity. Steph Curry with a fadeaway three! He's got 20 and he's made six threes on his tail tips. In a half. Steph finding Draymond, he slipped the screen and rolled to the bucket nicely. His team hasn't gone away at all. The reload and the three! Give Festus the credit. He gets the offensive rebound, gets the assist. Steph picked the pocket. Ricochets right to Gallinari. Steph took it away again, and he's fouled. And a 30-point lead. It's at 16 right now. And that guy's are just playing better basketball. Well, that's calling him 27-13 in the quarter. Steph, little teardrop. When you lean and lower your shoulder, <laughs> you're going to get an offensive foul every time as Curry rails another three. Yeah, he just needed the double clutch and have two people run by him. Right, that was it. Steph Curry with a veteran move to the baseline around the rookie Jokic. It's a natural tendency to do so. Did this count? Field goal and the foul for Steph Curry. All the starters basically back in now. Festus, Draymond, Steph, Clay. Clay Thompson hitting the three. You, you can see struggles from the corner. And Steph, great defense on Moutier there. With a lot of contact breaking out of the pack. The Warriors will remain the last lone undefeated team in the NBA. And they do it 119 104 and get ready for the kings tomorrow night in sacramento a busy weekend of basketball continues here in sacramento as the world champion golden state warriors run onto the floor for the first time this year here at sleep train arena kings shorthanded they are going to have their hands full and here is Azili, and it's 2 nothing. Azili's made remarkable progress each year in the league and really playing at a level higher than uh, Bogut is. Uh, Rudy Gay with a Rudy trade. And that's a great sign for the game. It sure is. Nice drive by Rajon Rondo. Yeah, it looked like Festus Azili got just a fingertip on that, but Rondo had it up uh, with enough pace to get that sweet kiss off the window. So, us. Uh, Kings off to a great start. Barnes gets it and mails it home. Oh, what a nice take to the basket by Rajon Rondo. Now, Rondo being aggressive has been going right at Steph Curry. Shot clock at five seconds. Thompson into the hands of Curry, and he has his first basket. Curry having a slow start to this one. 18 to 12. And a nice setup to Willie Cauley Stein from Rondo. Rondo gets by Barbosa. And again, the setup to Willie Cauley Stein. Beautifully done by Rajon Rondo. Mo Spates, not close. Draymond Green comes down with it. Now it's Barbosa. His three is no good. 
And the Warriors, one of 14. Here is Ben McLemore, and the Kings get a fast break basket. What direction would you go from there? Would you go west or would you go east and circle back? How would you handle that? Anywhere would be okay as Marco hits one from behind the Arco, so maybe a Bellinelli can get a hot hand. Thompson. Little hesitation, missed the jumper, rebound Rondo. That's his eight. Kufis with the little half hook. And the Kings are within four points. Just fine. Costa Kufis right in the within seven or eight foot of the basket. You know, had Draymond Green got away from Quincy AC, then uh, Costa could have been in a position to help as we see two you pointer. Know, you know who Steph Curry get a shot to go down. Three pointer. And Kufis off the Barnes miss. Anderson to the basket. Boy, good look from Rajon Rondo. The ball got out quickly, then Rajon pushed it, found the open cutter. Let's see if Rondo can hit a side pop. Yep. Yes, he can. Rondo, Rondo. As, as Steph Curry starting to play his way into the offensive fray. That's seven for Curry. Here's Thompson. 56-55. Can Bell and Ali make two in a row? Nope, short. That was way outside the arc. Here's Curry. There's Curry. And the basket. Well, spectacular crossover by Steph Curry to get to the hoop. Steph Curry, 0 of 7. And there's Clay Thompson with the basket. Curry has not made a three-pointer, as I said, 0 of 7. Rudy Gay will tee up a three. Here's Curry. Aspie had a good shot, and Rudy had a good shot. Curry splits the defense and scores. Well, he's got a chance to be pretty good, Hunter. <laughs> you know, if he keeps working at his game, I think he's going to have a fair career. Now watch this. this is, uh, I don't know what to do here. He's off balance, but he, he always has a presence. And you notice as he's falling, losing his balance, he's looking at the basket. See you later. Curry has 14, 67 to 55. Here's a steal. Bellinelli, three on two. Give and go. Beautiful basketball there. Very unselfish play, and a good defense turns into an easy basket. Caspi from downtown. Omri oh, Caspi, probably the best three point shooter on the Kings right now. Nice inbounds pass, and Caspi makes it a two point game. What a slashing. Omri Caspi again coming up huge. Look at Willie Cauley Stein keep that alive and Rondo has the basket. Kept that alive and Rondo got an easy hoop. McLemore in the crouch defending Barnes. In and out. Four point game. Nice pass from Rondo to Bellinelli. That's the 12th assist for Rondo. He's two points away from a triple-double. How about that setup to Willie Cole this time for Rondo? That's his 13th assist. Rondo sees the entire game and everything going on. Natural playmaker. Rondo, triple-double for Rondo. 10 points, 13 assists, 12 rebounds. One point Sacramento lead. We're going to look at our forward right choice, and it's nail-biting time for Curry and the Warriors because he has not made a three. He comes into the game with 79 consecutive games with a three, including 76 on the road. Tonight he is 0 of 8. He has really struggled uh, shooting the basketball, no doubt about it. Not a typical Steph Curry game. you got to give the Kings some credit for that. I think that you see uh, not a normal night. He's found ways to score, some very creative ways, as he always does. But really, Steph has probably made more ball handling mistakes uh, tonight when he would normally make a three game. So uh, things have really been aggressive. You see the six turnovers and only three assists. So obviously one of the reasons the Kings are in a great position to get a huge win against these powerful Golden State Warriors. Curry. And the streak continues. <laughs> this is a good thing we did that uh, little segment, huh? Nice defense by Kufis. Kings still breathing, but barely. Nice little flip off the glass by Rudy Gay. Six point game. Here's Curry. 
So his second three ball. 42 seconds left. He is Steph Curry. Yes, he is. And oh, he gave strong to the basket. That was a spectacular take by Rudy. Nobody going to deny that. Boy, look at this guy dribble the ball. We were talking with Jim Barnett, the longtime TV analyst for the Warriors, and he said that Curry actually became a better ball handler with the work that he put in in the offseason. He said he's dribbling the ball as well as he ever has. He said it's like the He's got a string attached to the ball. Yeah, it reminds you some at, at some point a little bit like Steve Nash. Yeah. Been, I don't think he's there yet. And there's Rondo. He's got 12. 99-92. Oh, Steph actually looked like he lost his footing, but was able to draw the foul as he's going down. Here's Rondo, two more. 101 to 94. And the Golden State Warriors remain undefeated. They go to 7 and 0 and Sacramento with the loss. They are now 1 and 6. That's going to do it from Sacramento as the Warriors win it 103 to 94. We're back with you on Monday as the Kings take on the Marcus Aldridge and the rest of the Spurs. Coverage at 630 with Kings pregame live for Katie and Jerry. Grant Napier is saying don't go anywhere because King's Post Game Live starts. A little Monday night basketball at Oracle where the world champs get ready to take on the Detroit Pistons. Warriors want to defend the home court, keep the winning streak alive at 22. Does it grow to 23? And they have all their big men back in the building. Andrew Bogut has been cleared and will play tonight. They'll need him because Detroit presents a big challenge. Steph Curry stepping into the passing lane. Steph weaving through the piston defense and floating it in. Well, he's brought energy, you can see. Play, that's a tough take and a tougher bucket. Marcus Morris missing there. Draymond, the Saginaw, Michigan native, playing Detroit always special. And Clay Thompson all the way to the rim. Contavious Caldwell Pope expected him to stop and shoot the three, which he often does. The angle is critical in setting screens. The angle that the man's coming off in relationship to the basket. You had Ilya Silva hit a three, but Clay Thompson responds. And Clay off to a nice beginning three of three. Beautiful. Steph Curry drew the defense, and Festus is really learning how to roll. Steph with the steal. Foot race with Stanley Johnson. Curry to the rim, and he is clubbed. Curry, right off the bench, right into the basket. Another three. So 81 straight games. Third longest streak in NBA history with a three made. Raymond on the kick out. Better pass. The flyby, return it. Wide open. Good! And that's Warrior basketball. Oh, that's already got to please Luke Walton there. Curry to the rim with a left hand. Clay hey. Thompson, well executed out of bounds play. Clay Thompson with the flyby and the three. Good patience and a good find from Andre Vidala. How about that off a made three? The Warriors get that in transition. Shot clock off. Warriors playing for one. Steph down the lane to lay it in. Oh, I love that little hesitation. He made Ilyasev a stop defending. Beginning the second half, Drummond nearly spiked one down. Warriors fortunate there. Hey, Thompson's got that look in his eye, Jim. 14 points and the jumper looks good. Yes, it does. Jackson's always looking to get to the right. They get him pinched there and they get a breakout. Beautiful push ahead from Steph Curry to Draymond Green. It starts with the defense of Clay Thompson pushing him off the floor. Oh, well, Paul. Harassed into that miss by Steph Curry. One on four break. A one on four break, and he hits a three. Four guys back defensively, and the MVP said, you don't have any defense for this. Reggie Jackson, shot clock at three. Drive, and just kind of a flail. And Harrison setting up Clay Thompson, his three. Push and pull it from three.
The whole bench looked over. Coach, are we taking a timeout? Marcus Morris. Steph Curry with the rebound. Harrison Barnes to the rim. What a play by Curry. He gets the rebound. He squeezes out between two men and just flies ahead to Harrison. Although Pope is staying right with Steph. He fouled him there. And that'll be three free throws. Warriors did not try to push it up for a two for one. They only had 35 seconds, and they're just going to try to get a good shot. He lost it. He lost it, somehow got it back and laid it in. Logan well, setting up Clay Thompson. That's pretty. He just took with the defense and getting a jump shot. Curry got the screens this time. Draymond and Festa said, we'll get that guy off you. And when they did, you got a T on him, Stan Van Gundy. Draymond missing that. Clay Thompson, three. He's back. Good game for him. Great shooting game. You know what's been remarkable in this game, Jim? It's been a pretty competitive game, right? Yes. It's been a lot of fun. We've had one lead change and one tie. Detroit led 2-0, and the game was tied at 2. They'd get within 4, get within 6. They just could not get back over the head. And give credit to the Warriors. Warriors win it 109-95. Pistons, very good effort. But these are the world champs. In Memphis, Tennessee, the FedEx Forum, it is Veterans Day. The Xfinity starting lineups tonight. It'll be Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Harrison Barnes, Draymond Green, and Festus Azili. Steph Curry down the lane, putting it up and in. Steph Curry, three, yes sir. Great ball movement around the horn. Steph on the overplay of the steal. Curry in a foot race with Conley, running with Barnes, Harrison to the rim. Memphis, you would think, would come out like a house of fire having been beaten by 50 points. And yet, they have 13 in the first quarter in their own building. Well, the Warriors can take the fire out of you. And Harrison Barnes hitting that three. And they can put the fire into the net. Russ Smith. Michael Green, a nice finish over Azili. He warded him off with a free arm and was able to finish. Uh, Green is tough. And he loves to get into the basket area. Steph Curry likes to do the same. How about that little move? Gets a body and just gets a little advantage and scoops it with the left. Saul got Clay on a switch. He knocked it away initially, took it away a second time. Steph Curry in between the teeth of the defense, laying it in and drawing the foul. Oh, he understands pace. Steph Curry, beautiful knock away. The push ahead to Iguodala, and he's got the dunk. Curry down the lane to lay it up and in. Okay, that's, that's toughness right there. And Curry another steal. Forgot the ball, Russ Smith. Good effort. Banged into Curry again. And he banked it in! He banked into three looking for a foul. He had no intention of really taking that shot except for he thought, he thought a whistle was coming. Out of all the whistles we've had all night, there wasn't one there and Steph still threw in a three. Still hang tough with that lead. Steph Curry to lay it in and draw the foul. What a screen by Harrison Barnes. Well, Russ Smith disappeared. Harrison, that was a tremendous screen. Steph read it beautifully, and he was gone with a three-point play. Big quarter for Steph. He's got 23. Where would they be without it? 14 in the third. Again, they've got an eight-point lead. They're withstanding everything that Memphis can bring. Curry knocking it away. Steph Curry to beat the buzzer. Good! Another three! That may be deeper than the one he threw off the board. The steal, the three, as time expired. What a sequence to finish the quarter and get double-digit lead again. Steph Curry with a steal. Tracking him down, Mike Conley, and that'll be a goal 10. Warriors are awfully good. Yes, they are. They moved to 9-0. They've beaten Memphis twice now, New Orleans twice now, Houston as well. These are playoff teams they vanquished from a year ago. Steph Curry, that 
flurry at the end of the third quarter. That, that put Memphis away, and the Warriors win it by 16. Memphis played very good defense. They were physical. They bothered the Warriors. But the brilliance of Steph Curry for that 17-point third quarter. You mentioned, Jim, without the, the jumper really on, it was all the different drives. And then sometimes even the inexplicable. Against tough defense, rugged defense, even when he thinks he was going to get fouled with no call and then a steal at the end of the third quarter to knock down that three, he just fights through everything. His will is so tremendous. He just plays right through everything. And Roz is alongside the MVP. Steph. <laughs> When you hit those crazy circus shots, are you aware of how demoralizing that is for the other team? I mean, yeah, on the road you hear the crowd and it's kind of fun, but uh, the the one I thought I was trying to draw a foul, that's one a, a coach would never never tell you to take no matter how well you're shooting. Um, but I felt contact and obviously thankfully it went in because there was no call, but um, just a good way to end the third quarter um, and open the game up for us. How about that? that swished runner to end the third. You knew it was good? Nah, I had to watch it the whole way. Um, I like buzzer beaters in, in, in this arena. It's pretty cool. But uh, like another, we call it big, big mo. Um, big momentum to end a quarter where you can um, close out on a, on, a, on a strong note. And um, you know, hopefully in the fourth, we could keep that momentum going. Yeah, closing out on a strong note, when the team needs something, how much responsibility are you taking to be assertive yourself this year? I mean, you gotta you gotta lead, you know, whether that's trying to get shots up or get get us into a more of a flow on offense or whatever, whatever it calls for. Um, you know, I, I try to do, I try to help my team win. And there's been guys all all year that have stepped up in certain situations where we've kind of got a little stagnant and, and got us out of the hole tonight. I, I, I thought I helped a little bit, so that's the beauty of our team and. Uh, we're tough to beat for 48 minutes. Throughout the game tonight, there were a lot, of, a lot of fouls. How does that affect this team and the game? I think we've grown up a lot in that area where no matter if it's an ugly game, an up-tempo game, high scoring, low scoring, we always you know, find a way to, to compose ourselves. And we knew they were going to try to dirty up the game and make it a paint game and be physical. And you don't know how the game's going to be called, but we, we were able to overcome that. Um, by getting stops, getting out to our tempo, overcoming poor shooting, and just uh, finding a way. All right, well, thanks, Steph. That was fun. Appreciate it. On a brisk 37 degree night in the Twin Cities, better than 19,000 turning out at Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors facing the surprising. Minnesota Timberwolves. The official Zach Zarba, Leroy Richardson, and Carl Wayne as Golden State controls. Curry goes right to it, feeds out to Green from straight away, and he gets the roll. Minnesota's last game was this past Tuesday night on the T Wolves lost to Charlotte. Minnesota without three of their starters. Kevin Garnett sat down, does not go back to back. Curry from way downtown. When do we start saying layup, Marv? Is, this, is it appropriate now? You know, wow. you, you think back, who could you name, not only that shot as well, I mean, a lot of guys obviously have been tremendous shooters, but that also handles the ball. Another Minnesota turnover. Here's Curry. This time he runs out, but a foul he's run into, and Curry will head to the line. A 10-2 lead as Curry adds to it. So Steve Kerr is actually 9-0, which means Luke Walton, for example, could be named Coach of the Month and officially would have nothing on his record. Meanwhile, Curry with another three. Curry is fouled. Towns going for the block, making the contact. Wiggins trying to use a pick. Wiggins. And here come the Warriors. Curry chased by Levine. Curry able to hit the one-hander. A rare two-pointer for Steph Curry. So 16 points on five shot attempts for Curry. This is an interesting matchup with Andre Miller trying to check Curry. And, well, that's the end result.
It kind of seemed like you knew something was coming there, Mark. Did you know the play call? Wiggins spinning his way on Barnes. Nice move by Wiggins, who thought he was fouled. That's the one move that Andrew Wiggins seems to be perfecting, is spinning, catching himself on good balance, and finishing. Poor defense there by Minnesota allowed the open stuff for Harrison Barnes. Curry is open for three. Yes. Andre Miller gets nailed by the double and nowhere near Steph Curry. Another three. Well, he had 17 in the third quarter last night. He now has 21 in the first quarter here this evening. Curry on the hop. Beautifully done. Azealia is so quick around the rim. Muhammad gets it out to the Litson. And he comes up short. Curry taking that pass from Green, who set the screen as he flipped to him. Got a three, two. Curry with the floater high off glass with four tenths of a second remaining. What a move by Curry, who has 25 points, 21 coming in the first half. Miller backing Curry and flips it up. Towns able to grab it. Nice move by the rookie Towns with the bucket. A great activity, and not only did he score that one, he was ready in case it came off for another. Curry, yes, and the foul. Curry putting moves on Miller. Oh, crossover by Curry. And the foul is called. Miller giving Curry a tough time. Curry gets it off, and with Miller's hand on the ball, is able to hit from downtown. I mean, we're talking about speed, balance, and strength. We can throw in luck on that one, too, although you don't really want to say it with Steph, because right now, for him, anything seems possible. He is five for seven from three-point range. Here's a three-on-one off the steal. Curry for three. Yes! The crowd here is in disbelief. Here is Curry for wow. three. Wow. Just checking into the game, Steph Curry making his presence felt immediately for the Warriors. He is seven out of ten from downtown. 12 for 20 overall, 38 points for Curry. Now Towns picks up Curry. Curry shoots over him and hits. Did we say that Steph Curry is back into the game, Marv? <laughs> Five quick ones from Steph, shaking loose from Carl Anthony Towns. Warriors seeking to make 10 and 0 on the season which would be the best start of the history of the franchise. That counts, and the foul. Curry able to go glass and was hit on the play. So Curry now with 42 points. Kevin Martin called on the foul. Steph lines up another, and why not? 46 for Steph Curry. Warriors now 5-0 on the road. That's another franchise record. They now have won eight straight here in the Twin Cities, 13 of the last 14. And Minnesota drops to four and four with all four los losses here at home, all four wins on, on the road, which is really bizarre. 46 points, 15 of 25, eight from downtown. Let's go to David Aldridge with Steph. Hey, Steph, I uh, know you guys have been winning. But a little sloppy here and there. It looked like you wanted to make sure you guys got off to a really good start tonight. Uh, yeah, anytime on the road, that's the key to success is to getting off to a good start and not letting the home crowd or the energy in the building take off. So we did a good job of that tonight. You know, we're 10 and over. We feel like we can get better. Um, little lapses, get a little careless. But overall, 48 minutes, I thought we played pretty hard in our efforts there. One thing that you all have talked about all preseason and into the regular season was you can improve offensively the second and third year. You can be even better in the offense than you were last year. What? How does that show up on the floor? Um, we don't call many plays. It's just kind of reads and um, the flow of the offense. You know, making passes, knowing the right space it is. Um, besides a couple of games, I think we've done a good job of keeping our turnovers down, which is big. So other than that, it's just. Uh, being aggressive, being confident, taking taking the open shots and knocking them down. You are 10 and 0. It's the best start in franchise history. I know it's only about 12, 13 percent of the season so far, but how good do you think you guys can be? And where do you think you'll be, assuming injuries are okay when the playoffs start? Yeah, who knows? Um, 
a lot of talk about where we're you know chasing you know record uh, seasons and all that. That would be nice, and that's hopefully where we are. But you can't fast forward to April right now. You got to stay you know stay in the moment, um, continue to get better. And when April comes around, we hope to be the best version of ourselves and uh, ready to go. Saturday night at Oracle. Where else would you want to be in the NBA? Brooklyn Nets only visit as they take on the Warriors. Brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. The world champs are in the building undefeated and the best start in franchise history. Do the Warriors continue this streak? We'll find out tonight. Monty McCutcheon, James Williams, and Mitchell Irvins will blow the whistle tonight. Steph Curry rimming it in. Steph saving a turnover. Brandon Rush a good look, and that's a good sign. Well, that's a nice way to set him up. That is young, and he's just having a field day. But when he catches the ball four feet from the basket with no resistance there. What's amazing is Draymond Green is the one guarding him, and he's one of the best in the league. Speaking of the best in the league, Steph Curry continues that streak with another made three. Iguodala, feet set, three on the way. Joe Johnson always wants to get to the mid-range, still can't finish. Still hasn't scored. Curry, three. There's a rhythm shot. 20 to 4 Warrior run. Raymond trying to bank it, and he does. Ray Johnson missing, Festus the rebound. Very tough step back. That was the two for one. That's a tough, tough one for a normal human being. Curry three was fouled. Three free throws to try to tie the game. Brandon Rush. He hit two threes and had a dunk miss there, but is Ely a new 24? Draymond a corner three. So he gets his second three of the night, courtesy of Mr. Curry. Joe Johnson? Yes, he did. I was going to say he has not scored. And he knocks that down. And you don't want him to get on a roll because he's one of those players that just start making everything. Keep him silent as Steph Curry responds. Shot clock at one, had to be thrown up. And an excellent defensive sequence by the Warriors. Steph Curry. You talk about someone who gets his feet underneath him, stopping on a dime, going up straight. That is picturesque and picture perfect on a jump shot. Steph Curry, a little step around. He's got so much magic to his game. As I said before, he, he just improvises. Steph Curry, three! Bogut set the screen and then found him. And it's a three-point game. A slicing Steph Curry to lay it in. Bogut loves to pass from yes. the block. Great passer, but he knows he's thrown to a man who has possibly the best hands in the league. Those are the body roll plays that blow out guys' knees and ankles. Steph Curry, hit the three! Jack hanging all over Stephen. Shot clock at three. Draymond in on Lopez to lay it in. He stayed with it, both hands on the ball so he could absorb the body bump as he went in and still come back and have free reign to the basket. That is young point blank. Misfired. Bogut. Rebound number 14. Curry three. Steph drawing all the attention into the lane to lay it in. There's the lead. All the bodies flowing to Curry. Draymond to the rim to lay it in. Well, he made that look easy. Use the board. Need a three with 9.9. .9. Some coaches don't believe in it. We'll see how Lionel Hollins and Paul Westfall play it out. I think Paul Westfall says, says to foul. I think Lionel does too. They don't grab Draymond. Iguodala's going to shoot a three and make it. They want it replayed. They want the replay to make sure it was a three. Jared Jack for the game winning. Tipped out at one. And out of bounds, too. 
Brooklyn with a tenth of a second left. That's irrelevant. And trying to throw it to Lopez at the rim. Five tenths. There it is at the rim. Put in. No! We're going to overtime. He beat Bogut on the play, but didn't convert the basket. Shot clock at seven. Curry on the baseline to the rim. You can only put a smile on your face the way they do this. The Warriors have owned overtime. 2.05 left in the extra period. Lopez misses. The Warriors move to 11 0. The undefeated start lives on. The epicenter of the NBA on a Tuesday night. Oracle with Toronto in town in pursuit of perfection and the greatest logo to don NBA jerseys. The city is back. And in this city, we watch the best basketball team in the league every night. Steph looking for a seam, hanging, and Valen Shoot has changed that shot. Bogut, the steal in the backcourt. Look at the Warriors keep the ball moving. Isn't that beautiful? How about Bogut making a steal in the backcourt? Can't leave Lowry, and the Warriors have been fortunate. Curry, weaving through traffic. Steph. Putting it up and in! Okay, he got bumped. He could have been at the line. But with that English he put on there, he kept the ball way out to the right so they couldn't get to it. In order to get it in, he had to spin it a lot. And he curled it over the iron. Harold, he cut. Gonna get the rebound, and the Warriors off to the races. The lob! Steph saw Harrison the whole way. Well, at 35 years of age, Stolo couldn't get off the ground. You just can't react. Lob, perfectly thrown to Festus. That's where he finds his bread and butter. Steph Curry, way up there in that, and a beautiful out of bounds to Clay Thompson. Another layup on an out of bounds play. All cycling around, they just left the best shooter in the world. He had time to dribble. That's a cardinal sin. We're rotating, we're rotating, we're rotating. Who's open? Uh-oh, that guy. Steph, step back, and round it out. Joseph Floater, Vestas inhaling that rebound. Steph Curry from deep. No one in the league pulls up any faster than that young man. Curry, the delivery, and the lay-in. He just got Valanciunas planted on the floor, and the beautiful job by Festus Zidu to keep moving and get to the open spot. They've got six players that have already scored 20 points in a game this year. Six different players. Steph Curry has scored 20 points or more in four different quarters yes, he has. this year. 21 twice, 24 opening night, and then 28 at New Orleans. Curry steal and banked it in! He loves that play, and so does Barbosa from the bench. Lowry missing. Iguodala pushing again. Play one more time. Look at Festus and Iguodala work on the glass. And another three! They're Curry. making a pay with these offensive rebounds. And right now, Toronto can't do anything right. Right now, he's, uh, he's stroking the ball beautifully. And uh, we're just getting a really good effort from Clay and all the guys right now. He's got to keep it going in the second half. Right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Speaking of beautiful shooting strokes, Steph Curry with 18, hitting the first bucket to begin the second half. It's Curry with a steal. Harrison Barnes, a little tic-tac-toe. And Bogut threw it away. Steph to Bogut one more time. When they execute, they can be flawless if they don't turn that ball over. The Raptors have picked it up defensively. Carroll's got Curry this trip. Steph beats him, flips it up and in! Went right hand on the left side. They got it quicker to the rim that way. And credit the Raptors. They have played wonderfully here in the third. Curry, little push shot. Steph's got 22. Hey. A variety of ways to score from that young man. What do the Warriors do here? They've got a little, little better defense. They've got to increase the pace. Half court isn't working. And Curry, oh. a three right on cue. They needed that. Curry, yeah. what a floater. Curry, three, good. That's a way to untie it. 
How calmly did he look on that play? Lost his man and just went up. A deep one as always. Raymond down the lane, floating it in. He's taking a page out of Steph Curry's book on that one. Rosen, the rebound, tapped away nicely. Three point lead in the ball. Steph, step back, jumper. Good! The MVP. Raptors are 15 of 20 free throwing in the fourth. Yeah, well, that's why we keep harping on it. That's the story. Curry is tripped. And so Steph will shoot two. Can the charm continue? Rosen makes it a one point game. The Warriors better score in this possession. Curry having it blocked. Harrison Barnes started to save it and he threw it away. They can essentially play for the game winner. They have no timeouts. Tenths of a second difference. Game and shot clock. That is an offensive foul on Lowry. And that's the biggest turnover of the game. He held on to Andre Iguodala. No timeouts for the Raptors. Curry makes them both. The lead is three. Toronto has to have a three. I would pressure in the backcourt just a little bit, and they're doing that. Clock starting now. I go now. Lowry goes for a two. I don't know why. They needed a three. What was he doing? I have no idea. They're going to try to play the foul game with six seconds left and, in the game. And no timeouts. And no timeouts. And that'll do it. The perfect season continues. 12 0. Third best start in NBA history. Remain undefeated at home. The magic of Oracle continues. Steph goes for 37. DeRozan and Lowry, 28 each. 115, 110 the final. Some way, somehow, they continue to find a way to win. From Los Angeles, welcome to game two of our Thursday night doubleheader. The defending champion Golden State Warriors are the only undefeated team in the league. 12 up and 12 down. And tonight they take on the Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers come in six and four. They've lost two of three and four of five, and it's Griffin inside. Green is right there. That should be a matchup to watch all night long. Draymond Green against Blake Griffin. Two very versatile power forwards. There's a bogus screen in the open triple. The Clippers have gone on a 10 nothing run. And here comes Curry the other way, but cutting Clay Thompson. And Thompson has been battling a back issue, stiffness. He has missed a game. And I like what Draymond Green is saying. Bring out our championship defense. It's the reason why we've been so successful and off to this hot start. Everyone talks about the offense, but defensively, it's one of the main reasons why. Curry with a three. It's those broken plays. The ball always seems to find Steph Curry. Ball got it quickly on Curry. And that's the beauty of Steph Curry's game. It's Bogut at the other end. Griffin is on him. To Curry. Oh, to Bogut. It was a great pass, but he can't convert. Griffin with a head of steam and to the hole. Griffin with 16. Curry slicing and a foul on the Clippers. Difference of three seconds. Game clock and shot clock. Here comes Jeff Curry, he's 3 of 8, a 3 over Griffin. 17 for Curry, averages 33 a game. Green, and Griffin lets him fire. There's another long distance shot by Tremont Green. Shocked like his son guarding Curry, but now they switch on defense as they all the time do, and Curry knocks in the long two. He actually came on this road trip, it's his first one of the season. But there's just no way to know, guys, when his condition will lift. And until it does, he just can't come back and coach. He's getting amazing support from the Warriors, amazing support from Luke Walton. Curry's on the wing, into green, finding Curry. The curl and the beautiful pirouette. It's a Johnson three. Rebound by Green. He's got six of them. Under three to go in the third. Curry with the drive and the cat tournament shot.
shot. That was a beauty by the reigning MVP, Steph Curry. And we normally don't see this from Steph. He's doing most of his damage from downtown. Smith with a leaping Johnson and picked up by Curry. Meets Griffin. Look at this. <laughs> My goodness. But they're doing the right thing. Yeah. They're, they're forcing them off that three-point line. Curry, three and ten from three. Nine rebounds. Four assists. 27 for Steph. A three over Griffin. Wow. And then there's no defense for that. There, there's no Curry Chronicle for that. Curry, three. That's how you get them back. <laughs> I mean, this kid, it, it's almost becoming comical when you watch him play. Three. He'll drive into Jordan. Looking for Thompson, who is open in the corner. It's back to Steph. Shot clock, plenty of time. Got it! What a shot by Steph Curry! <laughs> this is becoming ridiculous. He's got 36! Five seconds on the shot clock here with 109 to go. I would throw it off. I would throw it off DeAndre Jordan's back right there. If I was. That's too easy. Too easy. Too easy. What a great cut by Tremont Green. And a terrific find by the excited Andre Iguodala. 19 for Green. It's the biggest lead for Golden State, three after trailing by 23. Paul drives into a thicket of defenders. Picked up by Curry. Boy, you feel the shift. Don't you feel the shift? Well, and, and listen to the fans. This is almost now like a home game for the Warriors. They travel well. Clippers have found the give. They need to see quickly. They switch on defense. It's Curry by Jordan. Right to the rack. Knocked away. Chuck down with a foul. This dude, I'm talking about Curry, and this team and the Warriors, uh, I mean, they're playing that all in an all time clip right now. Warriors on an 18 to 3 run. Paul. Chris to Paul Pierce in the drive across the lane to Green and Curry gets the ball. Three, three defenders and a reach and a foul. One of their superstars in the fourth, Blake Griffin, has one fourth quarter point. Over three in the quarter. The lead is at seven, and Steph Curry has poured in 40. Here comes Paul, staggering in the fourth with Griffin. He gets one to go there. But Golden State, trailing by 23, has won it. And they go to 2-0 against the Clippers in their season series. They close on a 22-5 run. Double-double. First half, he had 11 rebounds. Let's swing it over to Rachel, who's standing by with the reigning MVP. You just keep shaking your head right now. Congratulations on 13-0. You guys shot 73% in the fourth quarter. What happens to you guys when the lights come on in the fourth? I mean, we're a confident basketball team, and no matter how much, how bad we're playing, we always feel like we have a shot. The goal now is to not make it hard on ourselves. Even in the fourth, when we're playing well, it's like three turnovers that lead to easy buckets for them, and they could have very well taken over the game. But uh, we'll clean that up. But just a, a hard-fought, gut-wrenching game that everybody stepped up and played well. Largest comeback in the NBA so far this year. 40 points from you. You told me earlier today you don't know about all this best player in the league talk, but you are trying to reach another level above your MVP performance last year. How much higher do you think you can go? I got to be a lot better than I was tonight. The stats look good, but I, I got to play better. Um, start off in the first quarter being a little lazy with the ball, but I'm going to hold myself to a high, high standard. My teammates got on me. Um, but we always have time to come back and, and try to rectify the situation. I think we did that in the fourth quarter. You guys have been getting behind in games. Your coach, Luke Walton, says that the key is to get over this without having to take a loss. Do you think you can start to do that? Are you guys okay with the system? I mean, uh, every game is different. It's just a matter of uh, staying focused, staying in the moment. You know, we're writing a new story this year, and and, and we got to enjoy the process. So um, it's, it's going to be ugly some games. It's going to be fun and just pretty the whole game some games. But at the end of the day, we got to make winning plays on the stretch, and we did that tonight. Well, it's pretty in the win-loss column. Congratulations, Steph. Thank you very much, Rachel. Tonight, at Oracle Arena in Oakland, California, it's the undefeated defending champion Warriors taking on the Chicago Bulls. Steph Curry and the Warriors fresh off an emotional night in Los Angeles, a 40-point evening for Curry. Didn't start well at Staples Center. 
for the Warriors. They fell behind by 23. Chris Paul, an 18 point first quarter, but then Steph Curry took over. A huge second half, ended up with 40, and the Warriors go on to win it. 124 to 117 the final over a team that they're building a nice rivalry with in the Clippers. They protect their undefeated record. 13-0 now, one of just five teams in NBA history to get off to a start like that, and they are two wins away from matching the all-time best start in NBA history. Kirk Heinrich been playing with a minutes limit, but it's a little bit more lax today as Curry drains his first three of the night. Here's Curry wiggling through traffic. The floater drops. Curry finds Green, the lob inside. Azili back out to Curry. He'll set himself up. You bet. Timeout, Chicago. Curry behind the back. That was pretty right back to him. Curry tried to squeeze it between too many in the fifth turnover for Golden State. Curry takes it right back, though. The lob to the rim and the throw down. Oh, what a highlight. Curry to Iguodala. Well, Noah trying to lead the break. Curry, after his turnover, makes up for it with the steal and another highlight reel pass to Andre Iguodala, who quietly is off to a fantastic year. Iguodala from three, as you've talked about, Jeff, he's been lethal from downtown this season. Curry to the rim for two. Well, you're right, too, Jeff. I mean, right now he would be in line to be coach of the month, but can he not win that award if these aren't his wins? Curry off the window beautifully. And Stephen Curry with 12 points. He leads Golden State. Harrison Barnes, the only other warrior in double figures, as Curry races inside and finishes. I mean, this is a, against a renowned defender. I mean, that is just too good. And Pau Gasol needs to step up and block that shot, though. Thompson, you bet. Thompson off the inbound. He got it. Beautifully designed play by Luke Walton. Well, he should have confidence in that he's had successful repetitions. And that's where confidence comes from. It's successful repetitions. And, you know, again, I, I, I go back to two years ago, this guy was first team all NBA as Curry knocks in the mid-range jumper. So He's got to play, he's got to score some. His effort is good. 17th tie of the game. Curry, too strong. Thompson, trying to collect, does. Curry, another try. Got that one. Green, posting Heinrich, finds Curry. What a dish, and the finish, so pretty. The Warriors have done a great job exploiting the switch off Curry with the post up of Green and then him making terrific passes. Seven point Warrior lead. 103 to go. Butler dribbles out of the double. Three to shoot. Not even close. Warriors don't get nearly the credit they deserve for the great defensive team they are. Barnes, dagger. The greatest show in sports keeps getting renewed. The Warriors are a win away from history, 14 and 0. And they tie the Celtics for the best start by a defending champion. They'll try and top that mark Sunday at 8 Eastern on ESPN when they take on Denver. The 14-0 Golden State Warriors at the Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado. The Roadshow coming to Denver as the Warriors getting set to take on the Denver Nuggets. Steph Curry and the Warriors playing for a little bit of history tonight.
Only the 48-49 Washington Capitals of Red Auerbach and the 93-94 Houston Rockets of Akeem Olajuwon opened a season 15-0 to start the season. Warriors winning uh, the opening tip. A lot of blue and gold in the building tonight here in Denver as Bogut scoring on his first attempt. As the old story goes, last year four of the five starters you know, played and they didn't miss you know, eight games between them. Uh, and you just have to say to yourself, look, this is a team that can function, and even if they miss a guy, they are 12 deep with experienced performers on playoff time. So that graphic, 471 points, and Curry can also dish it too. How about that? A 30-foot lob at the rim. At the start of the game, they had Clay Thompson on Moutier because they wanted to have Curry just laying off. But then what happened? Gary Harris made two field goals, and now they're right back. They switch back. And running, and Curry fighting an open corner three. Timeout quickly called by Mike Malone. It's amazing we were breaking it down on three pointers per minute. Expected in a very rapid pace when Steph Curry's on the floor. He owns the three point record for three point makes in a season, and he's pretty good defensively as well. Finishing at the rim. Oh, look, uh, he's always ranked in the top five or six guys in steals. But see, the, the switching is causing all the confusion here. Knicks already with eight wins this season, Judy. Right. They had eight wins on January 23rd last year. Hey, how about five road wins? Yeah. Big one in Oklahoma City on Friday. Here's Curry feeding Azili for the easy jam. I'll see, they continue to catch the three front court players from Denver, turning their heads. Here's Thompson on the fade and gets the roll. This guy, I'm telling you, for a number two guy, people forget last year he averaged 21 points. Only two teams had two guys in the top 10, Cleveland and Golden State. Curry with the teardrop. He's got nine. There you see Denver breaking down the quarters. 13 of 19 in the second quarter. Barton and Arthur in the game combined 11 of 13 from the field. Thompson drops down the triple. Yeah, you can't go to sleep now. Two of the best free throw shooters in the league as Thompson hits a three. Gallinari and Curry, the two outstanding free throw shooters. I'd like to see him get back to how he shot last year. Thompson, whoa, he is so good on the catch and shoot. Now, how about the baseline movement? The baseline movement to free him up coming into the corner. Here's a mismatch off the switch, and Curry makes Jokic pay. Well, you see how he creates space. He's the best I've ever seen in creating space by himself. They isolate. Curry on Gallinari. Deep two for Steph Curry. See, now that's the ability to create space, and as you think you have him, the ball is already in the air as you start to elevate. Arthur with 15 points. Leading score for the Denver Nuggets. Opened five and four on the season, but they've dropped three of four, and Curry knocks down the quick catch and shoot three. He, that was like a con, you know? They're going to the left side of the floor. The screen was at the top of the circle in the middle of the court. Azili, oh, missed the dunk after Gallinari allowed that entry pass to get in. And it ends with a Curry triple. See, they, he knew, Azili knew that they were going to make a three. That's why he deliberately <laughs> missed that. 21 seconds left on the clock here in Denver. Golden State, an impressive third quarter by that man, Steph Curry. First game under 20. Only played 27 minutes tonight. That's all he really needed to do. His arms up in celebration. They are embracing this record, embracing tying the record. And on Tuesday night, you know they're going to embrace a chance to be the only team to open 16-0. The Golden State Warriors, in defense of their championship, have tied the NBA record 15-0 to open the season. in Oakland, the 143rd consecutive sellout. As we take a look at Steph Curry, the reigning most valuable player, as he gets ready for the special night as the defending champions seek to go 16-0 and to establish the best start to a season in the history of the NBA. It's the Los Angeles Lakers facing the Golden State Warriors. And early on, Jordan Clarkson had the assignment guarding Steph Curry. Raymond Green opens up, hitting the three. Tied at five here in the early moments. They swing it, open shot for Curry. Yes. 
A three-pointer for Steph Curry. A clinic and ball movement leading to an open three-pointer by the best player in the game. Hibbert on the head thing. Went to the hook. Rebound Bogut. Lou Williams has come on for the Lakers as Curry is off. Hit back rim, but it's rebounded by, by Barnes. Curry snaps it right back out. Barnes for three. Yes. We walked into the head coach's office earlier this evening, and there is Luke behind the desk, and all he saw, beautiful pass, and the finish by Green. Ten straight points here for the Warriors. All we saw surrounding Luke were photos of Luke's family and friends. Nick Young and Brandon Bass have come on for the Lakers, who are now three for 13 from the field. Oh, the move by Curry. We're going to go straight down the lane. Nance with the jumper. Iguodala whips it down. Curry back behind the line, then try to get it down low on a bounce. Kazuti right back, and Curry hits the three. Curry with eight points, two of three from beyond the three-point line. Here's Curry getting it over to Bogut. Beautiful move by Curry, drew the double team, and was able to slip it through to Andrew Bogut. Curry, yes. Warriors are going of note, Brad. If this remarkable run continues, there's also the uh, overall longest winning streak of all time. As Ray Thompson able to knock down his first field goal, it's, and it's a three. Guys, I talked to Lakers coach Byron Scott, and he said that he loves watching this Warriors team just as a basketball fan. He said they remind me of those Showtime Lakers teams that he was part of, and he said I watch them and think in a different way. That's us in the 80s, but instead of a magic dunk, it's a Stephen Curry three. Now, coincidentally, the 84-85 Lakers were the last team to average 30 assists per game, and Golden State now sits at 29.4. Of course, they had 19 in that first half, guys. As Curry, the nice little fadeaway jump shot. Curry tried to hit the ball, it was knocked away, save. Curry for three. Yes! 15 points for the NBA's leading scorer. That's his third three-pointer. Curry with Thompson on his left. Curry all the way. The Lakers will talk it over. Bogut off the steal. Curry with Iguodala. And Steph will accept the assist. The, the one for 14. Ties a one for 14 for worst shooting percentage ever. That was for an entire game, though. For Kobe back in 2014 against San Antonio. Somehow, Curry got that off. Well, Doc Rivers was saying last week that he's never seen anything like Steph Curry the way he plays. He says, we've seen great shooters in the league. We've seen great ball handlers. We haven't seen great shooters that are terrific ball handlers. Here's Thompson is feeling it now. And hits, hits a three. That's from ball in hand to shot. Here's Curry with the quick release over Nance. The spin by Curry. And on their way, Unless there is a miraculous, and I mean miraculous, turnaround on the way to a record of 16 and 0. And you're hearing the reaction from the crowd as the Warriors are by themselves setting an NBA record by making it 16 straight wins to start the season. 16 and 0, Barbosa. Kelly able to handle it. An extraordinary run, winning nearly every game by double digits. The NBA champions not allowing a championship letdown, and they uh, do it with first-year interim coach Luke Walton taking over for a first-year NBA head coach Steve Kerr, and they do it with Steph Curry continuing his magnificent play, even raising it to get an up to another level, and they, they do it with superb team basketball at both ends of the court. So beautiful to watch. Steph, congrats on the win. I got to ask, though, is 
this Warriors team losing anytime soon? Well, we hope not. I mean, uh, trying to play at a high level every night. Pretty cool uh, accomplishment to start the season 16 and 0 and do something that's never been done in NBA history. So we, we got to keep it going. I mean, a lot of season left, but uh, we're on the right track. A perfect 16 and 0 start that does make NBA history. Last no, season is gone, but this Warriors team has already notched a spot in those record books. What does this accomplishment mean to you all? I mean, it's special. Because you guys are out there talking about it right now. I mean, it's a lot of players are playing this league. A lot of great teams. Nobody's accomplished what this team has tonight, so um, you gotta you gotta be proud of those kind of moments, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll celebrate a little bit, and then look forward to uh, Friday night. Can you describe this moment at Oracle Arena? I mean, they support us. Dub Nation is the best fan base in the NBA. And, um, we've had a you know good little run, so uh, you know, to bring some joy to uh, to this arena, to the Bay Area. Um, it's special, so nice little feeling. Want to keep it going. And a great win for you guys tonight, especially in that turnover category that I know your coaching staff has harped on a season low in turnovers. What was the difference? Uh, just making a small play, uh, the easy play. You know, sometimes the way we play up tempo, you kind of get a little ahead of yourself and, and try to you know, make the home run play or thread the needle or uh, what have you. But, we have so much time. If we just move the ball, make the right play to the open guy, we're going to make some, uh, find the open, uh, easy shots, and, and uh, usually it means good things in the offensive range. Steph, what message does this franchise send to the rest of the league with this perfect start? I mean, uh, there's no championship hangover for us. We're trying to get better, and we're focused. Um, we're staying in the moment, so, you know, we feel like if we come ready to play every single night, you know, we should be in good shape, and we obviously know it's six, Saturday, what, six games left, but you know, we've taken care of every objective so far, so we got to keep going. Congrats, Steph. Mark? The beginning of three and four nights in three different cities as the Warriors will be tested against a very potent Suns lineup. The Suns blew an 18-point lead to New Orleans in their last outing, and they've been pointing towards this one as everyone does playing the Warriors right now. Bogut banking it in. How about the timing of Stephen Curry? He waited and waited. He knows that Bogut goes to his own beat there in his own rhythm. Tyson Chandler can't handle. And Harrison Barnes kicking it out to Clay Thompson. Misfiring on the three. And Steph Curry on the reload and drops in a triple. He was even knocked down after that. He spends more time on the floor than anybody else in the league. And Bogut. The beneficiary from Steph's drive. Clay Thompson out of the corner. Steph Curry, a one-handed cross-court pass. Rifle pass off the dribble with his left hand. Rick Barry is one of the top 12, 15 players in the history of the sport. Without question. When he's marveling at Steph Curry in the offhand, just as Jim said, that was with his left hand. And that pass there was with his left. Behind the back. And it results in one of the great three-point shooters in the game today. Yes, Draymond Green. Curry has two assists that you just put on the highlight reel. He parts the hair. And Steph hits a three. When the Warriors are, the two days off have done the Warriors good. Markeith Morris missing. And Curry with a rebound. And an assist. And Clay Thompson running the floor. You know, Curry gets five rebounds a game. Uh, that's remarkable for a point guard. And look at Draymond make up for it. Curry in a foot race. Curry is mugged, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, they brought in T.J. Warren, last year's number one pick out of North Carolina State. And Steph fouled on the drive. Stephen Curry, yes. He shoots three-pointers at 43%, but he takes more than anybody in the league, and he takes a lot of bad three-pointers. I mean, that's not a negative thing. If he took the normal shots that most players would take, he'd probably shoot 55 to 60% from three. Right. And speaking of quick threes, and the foul, and Steph Curry an opportunity for a four-point play. And the arc that he gets on the ball, it just gives it a bigger chance, better chance to go in. So Curry with 13, Clay Thompson with 10. Mr. Bolt, Curry steps into a three. <laughs> you miss two free throws and you end up getting three. <laughs> that's 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 three for two. <laughs> In 2015. Oh, Ronnie Price went for the steal. And Curry tuned him up. 
The highest scoring quarter of the year for the Warriors. He is putting on a show. That's not fair. Well, that, that sequence isn't fair. Milanovic, another three. And Harrison Barnes, a rebound. You can see he has range. Steph Curry, reload, fly by, good! Uh, he, he just really couldn't be any hotter than he is tonight from three-point range. Milanovic had no chance on Steph. Oh, is that pretty? That's going to be a foul on the pass before the dunk. Oh, too bad. Clay Thompson, three. Yes, sir. So Clay with 15. Steph Curry driving, flipping it in. That's a hard ball. He released it on the way up. That's why they can't block it. Brandon Knight will never be more open. And the Warriors fortunate there. They're going to trade two for one here. Curry, three. He is parting the hair and the skull of the guards on the Suns team. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable what he's doing here. And Steph inside and he was fouled. He said every team that plays the Warriors come after the world champ. And Steph Curry flipping it in and drawing the foul. And you called it. It's exactly what he did with that little flip. The buzz is Phoenix making this a single digit ball game. And they keep trying to push and the Warriors keep pushing him back. And 15 right now. Curry inside. Couldn't rim it in. But he can't hit the three. Festus trying to use some strength there. Shot clock at five. Dangerous pass. Barbosa to Steph. In and out of his hands to beat the shot clock in a fresh 24. Reload three is good. Yeah, tough to shoot a three in about three tenths of a second, which he accomplished. But he said, I'm going to get my percentage back up. Throw it to me again. Festus, nice screen. Curry thought about that three, and he was fouled on the pass. Maybe a couple more free throws. So Curry's got another 30 point game. He's got 10 of them this year. He's got 41 in the game. The perfect season lives on another night. And it's Sacramento at Oracle tomorrow night. 17 in a row. And the NBA record extended for the best start ever to begin a season. Steph, you guys set a new franchise record, 22 three-pointers made. How are you able to continuously break down their defense for that many threes? It's predicated on ball movement. Obviously, we have some individual plays where you start to feel it and, and search for it a little bit, but the main bulk of our threes come out of ball movement, swinging it from side to side, and finding the open guy. So we shoot a lot of them, but hopefully we shoot a lot of good ones that will hopefully lead to a high percentage. Did you feel they were good today? Good types of threes? Most of them. Uh, no, Coach, Co Coach Kerr's probably at home <laughs> shaking his head, but um, <laughs> most of them were good. You know, in rhythm and flow threes, and um, you build confidence when you get open looks because everybody feels good about possessions like that. You were in rhythm and in flow, and now this is the third, fourth quarter that you've set out in a row. When you're within range of setting a three-point record yourself or even a 50 or 60-point game, is that ever a little annoying to be sitting out? Not at all. We got a game tomorrow. Um, I don't know how many minutes I play, but to be able to rest a little bit, have a productive night, get the win. Um, long season. We're going to keep preaching it all. You know, the record's great. Just going for statistical goals or whatever. We're just trying to win and do it in a, in a nice fashion as we go through the season. How do you do that? You're 17 and 0, and some of the games you've been able to really pull away from teams. What gives you guys edge? What motivates you? Just getting better. Um, that's how we, we like to uh, to win. I mean, that's that's our motivation, our edge, and every night's a different opportunity to get uh, you know attain that goal. So uh, we're gonna have fun in the process. It really challenge us to stay in the moment, stay focused, stay mature about you know how we're playing and, and do do it right way. All right, thanks Steph, congrats. Appreciate you. A sold out Saturday night at Oracle, the Kings in town. Second meeting of the year as the world champs look to make it 18 in a row and extend that NBA streak to start a year. Last time they're going to see the floor for two weeks, final home game before a seven game road trip. Can they remain undefeated tonight? Both teams did play last night, Warriors winning in Phoenix.
And the Kings losing in Sacramento. The deflection. Draymond ran Rudy Gay out of the picture and got Curry the lay-in. Steph Curry springs free and drops in a three. So he continues the second best streak in NBA history. He's already passed Dana Barros. As Collison doesn't make the Warriors pay and Bogut grabbing that one. But Bogut goes to give help. He allows Kufus to clean up. Talk about cleaning up. I think the timeout did wonders for Stephen Curry. Steph Curry out of a whirling dervish move and he'll get to the line. Hand check on Collison. Raymond moved his feet. And Rudy Gay, good offense, beats good defense in this league. Always does. We saw it, witnessed it last night. But Rudy Gay's coming off, as we said, one of 13, two points. And Steph Curry, his third three. He's got his groove back. Steph slipped a bit. And the foul on the, wow. Running jumper. Well, he likes George Carl's offense, as does DeMarcus Cousins. Gives him freedom to shoot threes. Clay Thompson getting the elbow jumper. We talk about Curry's release, how quick it is. Well, Clay Thompson has a very quick release, too. Bogut with the block. Clay runs to the three point line. You talk about measuring a shot. You're two years back from an injury. Harrison Barnes goes out. If you're Livingston, Barbosa, Brandon Rush, you know you're playing every night right yes. now. And Brandon, so far, is taking advantage of it. Another Three. Well, they're playing right to his strength. Wide open looks. He's got the touch. Brandon Rush, have yourself a night. Draymond Green. He's got that floater down, doesn't he? Sure does. He's just brilliant with it. Collison with the quick hands. And Steph came away with the ball. Curry is clubbed. And he'll get to the line. Seth Curry. Seth Curry getting a nice round of applause. Gaspy. It's another one. Talked about his three-point shooting. Back on the beam, 44% coming into the game. Seth Curry. So, Glad to see it. Our, our longer point, and we mentioned Jimmer Fredette, we're not singling him out individually, but there are players that get all these other looks and opportunities around the league, and you cannot tell me, but teams like the 76ers and others, in recent years, that Seth Curry can't play in the NBA. He was a, kept a, rather, working. a rather rough player. Yeah, that's what great players always add something. Our friend Tom Corelli in the league office, this is the first year he did the schedule. And Seth Curry hits from the corner three. He I didn't even know I had it. Is he going to hit another? Yeah, Seth Curry hitting that three. That's got to feel good for him doing it in front of his brother. Kid can and play. Stefan can't contain himself, and I don't blame him. 18 and 0. The perfect season lives on. An extension of the NBA record. 22 straight regular season wins going back to the Final Four of last year. And that's the third best win streak in NBA history. Welcome to Vivint Smart Home Arena. The Jazz four-game homestand rolls on tonight against the undefeated world champion Golden State Warriors. Also the reigning MVP and the league leader in scoring, Steph Curry. Could this be the night the streak ends? Warriors and Jazz right now. If you can, keep an eye on Howell Neto. His assignment is to stay attached to Curry. Why? Because of that. Well, let's take it before that. They, if you allow Bogut to set screens like that, Neto cannot guard Curry. Neto trying to chase down Curry, favors with some help defense. Now he gets loose and knocks down to Jay. That's all he needs is just a little bit of space. Back and forth we go, tied at 13. Curry with a circus shot for two. This is where the Jazz are going to have to find out how they're going to defend this, because what happens is Bogut goes for a running screen roll, which is going to put Gobert behind the play, and then Steph Curry comes off clean. 
Wow. And just like that, in transition, you put your head down, and they're down court. Jazz commit their fourth turnover of the night. Yeah, and that's a good thing. If you look at the turnovers, they're not giving Golden State extra possessions. Curry, Thompson, three. What a screen. Bogut screen right there. Wiped out Hayward. That freed up Thompson. It's a design play. Great play call from Golden State. Ball is loose, picked up by the Warriors, and we got a whistle down on the block. Well, Gobert was there, and so was Neto in well, his first. Neto, good look. Favors try to reach in for the rebound. Now Curry tries to up the tempo. Neto right on his belt. Looks a little frustrated as he throws it off to Bogut. Gets it right back. And the circuit shot for two. He shook off that frustration. That's nine. And the first bucket for Curry here Bogut. in the second quarter. Curry runs out. Hood shadows him. Thompson, there's that quick touch and shoot. And that is just an incredible shot. He was right in front of us, Maddie. Between the two. Steph Curry and Thompson, I don't know who has a quicker release. Five minutes left, Curry inside, no look, Green, wrap it around and in. What a pass. What, what a, a shot, finish. yeah, Green from Curry. Two-point game, Iguodala, Curry, catch and shoot three, there he, there he goes. Well, Joe Ingles just, just a second behind him. Curry draws a double, wide open is Green. Hooker's there, closes down the paint. That's a beautiful shot, Matty. I tell you, bang, well, bang, play again. Draymond Green to Curry. Hayward stop and go off his back foot. Just beat the clock. Rebound. Seth Curry back on the court. He'll go the distance. He'll stop, jump it for three. Unbelievable. He started walking the other way backwards when the ball is still in the air. 90-90. Curry. Up top, Lob put it down. What a pass. You know what? Oh you have my. to play. Maddie, you've got to play with players to understand their tendencies, and Curry knew where Azili was going. Listen, Steph Curry, he's got a level that he can only get to, the others just can't. The Jazz up by two. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. Thompson and Curry in the backcourt. The world champions. Two ball. Oh, it looks short, but it found its way down. So 21 good. for Curry. So good. Down the stretch. You have Favors outstretched hand right on you. In the corner. Burks dribble drive baseline. Faze fills the paint. He'll shoot it, and he'll shoot two. It looks good. It is nothing but net. 23 for Favors. 101. 101. A minute to go. Igudala off the Curry. To Curry work his magic. The three is away and good. He just needs a foot of airspace. Jazz will take a 20. Amazing. He's MVP last year. He's making his case again for MVP this year. The numbers he is putting up, simply amazing. Rudy sets a screen. Three ball. No. Rebound. Out front. Tip. Three seconds and a foul. The Jazz had a look, but it was forced a little bit and unable to grab the offensive rebound. Three-point game. Jazz need a three and two and a half seconds. Baseball pass to Hayward. Half-court heave. It's going to be short. The Jazz battle. They try to put a dent in history, but they come up short 106 to 103. One of the finest men in the game is being honored this evening on Del Curry night. Stephen Curry and the world champion Warriors come to town looking to add to history. If you're going to watch just one game this year, folks, this would probably be it. It is the 19-0, that's right, 19-0 Golden State Warriors taking on your Charlotte Hornets. You know, you talk about the Warriors' turnovers, they're completely aware of the turnovers and they, they try to limit them, but they happen on a nightly basis and they make the game so such a fast-paced game that they get enough possessions to overcome a lot of those turnovers. Oh, my goodness. Clay Thompson keeps on keeping on. He's made five shots. He's got 13 points. We're not even five minutes into this one. Curry's so good with that dribble. He's done that before. Stephen Curry, his first field goes at three balls. Long three. Oh, my. Stephen Curry, two in a row. So first it's Clay Thompson, now it's Stephen Curry. Batum! That would have brought the house down. Marvin Williams has been blocking so many shots this season. That'll be 
And and one for Stephen Curry. It'll be a block, the shot counts, and a free throw for Curry. That's a three-pointer, and Curry gets it to go. 12 points now for Stephen Curry. Bogut from a foot away. Curry goes around Kemba Walker and scores two more. Curry with the left hand. Tough shots. Kemba Walker contested the whole time. And Steph just holds the ball out, extending it away from the defense and puts it right off the glass. I mean, he is so skilled. Curry is fouled, had his legs taken out by Kemba Walker. He was a shooting a three-pointer, or was he on the line? Well, the biggest part about that Steph, he's giving me grandkids. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> the legacy continues, and what a wonderful legacy it is. Curry on cue, gets two back for Golden State. Rebound, Bogut. Wide open look for Curry. That cannot happen. I mean, I know that that was a second chance opportunity, but you have to stay on Curry. Ball poked away. Curry. 26 points for Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry was pretty darn good in the first half. He had 12 points. He has turned it up here in the second half. After watching his father being honored, drawing inspiration, Stephen Curry with 14 third quarter points, and the Warriors extend their lead to 13. Curry. Three more for Stephen Curry. Kemba finishes high off the window. That was above the box. Curry. Oh, my. He can do whatever he wants. Stephen Curry with 32 points. We haven't reached the fourth quarter yet. Curry gets it right back. Oh, my. What a third quarter it's been for Stephen Curry. 22 points for Stephen Curry here in the third. Trying to make 25, and he does. Kemba gets inside. Tipped up by Hawks. He did leave 14 seconds on the clock for Stephen Curry to do his magic, though. Warriors up 18. Curry. Oh. Just incredible. Folks, that's what he does. He is the best shooter on the planet today, and he knows it. The word great is used quite a bit. He is flat out great. The best shooter in the world, playing with more confidence than maybe anyone ever has. Stephen Curry has taken over 28 third quarter points. When he gets on a roll like that, his teammates know it, and they look for him. They'll do anything to get him the basketball. And you said, it, Eric, he's allowed to take any shot on the floor from anywhere on the floor. Again, continue to move without a basketball. I mean, that's, that's just not fair. I mean, look, he's shooting from the hash mark, and there's mom. How quickly did she get out of the Hornets and turn the <laughs> Warriors jersey? I'll have to talk about that when we get home. Well, that's going to do it. The Hornets, they're going to stall at 99 points. They're not going to get to the century mark. And the Golden State Warriors, they're almost right at their average. Golden State averages 115. They get 116, led by that man. Number 30 in white. I think he may take off the jersey and hand it to someone in the stands. Wouldn't that be nice? Stephen Curry finishes with 40 points on 14 of 18 shooting, 8 of 11 from behind the three-point line. He made all four free throws. He was dynamic as always on Dell Curry night. He didn't quite upstage you, Dell, but he sure gave you a run for his money. <laughs> December, Saturday night, Bright Lights, Big City, Warriors in town defending NBA champions. Two years to the day that the world lost. Nelson Mandela, Raptors general manager, Messiah Jury, created the foundation, the Giants of Africa, Didier Drogba, soccer star in town, a bunch of luminaries, celebrities. Isaiah Thomas, original Raptor general manager, talking with Bismack Biomba before tonight's game. We've got a great one here tonight, the Giant of Africa. And talking to Mike Malone, the coach of the Denver Nuggets, head coach of the Nuggets. He was an assistant at Golden State when they drafted Draymond Green, and there's the three by Jamari Carroll.
it. Draymond Green walked into the locker room, an automatic leader as Curry just comes right back. So silky smooth as he connects. Deflected. Lowry leads the league in steals. And Steph Curry can get it at any point during the clock and at any stage. Almost had a steal, then yep. he breaks you back for three. And underneath trying to create a little bit of contact there. No call. There's Curry so quick. Look at this. Go. Hey, this kid grew up shooting on these jit on these rims here in the Air Canada Center. And he spoke of kindness, he spoke of gentleness. He just spoke about being servants and good human beings to the community. And that's that's what we try to do in the sport. And that's why I thought it was important to be here today. They can definitely be in the Eastern Conference Finals, probably against Cleveland. And you know, then it's you know anything happens in the once you get there. Um, this Golden State team is very good, but um, you know, I'm picking the Raptors today in the upset. Thursday night against Denver, where you really have to dig in defensively, to, especially when your offense isn't playing well, at the rate that it needs to. I'm going to go the other way. I think, I think they've tried to dig in defensively. The problem they have is the offense puts their defense in such a bad predicament on a consistent basis. You would expect Patterson, as the shot doesn't go, second chance opportunity. It would be a good matchup against Green just from a size perspective. And there's Thompson the three. The story goes here is Curry's three is good. That he missed his first junior high school basketball game because he didn't do the dishes. Diambo getting his seventh start on the inside. He flips it up and through and he goes down. Curry still down. And a foul. Raptors led by one, now down by seven. Commissioner Adam Silver and President and General Manager Masai Ujiri at halftime as Thompson connects in that backcourt has combined for 40. As good as this guy is right here, Curry who drove it, the guy, the key to all of it is Draymond Green. Here's Curry. Oh boy. This is why you said that, because you get Naguera on him. And then Curry, second chance. Joseph with the steal, and Curry gets it back. To Livingston, looked like he may have stepped out of bounds. Here's a three-pointer, and that's how they get you. Seven seconds. Five seconds left now, four seconds in the third. And Curry dancing around. Able to get the bucket, Joseph. 29 for Curry, the Raptors down by four, 83-79. Curry cut off by Joseph, here's Thompson in the corner, good. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a beautiful, just pitch pass to that left corner by Curry and Clay Thompson shooting over the small of Lowry. Again, he's 6'7". Curry, the three. It's like that. Just when you think you got him. And Livingston underneath. And Wayne Casey's going to take a timeout. Under four minutes left here at the Air Canada Center in front of the third largest crowd ever at the ACC. DeRozan, no. Here's Curry stopping on a dime, and he drills it. Ties it. 98-98. Joseph gives it to DeMar. Guarded by Curry. Cut off. Jumper. Good. Raptors up by one. 240 left. 199. Curry. Splash. Well, they put Nagara that time in screen and roll. And he didn't, honestly, he just. He stood there to try to isolate Nagara here. Let's see if they do that. Great free throw shooter to Rosen. Misses the second. Oh, a, a foul. He is going to be charged to Joseph. No, no Harrison Barnes today, but there's just a great calm about how they do business late in games, isn't it? 
The seventh time this season, Jack, that Steph Curry has scored 40 or more. Entering this weekend, all the other players in the NBA have combined for 14 40-plus performances. Lowry turns a corner. Lowry right to the rim. What a powerful move by Lowry. It's not a guy you want to foul. Neither do this guy either. No play. All right. Five seconds it. left. 112-109 and lost out of bounds by Corey Joseph. 3.3 seconds left. Were they out of bounds? And no, they want to check, and they're saying that the game is over. David Guthrie and Zach Zarma. Eric Lewis saying, no, the game is over. 112-109, Golden State. And Curry with 44 points. And the Nets, the only team to get the Warriors beyond regulation this year. And that point guard matchup with Jared Jack and Steph Curry is always one to pay attention to. And for the Warriors, they just continue to play quality defense, continue to make and take big shots, and the back end of a back-to-back -back on the midway point of a two-week trip, bring it on. Steph Curry sensing a seam, and he was tripped a little bit. And the veteran Kenny Maurer did the smart thing. Okay, if it goes in, eh, keep it going. Incidental contact. Bogut setting up Curry. His three is perfect. Steph right down the lane to lay it up and in and draw the foul. I just love, I, I just call this a curl play. A free lane all the way to the hoop and he uses that left hand using his body to stay between the defender and him and the ball. Beautifully done. That's textbook. But it's a great curl. Steph Curry has missed three free throws. I don't know if that's ever happened in a game in his career. As Robinson passed up the jumper, took it to trouble. Goddard has been very sharp defensively, and what a pass! The cutting Curry and Andre. The skills of Iguodala perfectly on display. Draymond three, and he had missed 14 in a row. Yes, he had. All that attention for Curry. And a little one-foot runner, rimming it in. Softest touch in the league. Curry, deep three. And he's got the Barclay Center buzzing there. Well, he got the screen from Draymond. All the congestion there. He said, I'll just back up another foot or two. Curry down the lane, and Steph Curry to lay it in. Well, we know he's capable of putting in his hands and putting the team on his shoulders and on his back. Steph. He ain't gonna miss that one. And they needed that one. They needed it. They, they need some kind of spark. Vasili, what a block on Larkin. Curry off to the races. That Jared Jack retreating, flips it up and in! The difficulty and the degree of difficulty on that shot for most players. The coach would say, don't take that shot, but he just curls it in. As I said, he's got the softest hands with the ball I've ever seen. Seeley rebounding with Thaddeus Young, miss. Chance for the Warriors to take the lead. Curry, three, yes sir! Well, you knew he was gonna take the shot. Just a matter of whether he was going to make it or not. And he's been making them all year long, and particularly on this road trip, in the Lionel. same situation. Donovich, three. And Steph for the rebound. The Warriors are trying to play tempo here. Lob to Azili! Great recognition by Festus, and Steph saw him the whole way. He just outran Brooke Lopez, and no one picked him up. Festus finding Curry. Field goal and the foul. Three and a half second game shot clock difference. Winding down this third. Here Jack, floating it up and out. Draymond with the rebound. Time to work at five. Kick out to Curry. Three. They found the magic again. Stephen Curry certainly has. So Curry with 16 in the quarter, 28 in the game. The long throw doesn't go. And the Warriors have the lead heading into the fourth by seven. The perfect season lives on. 22 in a row.
to begin a year, 26 in a row overall. Steph Curry, the MVP, comes to NYC, and they win it 114 to 98. It is the holiday season in Indianapolis, and you could not ask for a better present tonight. It is a sellout. It is standing room only. There is not one ticket available as the Golden State Warriors bring their 22-0 NBA leading team to face the Indiana Pacers tonight. And we have it for you on Fox Sports Indiana. Here's the backdoor cut, and Curry scores. Bogut is a seven-footer that makes really good passes, and that's exactly what that was, a very good pass. And cutting to the basket is Bogut. What an assist there by Curry. It's Paul George for three. It's too strong. And Thompson has the Warriors rebound. Nice cut by Curry. Scores in a foul. It's on George Hill. Yeah, pass by Draymond Green. Roddy Stuckey is in for the first time. He now has switched off on Draymond Green, and here's Curry in the lane. And he just throws a lob over his head. I mean, that's part of the ball handling ability. Ball handling isn't all, all dribbling. Some of it is passing, and he passes, handles it. That's the kind of stuff Steve Nash used to do. Here's the lob and Bogut. And so a 10-point lead, make it an 8-point lead for the Golden State Warriors. And they've scored the last 14 points. Now Paul George at the free throw line. It's short. Here comes Curry. A year ago, Golden State scored 38 points in the first quarter here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Curry for three. I mean, that's the wizardry of this guy. That's why you've got to stay on him. And everybody's got to get back and match up. And it is very, very hard. Here's Curry. He's not just a jump shooter. He, he is a basketball player. Hill couldn't get it. Yeah, one person is not going to beat him. He's got to move the ball. And that's how they make their run. And, and Frank wants him to come back. But that's how they make their run. And the Pacers struggling to score as George hits his second three. Yeah, and Frank wanted him to play out of it. He wasn't going to call a timeout out of it. Clay Thompson on the fast break gets it on the right side at the three-point line. And nobody gets to him in time. George against Draymond Green. Too strong. And Curry has the Golden State rebound. Iguodala stays out there. Curry's open behind the arc. Well, done a good job getting back. Just lost Curry in the transition. They're a little more physical on the defensive side, and I think people give credit to them for it. Ah, we George. got two. Oh, I wanted to see that one. But you got the two stars, and he is just on fire. Pacers on the run. Ah. Miss lead on the pass. Gives it right to Thompson, wide open. He's hit nine, make it eight in the first half. Eight of ten for 29 points for Clay Thompson. And there's another alley-oop as Andrew Bogut has three third-quarter field goals. PG back the other way, no good. And Bogut and the Warriors lead by 21. They have put on a show, and Thompson again, he's made ten. I mean, and they, they were running that at full speed. They were running to get Thompson the shot. That's how good you, you, you talked a lot about Steph Curry, but that's how good they get, they are. They know what they're trying to get. Here's Curry, two more. Yeah, I think Frank's going to take a time out there because that time the pass didn't get there and the defense didn't get back. Here's Curry. Got it in the foul. That's the ball handling ability. We were talking about, you know, who he might get. That's the kind of stuff Nash used to do. Just get you in position. All you can do is foul as he makes the shot as Curry to a wide open of Zealand. Nothing on the weak side. I know, and I, and I look at Frank and that's what he's saying. The weak side's got to come and help. Shot clock at six, Curry. Oh, he knows it. He knows exactly what it is. And he, what he knew is that he had Jordan Hill, who is somebody that was going to have a hard time being able to guard him. Green has it hang and fall in. After the delivery that time, fans they up make and into it. Really the first time we've heard from him as Curry and company have quieted the crowd as Curry hits a big shot. He has 25. And that's what he does. He makes big shots. Pacers will play defense as Curry goes inside and gets two big points. Lays it up there softly somehow. And they will dribble the clock out for an eight-point win. 131 to 123 as the Warriors now 23-0. Former teammate Steph Curry, Monte Ellis. And these teams will see each other again January 22nd at Golden State. And who knows what the record will be for the Golden State Warriors.
He is the NBA's reigning MVP. He does lead the league in scoring. He's the most charismatic guy in the game right now. He is Stephen Curry. He and his Golden State Warriors have to take on David Lee and the Celtics. Big Friday night of basketball coming your way next. Bogut sets a mean screen. Curry up shooting. That's the three. Green stands still three. Now there is the X factor right there. Green. Turn and direct in traffic. Tough guy to do that on. He would tell he's really good defensively. Curry ahead of the field. 2016 Boston by four, 245 left to go first. Yeah, I'd try and uh, get inside against them. Curry going hard to the hoop, and he'll get free throws when we get back. We've got a timeout, 241. Lee trying to thread the needle. Oh. Iguodala for two. Uh, Young trotted up behind the play, never busted yeah. the sneakers. Livingston on the cut. Good look by Curry. Curry two for eight so far in this game, seven points. He's out there with Livingston, Green, Bogut, and rushes back in. Well, now, he's, he, now he's got 10. Yeah. Curry, a little deeper this time. Buries that one. Well, there he goes. Yeah. These are the runs you can't afford to have against this team. Sully a pretty good spot in low. Barbosa gets the hoop at the other end. Bradley harassing Curry. Curry with the dribble. He'll get to the line. Curry's got Thomas on him. He'll cross over. Bogut in the lane for two. And quickly, Brad Stevens takes a timeout. Gets the shot off. Boy, comes off that pick and two inches past the pick, the shot is gone. Back to eight again. Curry with the steal. Bounce pass, rush. Easy two. Curry wins the race to the loose ball. Goes all the way. Green. Wow. Uh, Curry for two. Curry with the steal. game 92-91 Boston by one Curry wow I want to tell you that is one of the best shots I've ever seen anybody take <laughs> under a minute to go in the game green they want it. you know they want Curry handling the ball here here he comes there it goes whoa are you kidding me into Isaiah Makes a move on Green, goes to the basket, spins it home. Tied at 103. Iguodala. Looking, looking, looking. Throws an alley oop up into the crowd. Point seven. Turner. Looking, looking, looking. Gets it in. Olenek gets it off. Overtime. Curry. Stop and go. And they're going to put him at the line. Curry. Turns the corner, gets two. Isaiah at eight. They gotta go to the rim here. Isaiah gets a screen, cuts the defense. In the lane, no. Rebound Boga, timeout with eight tenths of a second left. Iguodala looking, 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 looking. Throws up an alley-oop, doesn't work out. Sullinger gets it, will go to a second overtime. Tied at 110. Kelly's gonna take it. No. Kept alive by Crowder, pulled down though by Barbosa. To Curry. Iguodala for two. Get into Crowder. Crowder takes it hard to the basket, gets two. And when does he get a foul? Makes them both, three point game, timeout Boston. It's instruction. I'm sure they'll be able to build from this thing. But they played a, a, a team that really played well. We'll find out soon enough. Celtics play in Charlotte tomorrow. And Golden State comes to Boston and keeps their winning streak alive. It took two overtimes. But the Golden State Warriors continue to write history here in the NBA, 124 to 119.
a five-point win in double overtime here tonight. The eyes of the NBA are clearly on Milwaukee tonight. Bucks basketball is presented by Marshfield Clinic. The 24-0 Golden State Warriors come to a sold-out BMO Harris Bradley Center against the Bucks franchise that has spoiled some historic runs. Bucks are executing well, but the payoff is making the shots. Beautiful pass. Andrew Bogut, you can use him out high because he has that ability to make plays like that with the pass. Curry. How about it? Middleton. Works against Curry. Got to shoot. Except the demo. Turns. That came off the front. The Warriors immediately look for Curry. Ball lost. Curry throws it up from the corner. Off the scramble. At this end, Golden State's a very good shot blocking team. They hang around that fourth, fifth spot in the NBA. A lot of that's bogus, but Green gives him a lot of help. Right there. That's a block. Pass ahead, mail back, Curry lays it in. Now see, what Jabari has to do in a case like that, Green's a good defender, but Jabari shortened up. He's got to explode and extend to use his size. Long pass ahead by Curry, right on the money. Count it, and one. Draymond Green goes to the line. The shot on, too strong. Vizili goes up and gets the rebound. Now see the Bucks have gone to their bench, and you can sense that they've thrown up a couple of thumpers here, and Golden State has scored on both misses. And right back at you, that quick. Curry's pass for Bogut deflected. That threw him off just a bit. He missed it. Bucks, Parker, yes! On the run. Right back at you. The defense. And then the foul. Imagine when teams have this Golden State Warrior team in a deficit, the Warriors get very tough. Well, you're seeing it right now, and and I bet they talk too. Well, and Jim, you know, <laughs> yeah, they do. You know, Curry. You know, and one. They believe if we stay the course and play our defense, the Bucks are going to start to miss shots. That's happening right now. Look at that. What a crossover and finish. How about it? See, that's Curry penetration, Jim. And look, Green's basically wide open. Bad pass. Steph Curry sees three. Box back, takes the long shot. See how the other splash brother hits it, Clay Thompson. That's what turnovers will do to you, though. Well, they've been showing it tonight, led by that man, Steph Curry, off the glass. 23 for him. Livingston cuts. Iguodala. They swing it to Curry. But great. And see, Jim, the mistake MCW made just a little bit there. He was out there, he was hustling, but he leaned away from Curry to the top. Uh-uh. Curry lays it in. Flat-footed defense that time. He just beat it. Two major victories. On opposite sides of State Street in Milwaukee. 1972 and 2015. 3.1 as the timer runs out. Unbelievable. Let's just enjoy this and watch. 108 to 95, the final. Milwaukee has beaten Golden State. And welcome everyone to NBA Wednesday and the Golden State Warriors. Performing in front of the 145th consecutive sellout crowd here. Tonight taking on the Phoenix Suns. This is home to the most dynastic, electrifying show in sports right now. And you're looking at the orchestrator, the leading scorer in the league right now, Steph Curry. Knight left open for three. And rebounded by Bogan. Rush for three again. This time he knocks it down. Curry. Yes. Bledsoe getting up into Curry. Comes up with the steal. 
And Brandon Knight going to cash at the other end. And the Suns leading by five. Thompson open for three, make it a two-point game. Curry with just one field goal in the ball game. Here he is working against Bledsoe. A step back shot off the single foot is good. Buffer not known as a three-point shooter off the mark. Bledsoe saved it to the wrong guy. Here's Curry. Thompson off the great dime from Curry. And in a blink, the crowd comes alive. Curry up court. Curry just two for five. Nice little hesitation dribble on Lure. And Chef Curry with the shot. Boy, look at Bledsoe battling Curry over that screen. Green, meanwhile, with the green light. A good decision by Steph Curry. The first time they switch, he takes advantage. This time they leave Green open, he makes the proper decision. Curry with the steal. The reverse is good. In transition off of the stellar defense. This Warrior team so good at putting together runs. Oh, he was cooking with some hot fish grease now, folks. Lead is 15 with 10.20 to go here. Just underway in the third quarter. The Suns have turned it over 12 times. Curry blocked but fouled on the play. Here's a look at the comparison between last year and this year. So we're saying, other than his point difference, those numbers aren't impressive. He's already the MVP of the league. He's a great player, and he's, he's having a spectacular year again. On cue, Steph. Tell him, Steph. Tell your guy here, Steph. <laughs> if I was Steph Curry, I'd say, don't give me the most approved. Let somebody, let somebody else have that. Let me get another MVP award. Well, he's obviously put in the work, and he is an assiduous and tireless worker. Results showing this year. An Aaron Lobb pass back the other way. Curry got the layup. And the lead has swollen quickly to 21 points. But the Warriors will run out after a made basket. And a great dime inside by Draymond Green to Curry. Here's Thompson speaking of porous defense. Knight with the miss. And off to the races again. Curry from Thompson. It wasn't pretty, but it still counts. Curry looking at his hand as if it was his hand that betrayed him. <laughs> He's not the most improved jumper, that's for sure. <laughs> Curry back to Thompson off the screen. And it's all good here in the East Bay. Green with the steal, looking up court. Curry on the right, Thompson on the left. It's Curry time. It's the 29th consecutive home regular season win for the Warriors. Oracle Arena, a bastion of perfection over the last 29 games for the Warriors. They win this one 128 to 103 in a quote unquote quiet 25 for Steph Curry and allowed 43 for Thompson. Where else would you rather be on a Friday night than a sold out Oracle? Milwaukee in town, brought to you by Mercedes. An authentic fan Friday as the Warriors take the court, having won 29 in a row. Milwaukee spoiled one winning streak. The Warriors don't want to let that happen tonight. Steph Curry, 100 straight games with a three made. And that is our McDonald's true story, second longest streak in NBA history behind Kyle Korver's 127. A beautiful drive by Jabari Parker. And Clay Thompson off a made basket, runs it right back. Curry all the way to the rim. Didn't we telestrate all this stuff before the game? Well, that's why we did it. I mean, it's amazing. Isn't Show you it? what might be coming tonight. Now, Milwaukee, they come in 29th in scoring, but they're 10th in field goal percentage. They just have fewer possessions. As Clay misses that three. Steph Curry, little push shot. That's just called reading the defense. He caught that ball. He knew he wasn't going to shoot a jump shot because they're coming out 
and extending. So he just goes the opposite way. Bruce spoke to me and said what he's watching out for are Steph's mechanics, his balance, the way his feet face. He reminds him to thrust through his core to get some inertia into his shot. He's also watching the extension of his arms and his follow through. Bruce said Steph is very good correcting his own shot. He's very aware of his own body. And right on cue, we asked Steph to make a three as Ross finished talking about him. And happy birthday, Bruce Frazier, who is 51. There's four on three. That's what you get with a ball. Field goal and a foul as Henson reached and fouled him. 12 free throws in the first and a 10-2 run. Beautiful delivery. Curry to Sean Livingston. All the attention on Steph. The defender in the corner turns his head. And that's what you do. You go back door, back cut, Livingston. Nate Thompson, quick release three. So Clay's got 14, but the Warriors still down 10. Steph Curry to Jason Thompson, didn't catch it cleanly. Regathered and laid it in. Nate Thompson, hit the three. That is not an easy shot. Not many people in this league can step out away from the basket, turn, and almost shoot at the same time. Middleton driving, flipping, and Curry the rebound. Steph weaving through traffic. Step back three. How did well, he get out there? And he's another one. Nobody does that. Step back three. Baseline pull. Rattling out for the Bucks. From 60% down to 53, McAdoo running the floor! Michael Carter-Williams is their MVP tonight. Got 22. It's not just his scoring, look at that defense. Well, he found Steph finally. Not many places for Steph to go there. Denacupo has Curry on a switch. Shot clock at five. He can shoot over him if he can get inside. The up and under. And off iron. Steph in motion. Finding Draymond to lay it in. Love that delayed break. And you get the trailer. Three men around Stephen Curry. He knew someone was going to be open. And you know Draymond's going to run. Mayo from the baseline. Curry with the rebound. Steph weaving through traffic. The trailing three. Good. That man has no conscience. Curry three, and he's fouled. This young man's very clever about still focusing on the basket and getting a foul. So we're tied at 100. That's a nice number now. Hey, Iso Curry. Middleton shooting over him. Rebound loose, Draymond. Steph off to the races. The Greek freak is there and he fouls him. Stephen made the move, stopped on a dime and gave him the pump fake. And Dr. Takupo stayed down. Steph in traffic, flipping it in. Boy, is he working for his looks. Curry threw two defenders to the rim. He saw the opening and zigzag through. Nice answer. So Antipi Kupo will make the play to Monroe. It's Draymond on him this time, not Rush. Steph deflected. Steph stealing. And he's fouled. That'll be free throws. He drops them both in. We talked about the lack of defense for the Warriors in, in the first three minutes, or excuse me, three quarters and a couple of minutes into this quarter. But they have been superb over the last seven minutes absolutely stupendous curry corner iguodala three how about for iguodala he gets on the board the first time tonight it's a biggie well the season series is over it was highly entertaining they split and the warriors win it 121 to 112 with the 26 and one a lot of good commentary. Now a little pushing and shoving here. You don't want this.
after four days off, let's get back to some holiday hoops. The Jazz in town at a sold out Oracle, brought to you by Mercedes Benz, as the Warriors have owned this building. 19,000 plus have seen 30 straight home wins, and believe me, they don't want that streak to end tonight. Steph Curry brings the register for three, 101 straight games. He just loves Andrew Bogut's screens. Ball deflected. Neto with two on one, running with Lyles. And Draymond comes up with a steal. What a play. Ray Thompson feet set. Ball in the bucket. Five point swing right there. Hayward couldn't catch it. Steph is running at the back of Favors. Twists him around to lay it in. Magnificent. Simply magnificent. Keep the defender at bay. Keep him guessing. Keep him twisting. No chance. That's fun. And Rouse's point played out. How about Throw that? Over to and let him finish. How about that one? Ray Burke could hit one jumper, but ricocheting that one out. Zeely will track it down. John Livingston's first playing time with Iguodala, Steph Curry, as Zeely and Draymond. And Steph with that left hand. It's getting so you don't know what, which hand he uses, a strong hand, right or left, because he's deadly with either one. Steph is fouled. Trevor Booker missing that three. Bogut with a rebound. We check in with Ross. Clay Thompson has that arm sleeve on his left arm. He told me before the game it's just precautionary. He actually strained his forearm in practice. Raymond laying that in. Look at Bogan extend. Out beyond the three point line. That gives him a chance to go in. Look, look at the shot Burks had to take. He can't play 24 seconds of better defense. Draymond running it back. And the defense fueling the flow. Draymond can now make a flying driving layup going full speed and bounces it off the backboard softly, much like Steph Curry. Andrews read the game nicely, and he's keeping Favors occupied by being a threat. Absolutely. That's why it's important for him to be active that way and aggressive. Steph Curry. Scored us in the second quarter, but hitting the jumper there. He's got 11. Oh, Curry to Bogan. Beautiful no-look lob, and Andrew right on the same page. Hayward had it knocked away by Leandro and Iguodala. Steph will try to get down. So the pesky small unit coming up with steals, and they come up with scores. And Iguodala right on cue. Hurts was going to send that down. Draymond met him up top. Barbosa, Steph to Leandro. And the Brazilian Blair to lay it in. Ten point lead at the end of one for the Warriors. Nine at halftime. And 11 right now. Curry having it knocked out of bounds. Got it back. Ian Clark, and that's good. You go small, and you want all the, the shooters to be a threat. Ian Clark knocking that down. Steph through the defense, gets it back, and hits a three. That makes it feel better. All right, sure. Avery's misfiring. Well, one more basket here. And you're pretty well set. And Draymond laying it in. They may have put the Jazz on tilt. Best start in NBA history continues at 27 and 1. Moving up the chart in NBA history. The festive holiday atmosphere. They've all secured tickets to the big game. And watching two of the NBA's best. Here at Oracle Arena, the current MVP in the 27-1 Golden State Warriors. And the four-time MVP in his 19-7 Cleveland Cavaliers. Second round pick, by the way, Draymond Green. As Curry tied up, up top. Green has excellent three-point range, nails it. Oh yeah, he does that too. Green spots up, hits a three. Draymond Green already eight points, two assists, and a couple of rebounds. Bogut does an excellent job defending Mozgov on that play. Here comes Curry. Stops, adjusts, banker, won't go, but a foul. Bogut's tip will not count. Curry cuts back door. Count it, and a foul. 
Bogut with a bullet pass from near half court. And Stephen Curry with a chance for a three-point play. Shumpert chopper misses. And to me, that's not good offense. There's, there's very few people in the NBA as Curry lines up a three that the dribble up mid-range jumper or three is a good shot. Irving inside Moskov. Moskov turns, misses the layup. Curry rifle pass, Thompson for three. What a pass from Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. Gives Golden State a six-point lead. James drives on Rush, poked away by Rush, and stolen. Curry to Green, and Green the flush. Rush steps back, can't hit. Bogut, offensive rebound. Curry's got Mozgov on him, now James picks him up. Curry to the basket, left-handed, and a foul! Sweet move from Stephen Curry and a chance for a three-point play. You're asking a seven-footer to defend Steph Curry. Guards have a problem. Love the beautiful left-hand finish with the contact. Curry celebrating that move. When we talk about he's in the conversation as the greatest shooter, his ball handling, again, seems to have taken the next step even from last year. Curry inside. Draymond Green found him. Fifth assist for Green. Green drives right at Thompson. A lot of contact, but it looked like Thompson went straight up inside to Green. Beautiful execution there. And it's back up to six. Galavadova stolen by Curry. Curry to Green. Green, Igadala. And got whacked in the face. Curry drives on James. Scoop layup off the glass. Great hesitation coming off the high screen to bring James out of his stance. Back up to six. James to Love. Back to Smith. J.R. Smith knocks down the three. And it's a three-point game. Bad decision by Livingston looking to help. Let Draymond Green defend Love one-on-one. -on -one. Turns his head and pays the price. Minute remaining. Curry again to the basket. Left-handed. Rolls it in. But you've got to give help from somebody. They have Livingston on the perimeter. Iguodala on the perimeter. Cleveland needs to look for the three. Smith fires away. Shot in and out. Green the rebound. And that will do it. Golden State stays perfect at home. And they continue the best start in NBA history. Steph, congratulations. You guys improved to 28 and 1. And I know it's only one win in the win column. But by the way you played with those late buckets, I've got to guess, does it mean a little bit more coming on Christmas Day against the Cavs? This is a great atmosphere. And um, anytime you have a chance to win on your home court, you got to take advantage of that. So definitely a big win. Um, you know, we came out defensively and we did what we were supposed to do. We were a little off offensively but if we can do that that's what helped us in the playoffs last year was helped us get to this record this year we'll be all right in the second quarter you did miss some time going back into the locker room with a right calf injury how much of a concern is that injury right now to you long term nothing nothing serious uh we just gotta take it take care of it we got a couple days off so uh should be able to, to be back healthy come uh, tuesday steph you guys are 28 and one coming off of a championship how are you avoiding that championship uh, hangover and staying as hungry as you are we want more um i mean we, we taste a little bit of success and win a championship but um, you know, we have such potential on this team and, and the core is back together and we're, we're better as a team so we want to take advantage of that and we got to lay the foundation uh, as you go through the season. The record's great, it doesn't mean anything when we get to the playoffs, it's how we're playing um, and how we're finding different ways to win games so uh, that all come out hopefully down the stretch of the season. Steph, you told me before the game you spent some time opening presents with your two daughters before the game but did, you guys didn't finish. How much sweeter does this win making round two of Christmas Day and opening presents tonight with your family? Oh, it'll be awesome. Um, you know, we're blessed to be able to play at home um, and be able to share that time with our family. So today was a nice win. Uh, God is good. Get to go home and, and spend time with the family and uh, enjoy the holidays. Let you enjoy it. Merry Christmas, Steph. Same to you. Merry Christmas. All right, Mike. Back to you.
Tonight concludes the five-game, 16-day homestand. Sacramento in town, and the Warriors trying to stay perfect on the home floor. They take this floor with 32 straight wins, having vanquished Cleveland on Christmas, and yet they don't want to let down against their NorCal rivals. Bogut blocking McLemore. Curry through traffic. Kings did a great job of getting back. Nifty behind the back pass, and Clay Thompson hits the three. How about Curry's delivery? Something we haven't quite seen before. That's a shot Bogut's going to yield. We'll let Cousins shoot him. He can make him. He'll wreck you inside. And that pass was, it took Andrew to the rim. Draymond, he can hit the three. Reminds you of the Cleveland game, but nobody can put it in except Draymond from that distance. See, three guys going Curry. Steph somehow maintains control. Finding Azili, who's just checked in, and he banks it in. Well, Steph out muscle him there. Out quicked him. Wasn't easy. So Darren Collison in. Play with Rudy Gay and DeMarcus Cousins. Iguodala to Azili! The crowd loves that. What a perfect pass from Curry initially to Iguodala. Collison missing and Draymond. That's a man's rebound. He'll start the break himself. Clay has had the mid range rolling. He knew that the only man was on him was the guard, Collison. And Draymond hitting a three. And here comes the energy in Oracle. See if he gets the spark back. That's a foul on Stephen. Kings are going to try to post up Steph. He came up with a steal. Running with Clay Thompson. And Curry rattling out the three. Still can't buy it. He's had two or three three-point shots that gone in and out. But all this attention to Steph, he found Draymond slipping the screen beautifully. Curry is rebounding like a demon. He's got nine boards. Step back, and there it is. His first field goal, it's a three. Continues that streak of threes made in a game. Second longest in NBA history. That's a determination basket. The Kings are just daring the Warriors to shoot threes. They're getting away with it, but not forever. Curry rails a three. And the Warriors are 6 of 21 from distance. And Steph Curry is starting to heat up a little bit. Three threes. And somehow the Warriors are within three. And then there's another three by Caspi. So Omri Caspi, 23 and a half. Curry. Let's go back and forth. Now you've got a shootout scrimmage. Kings can go for the two. And it's Seth Curry missing the three. Step for the rebound. Oh, man. History's good. You think he was going away and take the last shot? Never a chance. He was not going to let the clock wind down, which is what you normally should do. But he knew he could drill it. Draymond, that's a warm-up three. Got a purple jersey within 10 feet. Curry on the crossover. Kicking it out, wide open, Clay three. Yes, sir! That's a mistake by Collison. He got into the no man's land there, and he left a dangerous shooter. Bogut with the right hand and hammer. Okay, Steph Curry put both hands on top of his head because that was not an easy finish by any means. I mean, he had to take that almost outside the lane. I didn't think he could reach to the rim, but he did. Draymond square there. And Draymond is five of seven on threes. And oh, by the way, Steph's sixth triple-double of his career. Collison missing, and now you get the final possession. Gidala with Steph shooting the three. So 29 and one, 33 in a row at home. 122-103, Caspi gets a career high, Steph gets a triple-double, and the Warriors will head on the road. Busy week ahead for the Warriors. It starts on a Monday night at Oracle with Charlotte in town. The Warriors pursuing perfection on the home court. 
right now. 34 in a row, and they don't want that streak to end anytime soon. Emma Walker, who definitely wants a different result than the game in Charlotte. And Steph Curry dominated that matchup to the point where it was hard to watch. Not for Warrior fans, but for Kemba Walker and Charlotte. If I remember, Kemba Walker did not score in the first half. And Steph Curry did a lot of that. Drop it into three. 105 straight games of the three made. Second longest streak in league history behind Kyle Korver's 127. Bogut finding Steph Curry. Steph has almost the, that sh soccer shin guard on the left leg. Curry inside and the game within the game. Steph's got seven, Kemba Walker's got nine. And they continue to go at each other. I'm gonna say something that's pretty funny because when he came over as he does and stretch, stretches right in front of us, you know, people ask me, hey, who's your favorite NBA player? And Spates is eating him alive here. Spates, field goal and a foul. Draymond Green, block shot. Push ahead, step in the foot race and flips it up and in. He can go left or he can go right. He's waiting to see which side Haas will commit to because he can go way out, spin it back. He doesn't have to be right at the rim. Uh-oh. If you're Charlotte, be careful. The human torch is starting to heat up a bit. He's got a dozen. Steph's little teardrop and rimming it home. He just outquicked everybody on the release. Curry. Running with Draymond, delivered perfectly. He knew Walker was trailing that play, got it to him at the right moment. And Curry three. He's not going to get a better look than that. He can plant his feet, take a deep breath, and launch it. I don't think Lynn's going to miss that. I, I'm surprised that he did. He made one, then missed one, and wide open there. I thought he was going to make it. But Curry. See, he can do so many things when he's near the basket. So a, a shot blocker, a potential shot blocker, says, oh, I think I've got this. But all of a sudden, he releases it quicker and higher. Curry from deep. This is when Steph is so special. Four of seven on threes, 22 in the game. Well, when Curry's on the floor, as I said before, they, they can play a little looser. There's a lot more freedom given everybody. Steph with a steal. But he's hitting the shots that he takes tonight. Raymond's got 14 boards. Curry with the three. He goes to the left there. That's just a launch. And that is the triple double. And the crowd is going to give Draymond Green a standing O. Steph Curry flipping it up and in. Charlotte had that 22-point comeback win and right out of the timeout. Set it up for the MVP. Flip it in, draw the foul. And Steph go to the line to get his number. I like that little, little shake out there to move. Watch this. And he put the ball down. I'll tell you what. That's uh, a, a little, I love the way he did that because he got rid of the ball and then changed pivot feet. That was very, very sharp. I'm going to ask him about that one. The Warriors have swept the Hornets. The home winning streak remains alive, and we watch Draymond Green three straight triple doubles. Well, the champs are in town. Time Warner Cable Sportsnet is proud to present Lakers basketball this evening. It's the Golden State Warriors and your Lakers. And we'll show Luke Walton in a matter of moments. Obviously, Steve Kerr is the head coach. Uh, he's will be up in Portland and Sacramento. Won't be coaching, but he's going to make the second part of this trip. But uh, Luke still the interim head coach as Clay Thompson, who had 30 last night, knocks it down, Stu. He's been great the last six weeks. Lou Williams from the outside, hit six the other night. Rush has the rebound. I'm surprised the Lakers didn't try to run a quick play. I see there's a wide open uh, Clay Thompson. In transition, you can't match up with your man. You have to talk and match up with whoever is closest, and the Lakers didn't do that very well that time. Steph, who's shooting 51% from the floor. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Averaging almost 30 points, and most of them are bombs like that. Underneath Curry's alone with the left-handed score. Well, Wirtz has never, never, ever solved the basketball. 
had his head turned to the ball the entire time. Here's Curry on its way. Uh, never in the history of the game have I seen anybody be able to do off the dribble what Steph Curry can do as far as shooting the ball. Underneath to Jason Thompson, the former Sacramento King. What a pass, though. Left hand behind the back. Just beautiful. Lou Williams. Long shot, long rebound, and Harrison Barnes controls it. And the drifter got the shot that he wanted. And Draymond Green just muscled his way away from Lou Williams. So after not scoring until the four-minute mark or so here in this half, Draymond's got a couple of buckets in a row. Bogut's big pick will get it right nice. back. Pick and a roll and a dunk for the, Andrew Bogut. Well, you talk about the a perfect bounce pass on a screen and roll. Curry thought he missed it. He was chasing after that one, but Steph knocks it down. Curry running around chasing. They couldn't find him. And Steph scores. And, oh, he turned an ankle perhaps. Maybe it's the cap, but Steph Curry is hurt. Should take a foul. Yep. Yeah, he came up real gimpy on that one. He's not feeling too spry right now, so hopefully nothing is wrong. And, you know, when you have a, uh, an injury like that, that he had that missed a couple of games, and whether it was a, a calf injury or... What, or ever on this one, it's after the <laughs> high off the glass shot, you can see him wincing as he lands, and all of a sudden he says, ooh, this hurts. So hopefully he'll be okay. The Warriors are on top by 13. Loose basketball. I mean, if they win tonight, it's 100 wins in 117 games. I mean, that's, come on. Here's Green, bouncing. Steph Curry, now to Iguodala. In the corner, Steph Curry from Iguodala. He'll hit the three, and it's 76-55, timeout. Now tonight belonged to Clay Thompson, 36 points. Draymond Green's triple-double streak ends. Lakers' Jordan Clarkson drops 23, but the Lakers shot only 31%. Trailblazers finished the most difficult travel month, December, and even though now they're in a homestand, they are running the gauntlet of talented Western Conference teams. Memphis, the Clips, now the world champs, OKC on deck. We are inside the Moto Center once again tonight, the first of four regular season battles with the Golden State Warriors. Golden State on the season right now stands an insane 33 and two. You can't turn your heads when you're going back on defense against Golden State. They really push it up. And Curry hits the three to start the scoring for the Warriors. Here's Draymond Green. Backdoor cutter was Curry. Picks it up, throws it up from 10 off the glass and hits. Now, do you think he really wanted to go off the glass? The way he shoots so Because well. it's him, Yeah, he gets the benefit of the doubt. That's right. The open man McCollum, a long three. That rebound saved by Plumlee. But to the Warriors, Curry lays it up and in. If you take a shot from the corner, you're playing with disaster because that's when they run on the rebounds that go to the opposite side. They just take off. Ooh, nice move by CJ to get room. Goes high off the glass. That one doesn't fall. And here come the Warriors. A quick two on one. Draymond Green to Curry. Trailblazers trying to stay within arm's reach of this Golden State team. They switch. Crab ends up giving Thompson too much room. And Clay Thompson, who had 22 in the first quarter of their last game, yeah. hits again here. He's got eight in the first quarter, 17 combined with Curry, backcourt against backcourt. Now you know, oh, oh, oh they're going to take off now. They've got the lead. Oh. Thompson, and that's like no hesitation there. Lillard step back three over Rush. His name goes down. Might have rolled an ankle as well as he's hopping up and kind of. You better have two good ankles playing Curry. Well, let's hope it's the ankle and not the other issue that is played back up as Curry goes baseline and Aminu is called for the foul. Harkless holds at the elbow against Thompson. Puts it on the floor, put it up and off. Draymond Green in January is averaging nine and a half defensive rebounds a game. Thompson hits again, good ball movement. Curry, the unselfish look. Thompson with 24 first half points. But the thing about the Warriors is they can get him back so quickly. Von Ley got hit with a back pick. As here is Curry. Lasers down to 13. Thompson, clean look at the three, hits it. See, and they came down to set up Thompson. They know he had 19 in the first quarter. 
let's get him the ball. That's what the timeout was all about. Curry tries to get a couple of picks from Bogut. Now lobs it back to Bogut, who guides it in. Bogut has stayed in that spot, knowing that he would be the outlet man if Curry needed it. McCollum to Plumley. Mason turns inside with the left hand, missed it. Another good shot inside the restricted area that pops out for the Blazers. They've had four or five of those. Curry with the left hand, and that is a quick, strong answer by the Warriors. As the three by Curry is home, talked about the age of Iguodala a moment ago, just 31. Curry's 27, Thompson 25. Green 25. You know, the old guys on the team are Iguodala and Bogut. Curry tries the three and it rims in. Wow, he just caught it. This kind of, I don't even think he thought that was going in. Look at that pass. Curry fouled by Lillard at the rim. Great pass and a great cut. Curry, too open for three. Uh, you talk talking about long range. He's got it too. Warriors get the win. They improve to 34 and 2 so far in the regular season 17 and 2 on the road and of course they have not lost a home game they are 17 and 0 at home getting ready to roll in Sacramento Warriors and Kings for the final regular season time but let's see what Sacramento does the rest of the way as far as qualifying for the postseason partially blocked Raymond got McLemore's jumper they need to play fast but they need to take care of those possessions Brandon Rush, who had a season high last night. Season high 20. And he not only shot threes well last night, he drove to the basket. Steph Curry hitting a three from the corner. Steph's got AC. Drawing all that attention. And Draymond hitting a three. AC stayed with Stephen Curry very well then. Made him give up the ball, but the King still paid the price. Collison. Oh, man. We have another collision. So the Kings, 10 of 19, the Warriors, 5 of 14. And a great Sacramento beginning. Looks like a different team. Raymond hitting another three. Well, that really just bails you out. If he can knock those threes down tonight. Steph turning, firing it in. Dropping in that three. Marcus Cousins back in, missing. Bogut back in, defending. Curry running out. Look at the Warriors move the ball. Oh, that, that's a perfect fast break. They're moving the ball much better. And Steph, little teardrop. They've gotten back to their flow again. The guy's in gold. Steph tripped through the lane. Kings say, all right, the Warriors back out of a back-to-back. -back. They've beaten us three times. Last time we're going to see them is at our building. There's Bogut bothering Cousins again. Yeah, you're not going to beat them with a B game. Beautiful dream on to Steph Curry. Oh, get the big screen. Steph, the crossover, the teardrop, and he's fouled. The pick and roll has made it a different game today. And Steph, Steph Curry hitting a three. Steph Curry shows you why right there. You run Rondo into a pick, and it's done properly. That shooter has a distinct advantage. Not a lot of centers going to do that. Marcus, 19 in the first half. Steph Curry right back for three. Curry loves the fast-paced game. He loves to have a score and then come right back and take a quick one. That's, he gets in his rhythm that way. Harrison fouled by Cousins and putting it in. Five-second difference winding down this first half. Draymond three. Yes, sir. By Draymond. He's made four of them tonight. Four of five for Traymond Green. Rondo blocked by Draymond. Um, instant replay. And he'll dunk this one this time. Well, that's the way to take advantage. A double step. His brother nearly knocks it away. He shoots over him and makes it. He hits a three. Big brother over little brother. How many times do you think they did that in the backyard? Seth is thinking, I have to steal. And Steph says, no, I just put the three on you. So Seth driving around Steph and getting the assist. Nice little fun. comeback. Yeah. Nice little comeback for him. Harrison had it knocked away. Collison didn't have his eyes on the ball. He had his eyes on Curry. He never saw it coming. Best just with the post up. 
And Azili, pretty smooth. Very nice. Curry through the mix. And to the line and into the crowd. Steph Curry back in and right into the bucket. Again, weak side cutting to the basket. Back cuts, strong cuts to the ball side. And perfectly done. I'll tell you what, you get that high screen out there and they bite on that. Steph Curry knew we were talking about threes. He thought he would hit another one. 17 of 33 are they. 29 for the MVP. Curry behind the back. Moving around. Warm up three. Yes, sir. If you watch everything that transpired there, it just has to put a natural smile on your face. The way they moved it. Curry open three. Bucket. He's the answer. He's the MVP. 35 for Steph. Curry. Bucket. Ball game. Off the bounce, best ever. No need to shoot it. Steph knows that. Shot clock is off. They don't need to foul him either. Well, if this is the last time we see Sleep Train, the Warriors have beaten the Kings 12 times in a row. They win by 12. The brothers embrace. Curry, three in the first, 16 in the second, five in the third, and 14 in the fourth quarter. Well, if it's January, welcome to the one-game homestand. The Warriors playing games fast and furious, taking on the Heat tonight. Miami's only visit. They come into Oracle where the Warriors are Lexus pursuit of perfection, 35 in a row at home, trying to move up the charts in NBA history. Lob and Bogut guiding it in beautifully. Well, he had to do an incredible job just to get that ball was going by him, and he leapt very quickly. Ball dang missing the three. And can the Warriors run off the missed corner three? It's usually when you have a four imbalance, you find an open shooter. How about the best one in the world? The return pass, Curry! Field goal in the foul. He and Bogan, spectacular together. Curry inside! Spilled to the standard and still made the shot. And Draymond running it right back, and he is fouled. Draymond down the lane. Well, it's one of the greatest traps in NBA history. LeBron, Wade, Bosch, Curry looking for some space, rimming it in. How much confidence does he have in his left hand? Going to Wade post-ups here. He looks quick. And all that attention, finding Bosch. Draymond will push. Curry runs right to the line. He's got Bogut inside to lay it in. Draymond Green in the backcourt. Thought about pushing it ahead to Clay Thompson. So Curry. They are running Steph off the three-point line. So five of 11. He's got 13. In, out, and a three down. Shot clock at three. Steph. Well, make sure he gets contact. Steph set a screen. Draymond got around Dragic and laid it in. But he knew he could muscle him. That's exactly what he did. How about the Curry high screen? He set Draymond up. And then the other way around. Get an Oracle involved. Bogut moved his feet, and it's off of Dragic. He's saying, I'm telling you the truth, it went off Bogut's foot. <laughs> and Steph's saying, let's run it right back. Dragic wants to complain, I'll lay it in. Miami has to take time. And Steph Curry with 22. Looking to spring Steph free. Another three on the way. Yes, sir! That's one of the more difficult ones. He had to work hard underneath. Gets a screen from Thompson. Starts to come out to the right. Comes back, reverses field. He's running away from the basket. Catch and shoot. Draymond showed the three. And ripped it down with two hands. He had an answer. Made ISO. Missing there. They played him there. He knew he was going to turn back to right shoulder.
Death, wing jumper, perfect. They're good. Eric Spolcher said, you know, we're doing everything. We're playing great. Two possession game, yeah. so. Steph's happy to run it down. His three. Curry. Bucket. Ball game. He's hit his last two threes. That'll be the final. 111-103. Terrific effort by the Heat. But the world champs are something else. Dwayne Wade and Steph Curry. Game recognizes game. And the same thing with Bosch and Draymond. Nuggets lead by six, nine, three. Nuggets have six points in the paint. Warriors none as Curry hits the three. So he's just made a three-pointer in 110 consecutive regular season games now. Steph Curry averaging 29 and a half points per game. That's best in the league. Try it again. Far right side, Clay Thompson. Yeah, and just so quick, her pass is absolutely perfect. He just, from the catch straight up to the three point in the lane, Bogut puts it up and in. Those are the ones that you got to prevent. Is the ancillary stuff, the other guy stuff. So far, the Nuggets doing damage in the paint, and Bogut gets one back. Well, that was even the pass from Curry. <laughs> that was even meaner, and that was to Bogut. Once again, the only two losses this season for Golden State. They scored under 100 in each as Clay Thompson knocks it in. Clay now a five-year man from Washington State University. He's had 17 games already this season of 20 or more. Bogut in the lane, floats it up and in. Well, that's about a nine-foot floater by a seven-footer. Bogut doing okay so far. He's got nine points, just one rebound. Now Curry on the run. Got it. And a foul. He, he just got into Fareed. He turned that corner ready to score. Gets a right shoulder into Fareed. There's the contact and foul. Curry. Quick launch. Got Quickest shot in the game. And you just get a pick and roll and you've got two bigs. And he knows that neither one of those bigs are going to get out in time to slow him down. Now here comes Bogut. Another floater. He's pretty good at that, isn't he? Bogut. Well, Bogut's got 11 points. And off Harris. He's got it, puts it up, no. Bogut get the rebound. Had a good look there, it was a little bit flat. Curry, Curry on the step back. Wow, he is just a and then goes, magical player. Yeah, he goes to somebody in the front row and gives him five afterwards. Curry comes in, floats it off the glass, that's good. Timeout, Denver. Inside, Festus Azili puts it in. Well, Festus Azili, and he stopped and jump stopped, and that's why they didn't give him the charge. Curry on the reverse. Could be a little rivalry built between Denver and Memphis. 81 <laughs> 73, and immediately Curry goes to work inside. Curry. Oh, deflected. Thompson. No, he got it back. One guy in the paint for Golden State. Curry launches and hits. Wow. And that, that's the kind of stuff that kills you. And Bogut to shoot a couple of jump shots. Curry, quick release again. Curry shot that one and then just kind of fell. Barton on the run. Yes! Will the thrill off the glass. And the Nuggets have hit the century mark. 191. Curry at the other end. Can't sleep. Back and forth we go here at the Pepsi Center. Arthur's got it out to Barton. He sets, he fires. No, it comes up short. Into the lane, Curry again. He's got 30. So Boy, quick. Steph Curry. Darrell Arthur. Yes! Darrell, big shot. 104 to 97. Arthur's got 16 and 11. Great double double. Curry from the right wing. That's wow, folks. I'm telling you what. That's just that's just that's a horrible shot by 99% of the league, and it's a beautiful, great shot by Steph Curry. Curry's got 33. 104, 190 seconds to go. Jameer out to Barton, pulls the trigger. Bang! But will it be enough? Curry's got 15 in the fourth. Can the Nuggets stop him? 
Curry coming in. No, he lays another one in. Everybody else, they want help, and they're so dangerous, no one wants to give help. Here comes Steph Curry, 35 points. He launches. He just shot that from 35 feet. And I'm telling you, that's a horrible shot for 99% of the league. But he ain't 99% of the league. He's unique. I mean, look at that. That's five feet behind the three-point line because he knows that's open. Tends to shoot. Gallo around Thompson into the lane. And it's taken away by Iguodala. Remember, they do not want to call the whistle late in games. Gallinari's on Curry. Curry's going to let it. to Clay Thompson, he lets it fly, got it! As I said, you don't know catch and shoot. Looking for a cutter, throws it into Gallinari, Gallinari jumps, and that's a nice play. And Gallo missed that one. Or Clay Thompson with it. Well, now he dribbled, so he should not be able to move the ball. Into Clay Thompson for the win, no! It is over! The Denver Nuggets have shot the Golden State Warriors and handed them their third loss of the season. Welcome everyone to the rainy Bay Area, home of the defending champion Warriors, led by the league MVP Steph Curry. But the team MVP might be Draymond Green, who's in the lineup tonight after missing last night. And Kobe's farewell tour continues on in his final appearance in Oracle Arena. The Golden State Warriors have the league's best record, although coming off just their third loss last night in Denver. Tonight, back home in the Bay Area where they've won 36 consecutive games. Unbelievable. There's one thing, if you're Luke Walton and this Warriors team, it's been the turnover issue. If they can cut their turnovers down, it's pretty violent with the crossover. Step back three over Rush. Like that Achilles. He's starting to loosen up a little bit. What an answer. Beautiful shot. That's Steph Curry from outside. He has made more threes than any other player. And his percentage is six best in the league. Curry hitting the shot. He's now got six. You know, at 19 years old, this game is so fast that at times it takes a while to get adjusted to as Curry with another three. If you're D'Angelo Russell, you can't go over. Was he looking at uh, at you and I on no, that? He was looking at you. Why are you talking? He was looking at us. He We're was, a team here. He was looking at the sharpshooter. Ray Johnson short right there again. He started two of eight, but another offensive rebound. Here is Curry. Russell's on him. Nice team. Thompson with the cut. What a pass coming from Steph Curry. Barbosa defending Kobe. The dance in the fire. Rebound by Clay Thompson. Like on the other way, and Curry unleashes a three. Steph Curry's got 12. And Kev, you know, during that run when the Bulls won uh, that championship in 70 games, the put back there by Clarkson. The thing that came out of their locker room after every game is, yeah, the, the record is nice, but it doesn't mean anything if we don't win a championship. And you hear the same thing as Curry knocks down his fifth three of the evening. When you looked at him, <clears throat> He had those eyes. There's something about people's eyes that let you know that there's something special there. And he's had the it factor um, for a long time. And frankly, it's kind of sad for me to see him go, but um, I know the fans have appreciated it. All the thrills he's given them, probably all the heartbreaks they're visiting the team, but uh, uh, just been an amazing player and uh, someone I almost felt like he was my son for a long time. Nice move by Clarkson in, and Hibbert will push it back up and through. Martin's added a couple of nice plays. 13 for him. Lou Williams has 14. Curry mm. at the other end with another three. Steph Curry. Hibber comes out on Curry. Williams, by the way, eight in the quarter. Wow. And he hits the one from the corner right there. Steph with the dance. And Steph Curry's got 24. That is a game high. He wants to be out there on that floor more than anything. He said yesterday when they made him sit, he texted 
Bob Myers and Coach Kerr during shoot-around yesterday and said, I can't take this. Here they get the good defense and Curry at the other end. He drops the sledgehammer. That's the first two-point basket Curry has made tonight. Here they go the other way. Here's Harrison Barnes with a nice fake and they pick and he puts it through. With a nice pass, the length of the floor. And that'll do it. Golden State beating the Lakers on Kobe's final night in the Bay Area. Steph was agreeing with me. He was 19 when he met Kobe for the first time, and now you got to enjoy a moment after the game the last time he played at Oracle Arena. What did you share with each other in that moment? Uh, just a congratulations he deserves, you know, all the, the fair, fair respect that he's getting across the league, and especially here. Um, you know, he told us to chase history. Uh, told him I try to chase him while he's done in his career, but he paved the way, and uh, it's nice to get this reception everywhere he goes. The team got off to a little bit of a slow start tonight, but started playing more like the Warriors heading into that fourth quarter. You played five games in seven days. How much is fatigue a factor? I mean, every team goes through it, and the schedule is what it is, and you just got to you know, show up every night and try to play your best. Obviously, it took us probably 30 minutes or so to get going, but uh, we opened the game up and got a win. And, you know, this is a tough stretch. We just got to get through it, continue to try to get better, focus on the details on the defensive end that are going to help us win games. Thank you, Steph. Congrats on the win. Appreciate that. It's an historic night at the Palace, and the fans will have a piece of history to prove they were here when Ben Wallace's number was raised to the rafters. Live from the Palace on Ben Wallace night, the Pistons battle the NBA champion, Golden State Warriors. Curry wide open. Layup. Yep. It's nine to four. Yep. Clay Thompson fires, fills it up. Took a lot of passes to get somebody open, but he was wide open. It's nine to six. Well, that was a pretty good screen by Draymond Green. The totally free Thompson for the good look. Here's Steph Curry with the drive. Challenged by Andre, but he scored it anyway. Yeah. He's very good going to the basket with a variety of of flips, finger rolls, and other maneuvers to keep his shot from getting blocked. Ball away. In and out. Azili with a rebound. Draymond Green to four court. Curry with a long, long three that's through. And, and that's not even as long as some of the ones he was making practicing before the game. Contavia scores after Azili's make on the other end and a quick long gun. Goes for Steph Curry, and the Warriors are within one. See, the thing with Steph Curry, you can never come unglued with him. You have to always be right there because his range is unlimited. You cannot give him room or he will hurt you. He's done it twice in this game from deep, deep against the Pistons. Behind the back to Draymond. Triple try, bang, that is through for three. Huge hoop, and Golden State has a 29-27 lead. Their first lead. Green from Draymond Green. Curry with the drive. Double clutch scoop. Short, as you so put it before the game. Very well deserved. And if you're not a Ben Wallace fan, then, then you don't believe in hard work. Bogut screens for Curry. He has 13 as he knocks that one down. Steph Curry keeping that dribble alive. Flipped it up. A circus shot off the top of the glass. Aaron Baines is hurt, hit the floor, and Steph Curry has been teed up, and he's still going after Brian Forte. If he says much more, he ought to tee him up again. Clay Thompson gets his shoulders square and knocks it down. What a dish inside. Draymond Green gets him an easy one. They needed an easy one. On the lay-in, Curry has 17, 68-51 Pistons. Steph Curry, though, way behind the long line. They got it to him wide open this time, though, and he triples. They were determined. He moves well Couple without the, the basketball, and they screen very well for him. Eventually, he can lose his defender. Raymond Green, top side to Curry. Drained it, believe it or not, behind the three-point line. That was still almost like a layup. Yeah. But Curry answers. He has 31. He has 16 of them here in the third. Ben Wallace, have you ever seen a better shooter? Um, 
not in person. That looked easy, too, for Steph Curry. It's a 20-point Piston lead. Andre calls for it against Raymond Green. Hooks it over him. Hits it! Has a little something to say. It's 103-81. That's impressive. Curry gets his own and knocks it down. Man. See, that's what makes him the best shooter. Maybe one of the best of all time. The fact that he doesn't need a screen. He doesn't need interference. He has a superior ball handle and can get it himself. Clay Thompson with the turn and gun. Able to answer. It's 105-85. Five and a half left. 21 for Thompson, 36 for Curry. Raymond Green, nice bounce inside for Curry. Pistons wouldn't let him score. They knock him down. The Pistons, 113, Golden State, 95. On a bitter cold, 11 degree night in Cleveland. Snow on the ground, late snow in the forecast, but it is a packed house at the queue for a much anticipated second meeting of the season. Now, this is a matchup of the the two teams that met in last June's NBA Finals, the defending champion Golden State Warriors facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the Warriors control the opening tip. Bogut played by Mozgov. Here is Curry. Gets it underneath to a wide open Bogut. You have to love it. Just If you're going to watch this game tonight, you're going to see wonderful ball movement, unselfish play. Started on the first play of the game. Curry fires from way downtown. Speaking of aggressive. Steve Kerr won five championships as a player, but he said this morning of that evening, it was the greatest day of my life. But inadvertently, Curry may have caused a bit of controversy. While innocuously answering a question about his memories, he said, of the locker room, hopefully it still smells a little bit like champagne. LeBron James wanted to talk about it this morning at Cavs shoot around, but nobody asked him. He said he would have an answer to those comments tonight. Here's Curry on a quick release and hits another three. Golden State started out five for five, including three from downtown. Is Curry with a scoop. Steph Curry, so fluid, so effortless. Here's Curry from way downtown. No way. And may have had something to say to Delavadova. Yeah, he looked at him a little bit. <laughs> like, remember this? 31-19, Warriors. Oh, LeBron with a shove on Curry, and that's a foul. LeBron James shoving Steph Curry and called for the foul. And if I'm Curry, I don't care about that. Push me all you want. You can't push me while I shoot a three. Just great battling by the two guys. And the quick release by Curry for another three. James. Played well by Thompson. Great zone right there by Golden State. Anytime as you see this nice finish by Iguodala. Iguodala able to work his way down court, and Curry saw him from the corner of his eye. Nice back cut. And the foul on Moscow for the shove. The defensive communication by Golden State is wonderful. He's had two guys switch off Green and Iguodala on LeBron. And the ball is stolen, leading to a three on one. Here is Curry. 57-32 Warriors. Here's Thompson again. And they are getting destroyed here. Here's Curry for three. Steph Curry with his fifth. Five of six from downtown has 191 threes for the season, which leads the NBA. And here's Curry on a catch and shoot. That's his sixth three. Six of nine from from downtown. I'd like to see Kyrie at, at full strength. I mean, he's come back from off-season surgery. He's had, some, he's had some nice games, but had that fractured left kneecap. Curry now with 29 points. Curry from downtown. Marv, he turned around, Marv, before he hit the shot. I mean, I yeah. know you're used to seeing it, but this, this is just... <laughs> This is exciting no matter the score because you have a team out here, the champions, that are playing like they're the ones that lost the championship last year. Cleveland's biggest loss of the season. They had only three defeats all season by seven or more points. The biggest home loss for Cleveland with LeBron James, a member of the team.
Welcome to an NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm. First game of our doubleheader tonight from a very chilly Chicago, Illinois. It's the Golden State Warriors visiting the Chicago Bulls. Another sellout at the United Center. As the NBA circus known as the Golden State Warriors are in town. One of the most unique, versatile players in the league for sure. Green, Curry drives, keeps his dribble alive. Lobs it up to Bogut. Bogut has Rose on him. Throws it back out. Curry, a little fake, gets rid of Gasol. Nails it. And when Bogut catches as an opposing team, you cannot react. He does not want to shoot the ball. So you can't come back after a switch as Rose hits another little runner. You can't come back and give help off Curry. Derrick Rose, three for three to start. And you got to keep up with this pace, says Barnes very quickly in the shot clock nails the jumper Bogut has been a monster on the boards to start already with six rebounds curry gets hit count it and one moving without the ball and a chance for a three-point play curry the other way curry was talking about green with us before the green game green puts that one in and he says it's just every night he finds a different way to have an impact. Whatever the team needs on that particular night. As Butler lost the handle, Curry creates some space, knocks it down. And Golden State goes up by four. A timeout from Fred Hoiberg. It can happen so quickly. As you may have seen, he made a half-court shot at team practice this week. Mike, both of those signs, very encouraging that Steve Kerr is getting better. Certainly everybody out there wants to see him back, including Luke Walton. Luke Wong has done a tremendous job. Oh, what a pass. Curry and Bogut with his offhand throws it down. Lefty. So I, wouldn't say, inside. I wouldn't say it was my basis. Ron Harper on that team as well had T-shirts made before the playoffs started that said 72 wins don't mean a thing without a ring. I love those stories from Coach Kerr, Mike. Of course, it finished up with a ring as Curry catches, shoots, and rattles it home. A two-pointer. By the way, that Bulls team, the last three losses were all by one point. Barbosa catches it off the screen. Scoop layup is good. Draymond Green has Rose on him. Throws it back out. Thompson catch, shoot, can't hit. Green another rebound. Curry gets hit. Shot won't go as Rose went barreling him in, barreling into him. And Curry will shoot three free throws. Curry catch, dribble, drive, left-handed. Won't go, but he's fouled. The follow from Bogut won't count as Curry's going to go back to the free throw line. Rose to Gasol. Powell Gasol lines it up. Can't get it to fall. Curry the rebound. Curry drives inside the paint. Blocked by Gasol. Back up, and he puts it in. Oh, stays with the play after the rejection. That's a wow right there. Curry hits a three. Steph Curry, his second three-pointer. And Golden State back up by 15. I think Golden State is just that good. Barnes, the eighth three-pointer of the game for the Warriors. Barnes having a fine game. He's got 16. Portis fakes. Can't hit that. Barbosa really hasn't slowed down that much. As Azili gets it in. Guys slow down, obviously, they get old. Now, he's not playing as many minutes as he used to, but he is still super quick. Curry gets inside. And it opens up and an easy dunk for Stephen Curry with the left hand. Well, there's another inbounds layup. This is incredible. This is unbelievable underneath out of bounds execution. Curry fakes the three, puts it up. Oh, Steph Curry from way downtown. And it's back up to 22. Thompson, another three. Rattles it in. Another one of those dominating Golden State Warrior performances. The best team in the NBA is now 39 and 4. Steph Curry, or 25 and 11. Steph, another dominant performance. How was this team able to create so much offensive energy tonight? It starts with our defense. Um, D Rose got hot early in the game, but it was out of the, our game plan to try to force him off the line, put bodies in front. He just made some tough shots, but after we got some stops, we were able to get to our, our pace, and uh, that's where we thrive the best. After the dominant performance you guys had against the Cavs on Monday night, and now this, how would you rate these back-to-back -back nights for you guys? I mean, this is big. It's the middle of the season, so you want to continue to try to build momentum. But after what happened in Detroit two games ago, um, two great bounce-back performances, um, playing you know pretty much 
our best ball of the, of the year. So uh, it's nice to finish off the road trip, two out of three, uh, and go home. And for you, it's not just about scoring. Yes, you got your 25 points, but also 11 assists. How are you able to get so many people involved while you're also putting up some great numbers? Uh, it helped Draymond went out for a little bit, so <laughs> I was a, a little bit more of a playmaker. We usually run a lot of our offense through him, and he plays so well in the middle of the floor, finding guys. Um, we kind of traded places a little bit. Um, out of pick and roll, and obviously guys got to make shots, and they did that tonight. Congrats on the win, and we're looking forward to seeing you guys Monday night against the Spurs. Thanks, Evan. NBA Friday presented by State Farm continues from Oakland, California at Oracle Arena, home of the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors, who've won 37 in a row at home, entering tonight's game against the Indiana Pacers. And a boost for the 39-4 champs as head coach Steve Kerr returns to the bench for the first time since the finals. He was out because of complications from back surgery. He had been traveling with the team the last month or so, and he returns to coach the team tonight against Indiana. And we got the top three three-point shooters in the league. Curry, Thompson, and Paul George as Thompson hits a two, and it's 4 nothing Golden State. How about Steph Curry has 196 threes. Set a record last year, 286 for the season. He's only 90 away already from a record he set last season. Well, you mentioned 196. Clay Thompson, number two, as Jordan Hill gets the Pacers on the board. Thompson has 129. Number two. He's 70 back of him. <laughs> Here's Curry. For 71. <laughs> and there's 197 for Curry. He'll be the first with 200 threes, four straight years in NBA history when he gets there maybe tonight, maybe Just in the first half. Incredible. And Glenn Robinson, the third. Getting the start tonight with all the injuries that the Pacers have, including Rodney Stuckey, who's missing his fifth straight game with a foot injury. Long pass to Green. Puts it in. And a three-point chance for Draymond Green. His assist numbers, John, have doubled from a year ago. He was around three and a half this year. He's over seven assists. I know it helps when you got great shooters. You're going to get more assists. Speaking of that, Curry with his second three-pointer, 198 now in the season. And 115 games in a row, closing in on Kyle Korver's record of 127 consecutive games with a three made. Here's Solomon Hill from outside. Not even close on the three. He's three for 20 on the year. Yep. Another fast break opportunity. Green streaking down the floor. 22 to 8, Golden State. Another Pacer timeout. How about 57 and 0 going back to last year? They are when they hold their opponents under 100 points. Wow, what a great look by Curry and Draymond Green with 11 points already as uh, Draymond Green throws it down. Here's Turner with one, lets it fly, and it won't go. And that's the end of the first quarter. That went in, but it won't count. <laughs> but why should we be surprised? <laughs> three quarter court three. It was really interesting press conference from general manager David Griffin today. One of the comments that stood out, John, when he said that they didn't handle prosperity well and that there was a disconnect as Thompson buries a three when the team was winning. George trying to shake Thompson, drives and puts it in. Now Paul George with six points here in the first half. Well, that's what happens when you go to the small on epic for the Warriors. Oh, Great pass oh, by Curry to Iguodala. Fake like he was going to throw it to the corner and dropped it Absolutely. off. Absolutely, just a little slight. Eyebrows raised to look like he's going to the corner, and he finds Iguodala for the easy one. What about this Indiana team down seven? And it's the second group. Curry says, I'll take care of that. His third three-pointer, giving the Warriors 61 first-half points. Shot clock at four for George. Finds Robinson with two hangs, can't score. Time for Curry from half court. It's gone! He banks it in! Gotta be kidding me. He made one at the end of the first that didn't count. This one's good! <laughs> oh my, Dave. Really? He was mad at himself at the end of the first quarter that he didn't shoot it in time as he made it. He made sure this time he sized it up and goes glass. Oh. You've got to be kidding. Three-pointer number 200 on the season for Steph Curry, the first NBA player ever with 200 threes, four straight years, and he does it in style, banking it in to end the half. Toyota halftime coming up.
Here's Thompson, spins out. Curry there with his eighth rebound. Warriors don't have a field goal the last four minutes until now. A three by Curry, his fifth triple. Green to Curry to Bogut. Bogut couldn't finish once. And then Curry taps it out to Green, who's wide open. Gave it up, and Thompson missed the three. Now Curry gets a second chance and makes the Pacers pay. Six threes for Curry. As Thompson nails his fourth three, he and Curry have combined for ten triples. Curry's only his second two-point attempt of the game. And he was fouled. He'll go to the line. And if you're just joining us, Steve Kerr back after complications from two back surgeries as Green connects. He had a leakage of spinal fluid. It was causing migraines, headaches that still have been bothering him. Here's Curry, flips it in, 29 points for Steph Curry. Well, he just needs one rebound for that triple-double. A fake of the pass <laughs> and a teardrop for Curry to give him 31 points, his 20th 30-point game of the season. A steal by Green. The Warriors on the run. Curry with the spot-up three. It's there! <laughs> Curry lost it, still volleyballed it out to Barnes, and now gets a wide-open look, and you know, it's down. His eighth three-pointer, 37 points, another Indiana timeout. George, career high in steals, a two per game. Couldn't finish, there's rebound number 10. The crowd erupts as he gets the triple-double. And then Curry gets 39 points. <laughs> May have hurt himself, though. The Warriors off. This weekend, they play the Spurs here Monday, and then the Mavs Wednesday on ESPN. Green with the jam, and a foul. Wow. They're the best team in the league, the reigning champs, and they're 40-4 and four after a 122-110 to 110 win over the Indiana Pacers. Well, can the Spurs come in here and shut them down? They give up under 90 per game. They got their work cut out here at Oracle on Monday night. Welcome back, Steve Kerr. Good to have Steve back coaching after missing the first 43 games after complications from back surgery. Meanwhile, Steph Curry, a triple-double, 39 points, 12 assists, 10 rebounds, some theatrics with a buzzer beater at the end of the half for three. He would have had over 40 if that three-quarter court shot to end the first quarter didn't come after the horn. The past two NBA champions meet for the first time at Oracle with 20,000 first of four meetings in a rivalry that will get very exciting. Let these people in. They've been waiting to watch the top two teams in the NBA tonight. 7-0 and when James Duncan has not played. Those were all at home. Curry three. Under 16 straight with a three, tracking down Kyle Korver. Curry coming up with a steal. One on one on Parker behind the back to flip it up and in. Does anybody off the dribble in a one on one situation get to the rim as well as Stephen Curry and finish with either hand? It, it just makes it look very comfortable and very easy. Curry another three. He's oblivious to a defender closing on him. Marcus Aldridge is 6'11". Steph took it away from Parker again. Curry, one man fast break. And he is fouled and will get to the line. Don't get caught fighting over the top of him. He wants to penetrate. Bogut with the quick hands, knocked it away. Curry with Iguodala running. Well, this is the nightmare start for Greg Popovich. Turnovers and Warriors fast breaks. The Warriors lead the league in fast break points. Bosa saved a turnover. Curry three. Good! <laughs> Steph with over half the Warriors points. Curry turning the corner. Steph down the lane to flip it up and in. How about that? I don't know how to got a 29 first quarter score here. Steph with the floor. And that is working hard to get a shot. Greg Popovich saying, stop the ball. Stop the ball. Watch Green. Stop the ball. Curry around Kawhi Leonard. He lost him and hit a three. Greg Popovich, coach the Spurs, said, Stephen Curry is so good 
at creating space now with the way he handles that ball. And Ginobili, those killer threes in quite a building. We're fortunate. And in Ross three. Back pocket five. Curry checked it. It's around Parker hanging in the lane. A dangerous fall, and everybody's all right. This is quite a story. Had to talk himself into a D-League tryout. Curry around Aldridge. How do you explain his ball handling? Deceptive and under control. Let me quote Jim Barnett. The small man always has the advantage over the big man. Well, of course. Curry three. Yes, sir. Curry made it anyway. Oh, well, you, you, you gotta see this to believe it. Curry in rhythm. Yeah. He's hit back to back threes. This is when he starts to feel it. There's another one. And that was a heat check. You could you could tell he you watched Steph enough. Oh, you can feel it. See Simmons trying to hound Curry. Steph getting in the lane anyway. You talk about finding ways to score. This is innovative. As he turns the corner, Bob, right in front of us, he throws the ball in, ahead of him, in front of him, and runs to it. When you see Curry in this mode, and you watch his emotion after that play, you well, get he, an knows, he knows he did something special. Well, you get an idea why they call him the baby-faced assassin. He, he just, he liked what he did there. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. There is a competitiveness in Steph Curry and a leadership quality that is something special. Iguodala streaking and fouled. And Curry now the steal. Simmons reached. Iguodala opens three. Warriors have not had a good three-point shooting night other than Steph. Curry had it knocked away. <laughs> Tried to shoot it. Azili saving it. That could be the craziest assist ever. It's the three off the fall down and knock it to the corner to the best shooter in the world. Steve Kerr just comes by just shaking his head. He, he didn't like to play, but they got a result. That's the way it's bouncing tonight for him. Steph Curry out. And a round of applause for the MVP, who has been nothing short of spectacular. No need to shoot it. It finishes at a nice even number. A 30-point win to go 41-4. and four. Welcome to NBA Wednesday, presented by State Farm. From Oakland, California, and Oracle Arena, where the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors shoot for their 40th consecutive regular season home win as they welcome the Dallas Mavericks. The Warriors with a 41-4 record in 95-96 through 40 six games the Chicago Bulls were 41 and five so if Golden State wins tonight it'll be the best start in NBA history through 46 games well I, I thought 72 and 10 was possible for this Warrior team a couple weeks ago now I think it's probable they just have to go what 32 and 5 in their last 37 games good start Harrison Barnes for three and he's been struggling the last couple of games four for his last 16 good start though for Barnes the only warrior to start every game last year competing at a high level winning still uh, drives me and it's, it's still fun to compete with the young guys my body's still holding up okay um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing it as long as I can and uh, help these guys out where, uh, wherever I can you're resting tonight, preventative measures, but how have you been holding up through the first half of the season? Good so far. I only missed a couple back-to-back -back so far. The switch here, and Draymond Green, a fortunate foul, but Curry with the strip. Very fortunate I pick up number four at uh, that time. Got to be smarter than that, knowing you have three. Stay on your feet. He landed on him. Isn't that a foul? Well, he, but fortunately... Bogan with the jam, Curry with the third assist of the night for him. First points of the night for Williams. Curry answers with a three, and it's 117 straight games with a made three. Six points. Curry feeling pretty good, his second three of the half. And nine points now for Steph. Good spin move there, Wesley Matthews. Couldn't finish, though. 
Thompson looking to run. Waits for Curry, who fires. Rainbow three. <laughs> Timeout, Max. Parsons for a three. Wow. And Chandler Parsons really has it going. He's three for four from behind the arc tonight. Over his last 10 games, he's shooting 60% from three. He's got 18 points in the game. Big time. 18 for 30 coming in, as you mentioned, 60%. Big time. Here's Barnes stepping inside the arc to hit. Harrison Barnes, the third warrior in double figures tonight with 11 points. Just to finish up, though, on your point on Draymond Green, that number you threw out there for assists, it leads all forwards. Here he gets a bucket with Curry getting the assist. Green has doubled his assist average from last year. Well, how about the five non-guards who have averaged seven-plus assists? Other than Draymond Green, if he's to do it as Darren Williams, can't get that three to go. LeBron James, Larry Bird, Clay Thompson three, play for three. John Havlicek, Will Chamberlain, and Grant Hill to average seven as the Warriors answer again. Warriors have hit their last five, a steal by Steph Curry, who's number four in the NBA in that category. And a Dallas foul. Golden State 127, Dallas 107. It will be the second sellout of the season here at Wells Fargo Center, though this one has been sold out now for quite a while. It's been two games since Jaleel Okafor played due to illness, but he is ready to give it a go tonight. It is a tall task preparing for a 6'3 guard named Steph Curry. Seventh year player from Davidson leads the NBA in scoring, averaging just under 30 a game. His talents unquestioned, his preparation meticulous, a pregame routine that is simply anything but. Curry leads the team, that's the talk of the NBA this season, the defending champion Golden State Warriors. They will face the Sixers for the first time this year, right here on Comcast Sportsnet. Stauskas drilling it. So Nick Stauskas, pair of field goals and as many tries, an 11-2 Sixer outburst. Barnes connecting at the other end. Noel trying to deal with Thompson. Grant helping out as well. Contact made, whistle silent. Fresh 24 here for the Warriors. That's Curry, and he knew it was good. He started running down the floor while the ball was in midair. So Curry, the game's leading scorer, averaging a tick under 30 a game. You see the switch with Grant on Thompson. That leads Stauskas to deal with Draymond Green. Nerlens Noel coming over to help out, but ultimately, Andrew Bogut has the final word, a second hoop. And a steal now by Curry, who is fourth in the NBA in that category. Thompson for three. Wow. Voila, just like that. First of all, it's the little pitter-pat by Curry on the right wing to elude Ish Smith, and then the clear cross-court pass and the quick release by Thompson. Ten unanswered now. you got to be careful. Noel took it back. Grant had it knocked away. What a play by Green. Then it was blocked by Bogan. Man. Active hands for the team in black. Sixers unable to get the ball to the rim. The show is on. Thompson with three threes and four tries. 13 unanswered. And there go the Warriors. Perry through the back door. Got it over Okafor. And he scored it. The second bucket. Not an easy shot. He had to get it up quickly. Jaleel went outside the lane to cover that shot. There is Curry, and that was for three. Steph Curry, so the Warriors, true to form, six of ten from beyond here in the opening quarter. They are third in opponent's field goal percentage, and they defend the three better than anybody else in the NBA. They do, and I think their, their defense is certainly overlooked because of how good they are on offense like that, for instance. The lob from Curry to Bogut. Curry for a three, and that's standard procedure for them, that middle pick and roll to get him free, and he drills it, and for Curry, his third, he's got 11. Still time for the Warriors, they don't need much. Curry getting two. By the way, let me just say this, the Warriors started this game, two for their first eight from the floor, a little bit sluggish. They end up with 73 points at halftime, shooting over 65%. Mm. Beautiful execution, Curry floating in two. Going into the game, the Warriors, wow, what a block on the play. I believe it was Curry stifling 
Jakar Sampson, Barnes tracking it down. In the meantime, the Sixers have made it a 10-point game here. And still plenty of time to go in the fourth. And now the starter's back. We mentioned Curry and Livingston and also Draymond Green. So the Warriors have to buckle down. It's a three from Curry, and they do so. Steph Curry, his fourth three. Give him 18. Bogut missing the putback after the Thompson miss. Smith taking on all covers. And he is stifled on the play by Draymond Green. And Smith is arguing for the call. Gets no love from the official along the baseline. In the meantime, Steph Curry canning his fifth three of the game. Curry all the way in. Got to Steph Curry. It's money time. And he comes up big. Cannon, the near steal. And he gets it. Going in for the tie. Yes! This Smith has tied it up. Again, the shot clock unplugged. The Sixers do have a foul again. Smith is strapped to Curry. The screen from Green. Noel takes over. Here's your game. Green giving it up. Barnes for the win. Got it. Two tenths of a second to go as Barnes drills it for the Warriors. It was a three. Well, I'll tell you what. Listen to the applause from the sellout for the 76ers and what they've done in this game. Everyone appreciative of the effort and the performance they've seen here tonight. The New York Knicks are presented by Chase, and we welcome you on a Sunday night to Madison Square Garden in New York. The New York Knicks against the number one team in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors at 43 and 4. One of the stars of the group is Steph Curry. And this is how he gets set to warm up and play. Both hands dribbling, shooting from everywhere in the arena, sending up rainbows that go down and even going way out toward half court. It's intimidating if you're watching, but you have to be mesmerized by it. And yes, 60% of the time, they drop. I think you might be right, Clyde. Guys look a little tight. Beautiful pass, Bogut. And the first points of the game. But see, it Mike, two minutes and 40 seconds. You talk about their three balls, but they play old school basketball a lot, too. They do a lot of back doors like they did just there. Anthony draws the foul. Shot won't go. But a good fake, and Harrison Barnes picks up his first. Anthony looking to post up. Andre Iguodala in the game. Anthony turned and shot his game. Ten straight points by the Knicks. So the Warriors ran off seven consecutive points. The Knicks have answered. Anthony's jump shot. That's good. Well, after that slow start with maybe some jitters, the Knicks have reeled off 14 straight points. Curry comes off the screen and drills his first three-pointer. Anthony gets it back. Mello points for Anthony right now. Anthony also four rebounds and two assists. Curry gets away. That's a three. A long distance. He shoots so many of them from well beyond the arc. Thompson has been hot all 12 here in the second. Knocked away by Anthony. Galloway drives, gets inside, blocked. But a goaltend. As Livingston got it off the backboard. Of the, the Warriors thought he got it before at the backboard. Nice Mello though. Kenny way did he block shots. Galloway always going north and south. And looks like that was a good call. Yep. Anthony lays it up and in. 15 for Anthony. Carmelo Anthony knocks down the jumper. Anthony and Clay Thompson putting on some shooting shows, both with 17 points. Curry behind the back to Green. Two-pointer for Green is good. Boy, they are red hot here in the second. That's how Curry make guys around him better. Anthony for three. Porzingis is trying to keep it alive, but Bogut comes down with it. It's reminiscent to the first quarter, folks. NBA follies. Curry, that one's good. And he's got ten. Bad pass for Porzingis, stolen by Curry. Back out Thompson. Thompson sets himself and hits a three. And that's what they do to you is the largest lead. Derek Fisher very upset, calls timeout. So they're going to let Melo get his points, not looking to double oh, him. Oh. Anthony draws the foul. Anthony comes off the screen. Anthony now 20 points in 23 minutes. Livingston, rush back door. 
16. Curry, Anthony picks him up, puts his hand on his head. <laughs> Chop will knock out. Anthony put his he put his hand on his head. Like back in the old days with the, the bully would hold the guy's head while he was swinging, swinging wild punches. And Anthony picks up his second. Crowd got a kick out of it as they watch it on the big screen. That's all Green is, Mike. He's a point forward. Guy stands out on the perimeter, can dish the ball, can shoot it. Uh, that guy, Don Nelson, the former coach of these Warriors, implemented that, that position. Well, he tried to do that here in New York with Anthony Mason. Patrick Ewing didn't love that. And as Barbosa gets it in the left corner and knocks down the three. Knicks made a little bit of a run. They cut it to 13, but Golden State quickly back up 97-79. Timeout, Derek Fisher. Yeah, the Warriors tantalizing, mesmerizing the Knicks now. Yeah, it's going to be harder for the Warriors because uh, I saw the record. They've got a lot of good teams on the road yet to play. They haven't played Golden State yet. They've only played San Antonio once as we have coming up to Foxwoods Final Five. Foxwoods, the wonder of it all. And the wonder of the shooting for Clay Thompson. 34 points. Golden State showing why. They are on a historic run this season. Yeah, they're undefeated at home. Now the Knicks find out how far they have to go against this special team as Golden State wins their seventh in a row and are now 44 and 4 on the season. It's the Golden State Warriors and the Washington Wizards as we welcome you to an NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm. In the basketball world, it's the greatest show on earth. Seth and Curry and the Warriors, 44 and 4, visiting the Washington Wizards who come in with a record of 21 and 25. Curry, fake to get rid of Dudley. Shot's good, a three-pointer for Curry. That's a shot fake you talked about, Jay. We've seen it already from Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. Curry, left corner three, so he opens up the game with a pair of trays. A lot of threes early. Well, you got to be really careful not to get seduced into jacking all these threes when you play, because Curry comes down and he is going to be like, lights out. That's three threes already. And then Porter on the foul as the shot after it had been released, pushing Barnes, so a one-shot for Barnes. Wizards have actually, they're the only team in the NBA as Curry knocks down another three. Oh, come on, come on, serious Several game. feet beyond the arc, he's four for four. It's a video game for him. Oh, what a pass from Green as Curry cuts to the basket. Curry 14 points on five of five from the field. Curry puts it in, Curry five for five from downtown. Green drives, open lane as he goes down. Curry deflects and comes up with a steal. Ball nearly taken away by Dudley. Curry, bang! Curry from inside the 28-foot line does it again. He's six for seven from downtown here in the first quarter. You think and that will deflate you? He's six for seven and he missed the easy one. Yes, he did. <laughs> Turn the ball over, passing lane. Watch Steph Curry, watch his balance. Avoids it, just pulls it up, lets it go. I think this is a Golden State crowd now. Curry, again! Stephen Curry with his seventh three-pointer. And we still have two and a half minutes left in the first. Curry, crossover, two-pointer for Curry. That's good. I think the right guy took the last shot. <laughs> How cool is it to be able to tell a story as Curry lays it in and say, Coach Iba told me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Ball, Gortat tried to knock it in there and turns it over. Rush throws it ahead to Curry. Curry ahead of the pack, left hand, oh. backs it in. 29 for Stephen Curry. What an awareness he's got for where the defense is. Look at Steve Curry's laughing over there like, you kidding me? <laughs> Curry, the rebound. Under three and a half from Andy Curry behind the back layup. Oh, with flair, Stephen Curry's got 31. 
Curry. Fires a pass to Thompson. Thompson loves the corner threes and hits another. His second three. Wall, peel, right corner three. Curry for three. Got it! Peel steps back, three-pointer. And a rush grabs it. Curry flips it up and flips it in. You hear the ooze from the crowd after the crossover. And he's got defenders all around him, comes off one leg and throws up a sweet shot. And this guy's got everything. Ball knocked loose, picked up by Sessions, poked away by Curry. Here's Barbosa. Curry, three. It's good. Nine three-pointers for Curry. And he could feel Garrett Temple coming. Gave a little shot fake, and then he realized he wasn't coming that quickly and just shot it. Curry. That's ten. Ten <laughs> three-pointers for Stephen Curry. And they just cut your heart out. It goes from three to 13 in about a minute and 15 seconds. He cuts your heart out, then he stomps on it. But afterwards, he's really nice to your family. Porter up and under. Can't get it to go. Ball kept alive by Wall, but Livingston comes away. And you'll get hit with a three every time. Curry hits the three right on cue. His 11th three-pointer of the game. That ties his career high and one shy of the NBA record. Curry on the drive. Gets in the paint. Running layup. Lays it in. He's got 49. Inside Curry. And a goal 10. Neal looking up. He wants to look at the replay as Curry has 51. Well, he, the previous three games he struggled, but he just put on a scintillating shooting performance, 51 points, as the Golden State Warriors will improve to 45 and four on the season. And the reigning MVP, a spectacular evening. Ties his career high for three-pointers made. And again, look at the efficiency of it, 19 of 28. Plus he had seven rebounds, couple of steals, and Golden State wins their eighth in a row. It's the two highest scoring teams in the NBA. As we welcome you to an NBA special edition presented by State Farm. A busy weekend in the Bay Area and a beautiful night. Golden State with the best record in the NBA at 45 and four. OKC the third best at 38 and 13. I love the fact that early on you see the chess match between both coaches. The point guards are starting against each other. Great dive by Bogan and delivery by Curry. He's inside and Barnes gets away. Nice set play. Westbrook gets inside, left-handed layup won't go. Adams trying to keep it alive. Thompson comes away. Golden State's already switched the matchup. Curry off of as Harrison Barnes knocks in the three, but Curry's guarding Waiters now, getting him off of Westbrook. Pass inside to Green. Waiters guarding him. Curry fake. Fires got hit. Shot short. And Curry will go to the line. Curry from three. Got it. Curry count it and a foul. Cannon hit him in the head. And a chance for a three-point play. And now Billy Dunneman gets Westbrook out with those two fouls. With Westbrook being such a great attacker, you want to get him a little bit of a blow as Spates knocks it in and bring him back to maybe anchor the second unit when Durant takes the rest. Livingston guarded by Ibaka, shoots over, count it, and one. Livingston with a difficult shot against one of the game's better defenders. Back out Morrow, Morrow. Adams can't get it, Curry comes away. Oh, beautiful set up to Spates. This is a game that Oklahoma City led 9-0, came out of the gates. As Adams has it stripped and stolen. Curry pushing, steps, fires, connects. About a two and a half second different shot clock, game clock. Ibaka on Curry. Curry trying to find some space, steps back, fires, it's good. But the difference, Mike, that's great defense. Curry finds a wide open Mo Spates. That's what he loves to do. Coach talked about that. You run that action with Bogut or Zilli, 
he's not alive threaten that situation. Bowles Bates is a guy that can catch and knock down the shot. Overall rebounding numbers are dead even at 27. Durant lost the handle. Here comes Curry. Curry drives past Adams, reverse, banks it in. Oh, gorgeous play from Stephen Curry. Westbrook, who's had three consecutive triple doubles coming into this game, has 18 points, nine assists, two rebounds. Drives backer, misses. Rebound picked up by Curry. Curry on the drive, a little fake, and flips it up and in. Ibaka went for it. And another layup for Stephen Curry as the lead back up to 18. He's a magician with the basketball. Spates the handoff. Shot clock down to seven. Curry drives, cross. Oh, another great look for Spates. Bang shot is good. Curry looking to get three. Westbrook trying to deny. Curry on the drive, gets inside. Layup, he banks it in. Beautiful play for Curry, and it's a three-point lead. Golden State clinging to this lead. Curry to Thompson for three. Bang! Barnes down to green. Waiter trying to poke it away and does, but Adams didn't see it. That is back to it. Shot clock winding down. Green inside to Curry. Durant picks up Curry. Curry crossover, steps back, puts it up, puts it in. Durant drives down. The floater in the lane, misses. Ibaka had it, lost it. Curry trying to pick it up. Holds on, throws it ahead to Iguodala. Coach talked about it. Hustle plays, extra effort. That's the MVP. Willing to sacrifice his body, keeps the ball alive, and love the reaction. They'll remain perfect here at Oracle Arena. Improved to 23-0. And that's it. The Golden State Warriors are now 46 and 4. Steph, so what was it like to finally play in a close game? I heard Steve Kerr telling you guys, we finally got a close game. He was lying to us. He didn't like it at all because the way we played in the second half. But it's nice to uh, play against a great team like them. Um, an atmosphere like this, playoff type. And to close out the game, having, having not played well in the second half was big for us. So, like you said, your three ball wasn't there tonight. But you really showed out at the end of the game. Like, what, what changed for you? I mean, they played a good, did a good job of protecting the three-point line. And we just missed some shots, but at, at the end of the game, we just trying to get into the paint. Draymond made a great pass to me cutting. I was able to get into the paint a couple times and, and finish, and then the last shot was just uh, in rhythm and uh, nice a bit for it to go in. I know you weren't matched up against Russell Westbrook uh, all night, but the times that you were, what was that battle like? He's a great player, an all-star. Uh, this has a, a crazy motor, so you got to be ready. I got my, my looks at him. Uh, he got his looks at me. It's going to be like that the rest of the season, but probably in the playoffs. And finally, who you got in the Super Bowl tomorrow? It's the MVP, Cam Newton, and the Panthers, so uh, I hope they get it done. I'm ready for it. All right, thanks. Congratulations, Steph. The Super Bowl is come and gone from the Bay Area, and now it's all Golden State Warriors with the best record in the league and led by the reigning MVP, Stephen Curry. Tonight, the MVP runner-up, James Harden, is in town, having a career year. It's a rematch of the Western Conference Finals. The defending champion Warriors have won 41 consecutive home games. The Rockets are in seventh place in the Western Conference. This is Ariza outside, and into Howard, pushed by Bogut. Nine consecutive wins overall by this Golden State team. At home, 23-0, Bogut has got a quick four. This Houston team is not very good defensively, and that's one thing they continually talk about. Three to fire, three for Curry. He has now hit a three-point shot, Brent, in 122 consecutive games. Now closing in on Kyle Korver's record of 127 straight, and Steph making that one look easy. Hold on here. Beverly watches Curry. 
who got it from Tremont Green and two early assists from Tremont Green. Here comes Beverly finding Howard who had good position and Bogut slaps it away. Here comes Curry in the quick trap on him. Now they leave him with Harden. And that was the way you exploit it. Beverly. Nice drive inside. Man, that's a tough shot. Extending the arm. Beverly goes over the top. And here come the Warriors, Kevin. Woo. That's Clay Thompson. His first basket tonight. Another timeout for the Rockets. Whoa! Another three. And Steph Curry has got a game high 10 so far. He is at all four of his shots. And there's another three by Steph. Curry. 13 points, he's in all three of his threes. Outside Curry, three. Every chamber is filled. He is a flame throw. Wow. That's Thompson's 10th point. Curry, good! It may be the first quarter, but we know we're seeing something special tonight. In the final half minute of this first quarter, which has seen Steph Curry go for 19. Spanks! Holy smokes! That'll bring a smile to your face and a charge out of the fans. As Golden State finds Steph on the cut, and he'll get to the free throw line. It's Beverly finding Howard, and there he was. Beverly kind of sucked the defense to him, and Howard was open. And Dwight has gone four six with nine points. He has five boards. Curry. I mean, you're, you're kidding me with that kind of range, just to dribble up like that. And, and Beverly really contesting a 35 footer. Curry. Little defense, little resistance. Good feed. Curry the cut. Bogut the assist. The shifty Harden. Bogut, Curry. Four defenders around him. Comes up and down! How in the world did he pull it off? A who did he move by Steph Curry? That was remarkable. Houston has three more offensive rebounds than the Warriors. Good feet inside. Bogut on the doorstep. And Curry gets the assist. Curry. He was chopped pretty good that time by Howard. With 5-12 to play. As you can see what the Rockets have done over the last minute and a half. Curry with a good sidestep and a good feed. And Bogut is right there. Green, Spate, Igudala as Bogut checks out. The inbound from Curry and Barbosa, the Warrior Five. Spates into a couple defenders, and with an offhand, he puts it in. And there's the difference between Spates being in that high pick and roll, able to shoot or create offense there, as Bogus more of a passer. Curry way outside, and he gets it to go. Curry into three defenders, Igudala. It's a three by Andre Igudala. A great find. That was Barnes, who got the sweet feed from on top. And Steph Curry, nine assists from Curry. Curry puts in 35 with nine assists. And now, as you see, the best 51 game start in NBA history is off to the Golden State Warriors at 47 and four. Steph, you had a hot first half. In the second half, how were you able to lean on your teammates? We, uh, we got such a deep team. Um, just keep, keep attacking, keep being aggressive. And uh, we, we missed a lot of shots in the second half, but they were, they were decent, decent looks, and we just kept, uh, kept being aggressive, and it worked out. And when you're missing those shots and they're making their run, they even took the lead. How do you not tighten up in those moments and find an answer? We, uh, we just keep our composure. We're battle tested. We've been through a lot. So no, no runs going to knock our confidence or uh, make us feel like we're out of a game. So uh, they did you know, their job and got back into it. But we uh, kept up on the gas pedal. One guy who always seems to have a big shot in him, Harrison Barnes. What do you see in him that he always seems to have a dagger for the other team? He stays ready. Um, 
he didn't have a lot of opportunity in the first half the way things were going, but he stayed, you know, in, in it, focused, and took advantage of the opportunity in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Made a lot of huge plays, and then obviously the last shot is just, you know, in rhythm. So he's a he's a great talent. It's nice to have him back healthy and uh, you know, round up our lineup. All right, thanks, Seth. Congrats. Appreciate it. What a way to go into the All-Star break. There's a buzz in the air as we welcome you to Talking Stick Resort Arena in downtown Phoenix. The environment is the electric sellout crowd anticipated as the defending champs having an historic season with the most entertaining player in the game today made their final visit to the desert. It's the Phoenix Suns and the star-studded league-leading Golden State Warriors on Fox Sports Arizona. Steph Curry having a career year 35 points nine assists six rebounds last night and Harrison Barnes had 17 of his 19 in the fourth there's Barnes right off the inbounds right on cue yeah lack of communication to start the game there Devin Booker he's got to call out that back screen and then help out bump that guy don't allow him a straight line to the rim here's Thompson the catch and shoot Thompson the last two games not as good as the previous few games as Curry Connects. Curry, of course, leading the league in scoring at 29.9, also averaging six and a half assists, five rebounds. P.J. Tucker, who had a terrific game the other night. Nice little running sky hook. And there's Draymond Green, who did not play well last night. And that just shows you how, how good Golden State is. He didn't make an impact, and they still won. P.J. the other night fouled out. If not, he would have played all 48 minutes. He played 46 minutes before sitting down. And he had 16 points, five steals. Here's another three. He took about 25 shots from the corners before the game. And I think he missed one. Here's Curry all over the place, and then he banks it in. That's what that white square is for. And I think he uses it better than anybody right now in the NBA. There's no shot that he cannot make. His former U of A star Andre Iguodala feeds it over to Curry for another bomb. He's two for three from downtown, has ten. Yeah, and he banked yeah, it in. Yeah, he didn't call bank. There's no way he called bank on that one. But hey, he's made some shots, so you can't can't argue. <laughs> and for you, I mean, what age did he pick up a basketball, and what age did he know, or did you know as a father, he, he's got the talent? He's been playing all his life. All his life, he's been playing basketball. Markeith Morris. Curry gathers it in away from PJ. Now gather. Oh, behind the back. And then he almost put it in off the Barbosa miss. Oh, man. Yeah, he, he might be one of the best behind the back passes that we've ever seen. Uh, he, put a, he did one last night that was unreal in the Houston game. And there's Thompson. He struggled mightily last night. I don't know if you just saw that game, but he struggled. Curry wheels away, step around, alley-oop. Left-hander by Bogut, and the Warriors enjoying their biggest lead. The Tyson Chandler jump shot. Bogut was underneath the bucket. Step back. Step. And that was from way behind the line, and he made it look like a layup. Marquise Morris off the heel of the rim. Good hustle by Booker. But the tap by Thompson to Curry. Curry from way out there. Oh, my. Jeez. He has 18. He had 19 in the first quarter last night on five for six from three. Well, that's almost from half court. That's not fair. He's four of six from downtown. Uh, Here's another steal and a rampage here by the reigning champ. Oh, a spin around by Curry. If he had made that. If he had made that. Oh, man. After doing a whirl around move, a 360. And the quick release from the corner by Barnes. The quiet one. A little lapse here by the Warriors, allowing the Suns to get back in it. And as I say that, another three from Curry. Off the steal, here's Curry dancing around behind the back to Green, fouled hard by Tucker. Oh, the block from behind by Bogut. Great timing and precision by Andrew Bogut. Curry for three. Back tap by Booker, but Curry behind the back to Thompson. He connects from three. 
Barnes with eight looking for 11. And the rebound by Curry, the Sun standing around. And that's not going to help their cause. It leads to a three by Thompson. Well, he gets hot. He's got the prettiest jump shot in the league. Curry with a little scoop shot. Well, it gets easy for him now because the Suns don't have a shot block on the floor. All little guys for Golden State. And it just makes it so difficult. A nice back door to Curry. Swiveled it up. Fouled by Goodwin. Here's Tucker the other way. The three. Rebound Green. The pace pick and picks up now. Curry, who's got 24, gets the step on Morris. Make it 26. Yeah, he just stands you up because you're so worried about him pulling up for the three. You kind of lean toward him. And that's when he just hesitates on the dribble and goes right by you. Golden State makes it 11 in a row. They go to 48 and 4. 12 and 1 in the second of back to backs. Earl Watson slips to 0 and 5. 14 and 40 going to the All Star break. And the Suns have now lost nine straight, 24 of the last 26. We talk about it every year. Once you get past the All-Star break, the season seems to fly. It's a rush to the finish line. These final 28 games go by quickly. The young Blazers have been one of the surprise teams in the NBA. Can they maintain this pace as the games get bigger and the competition gets tougher? We're inside the Moda Center tonight. You want a big test? After the All-Star break, how about the Golden State Warriors? They battle the Trailblazers here tonight. Von Ley grabs the rebound, but Harrison Barnes pokes it away. Outlets to Curry, and he lays it in. And here comes Curry, working it up the floor, takes a long three, and drills it. Of course, the Clips beat San Antonio last night. Popovich play at, added Jeff Green at the deadline. Curry hits another three. Von Ley tried to come out. Closed a little late. Terry Stotts wanted a moving pick. Lillard elbow jumper, no. Bogut the rebound. And here come the Warriors the other way. Don't look down. You'll miss something. Curry for three in the corner. Good. Blazers crash the offensive boards. You don't want to do that. They're one of the best defensive rebounding teams in the NBA, Golden State. Bogut goes to the lefty hook. Rebound tipped and grabbed by Curry. He goes back to Thompson and he scores. Surprisingly, Curry is one of the leaders in second chance points. Back door goes Curry. Great pass, great catch and finish by Steph Curry, who's got 13 points. Curry to the middle, left it short, got his own rebound. Lillard was there for it along with Davis. Draymond Green banks in a three. And a timeout called by Portland. Curry catch and shoot. Hits that over Allen Crabb as Curry is so good. And, and the one thing that's overlooked at times is the way he moves without the yeah. ball. Oh. Curry, Spates, banks it in. Nice shot, Maurice Spates. Lillard over Rush. Long rebound out of, now almost out of bounds. Green those saves, and here come the Warriors now full of confidence. Curry turns the corner, lays it up and in. Timeout, Portland. Curry gets an open look at a three and hits. 21 for Curry. And the Blazer lead is five. Curry for three. Just a little bit too much room under the pick. Curry took advantage. He's got 24 first half points. Curry open for three. That one's down. He looked initially like he was surprised he was that open. Took a rhythm dribble and then hit the shot. He's got 27. Curry along two. Boy, there's nothing you could do to defend that. We said take Curry's space away. Von Ley jumped out. Curry gets to the near side and lays it in. That's how fast the Warriors can snap right back on offense. Blazers come back after the All-Star break. The big question to start tonight was how could they maintain the kind of pace they had set before the All-Star break with that current run? And I think they've answered that question and perhaps some others here tonight. It's Stephen Curry and the Warriors against Chris Paul and the Clippers, a marquee matchup. Welcome to NBA Saturday Primetime, presented by La Quinta on a gorgeous night here in downtown Los Angeles between two of the NBA's best, including the team that continues their historic run despite a loss last night. I think every team, when they downsize and play Draymond Green at the five, have to put Curry in every single action Offensively, You saw the split cut on the first possession that led to a Paul layup. Now they go to Paul Pierce in the post. They've either got to be the cutter or the screener or the handler. Don't spot up against Steph Curry. Paul misses that jumper. This will be a fast-paced game. Two of the highest scoring teams in the NBA. Barnes drills the three. 
That's the reason why they went small. You look at the lineup that the Warriors have on the floor. Shooters around the perimeter that you got to pay a price if you don't pay attention. My goodness. Way to interrupt me, Mr. Curry. Curry to a wide open green. As all the time, extra pass and Curry with the layup. Shot clock winding down, so Crawford can't hit. Jordan tips it, but right to Barnes. Green, nice bounce pass again. A beautiful assist from Draymond Green, his second to Curry. And a very good job by Steph Curry moving without the basketball. Iguodala's jump shot, perfect. So I'm like, this guy got to celebrate the game. Is there an all-star game that you did like in the history? Yeah, baseball. No, I'm talking about basketball. It's always been an exhibition. No, no, but they, they at least tried. Oh, Spates throws it down. As Paul misses that. Ball battled around, picked up by Aldrich, left-handed, can't get it to go. Back up and in. Paul Aldrich once again having an impact off the bench. Curry, oh, gorgeous feed and rush to finish. Curry with his fourth assist. As Curry is fouled. Green can't finish. One Green grabs it. After a Jeff Green miss. Curry, quick release. In and out. The foul that he'll shoot three free throws. As J.J. Redick picks up his third personal. All for three. Green contesting that shot. Green gets it, drives, and finishes. Went down hard. Crawford, bad pass, too low. Curry the other way. Iguodala, bounce pass to Thompson. Boy, textbook fast break there by Golden State. Paul gets inside, knocked away by Curry. Picked up by Iguodala. Curry pumped by Green. Green stays with him beautifully, but then a foul as Curry puts it up with the left hand. Green back to Curry, the quick release. It's good. Three-pointer for Curry, just his second of the game, but it puts the Warriors back up by eight. Alley oop to Jordan. DeAndre Jordan now with 14 points, 19 rebounds, and Curry is fouled. Foul just inside the half court mark. Redick on Curry. Rifle pass, layup green. Left handed pass from Curry for his ninth assist. Green out to Curry. Curry for three. It's good. Steph Curry has struggled with a shot, but he's done so much in the assist department. Uh, now it's 113.99. Iguodala looking, looking. Inside the bar, it's knocked away. Picked up by Wilcox. Wilcox puts it up, won't go, and the game ends. How about that? A final shot could have tied it and forced overtime. As Doc Rivers could even smile about it. And Golden State survives the final couple of minutes. It's the greatest show in who? The Golden State Warriors come to Atlanta for their annual visit, taking on the homestanding Atlanta Hawks, and we're live at Phillips Arena. Baseball will drive, flip, and miss. Rebound out to Barnes. Golden State leads the world in everything. Offensively, well, Curry a bomb for three. Well, you got to expect that from Curry. You know he's going to pull up. You can't give him space. Make him put it on the floor. Kyle deflected, taken away by the Warriors. Thompson for three. Well, this team has no conscience, and they have great three-point shooters, and you cannot relax at any time against these type of shooters. you got to get your hand up and get connected to a player. Thompson. Well, again, I, mean, I can't say this enough. The Hawks can't relax. When you score, you got to get back because this is the fastest team in the league. They score in bunches. Step on the wing. Moves in. Barnes catch and shoot three. Timeout Atlanta. Golden State is nailing their threes early. Steph Curry works off the bogut screen. Three-pointer, nothing oh, but man. net. That's a beautiful thing there. He waited until the defense went by him. That was Al Horford. Took his time and knocked down this three. Millsap and Al Horford right down the middle. And Bogut was there to change that shot. Green at the other end. 
They stay in attack mode and lead 21-9. Curry inside. He's got eight first quarter points. Tabo working on Green, drops it, and it's stolen by Curry. Another Golden State takeaway, and Steph lays it in. Steph is too good with the basketball. And he wasn't going to let you challenge that shot. Did a good job of putting his body on the defense to get it off the glass and in. Inside to Bogut. Green back to Thompson. Rebound Curry. Clay again from the corner. You cannot give these guys, particularly Clay Thompson, that many looks. Ten points for Clay. He's got two threes. T blocked by Green. Livingston slashing to the hole. Gets his first hoop. 45-37. Curry. Oh, oh, oh. His third Man. three. He's got 14 points, 48-37. Teague goes in. Offensive foul, Jeff Teague. I think the Hawks will be in good shape. You don't have to get it all back at once. Steph and Curry Man. drills another three. And I, there's nothing you can do about that. Jeff Teague is right next to him, and he still knocks it down. There's nothing much you can do about that. Curry, how did he find Draymond Green? What a pass. Days more. Defending as Steph comes to the side. Five seconds, four. Picks it up and throws it up and hits oh, it! My. A two-point shot for Steph Curry with 1.1. Clay Thompson, Clay Thompson right to the hole. Corbett and another Hawk turnover. Their 13th. Golden State has scored 15 points off the first 12. Bay's down to get it, but Curry ends up with it and scores. Oh, man, that is such a beautiful move by Steph Curry to use his body to shield off Paul Millsap. Nice flip on the other side, up and in. Corver straight on. Back irons and Curry the board. Launches to Bogan right over the outstretched fingertips of Al Horford. Through the legs to Curry, and Steph will lay it in. Boy, you can't allow that. I mean, you got to get back on defense. You got to close down the lane. That was too easy for Steph Curry. Green in the lane, bounced to Curry. Ran into his own man and still hit it. Steph Curry's up to 25. The Warriors have it under 10. Curry inside. Steph Curry, 27. Warriors by six. Curry has not scored in the fourth period. Getting his first playing time here. 27 for the evening. Looking, shooting. Impossible three from the sideline. That's an unguardable shot. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. That's just a... Beautiful offense. That was good defense. His fifth three and 30 points. Schroeder tried to go inside. The Hawks turn it over again. Here comes Steph to flip it in. Well, Steph Curry, man, he is so, so good, man. A guy who can score in so many ways. Golden State, 93-84, and Hawks in a situation where they've got to get a stop. And this is a tough guy to stop as Curry lays it in. Well, the Hawks, man, they, they fought hard in this second half, but they're digging themselves another hole. As Golden State will go to 50 wins and five defeats. Here's another amazing stat on Golden State. This will be their 100th consecutive win when they've achieved a 15-point lead at any time of the game. On this big game Wednesday night in Miami, the Heat do go giant hunting against the NBA's defending champion and best team still. The Warriors are 50 and 5 on a record setting pace. The Heat rebounding from adversity with some of their best basketball this season. Warriors beat the Heat in Oakland by 8 in mid January. We certainly hope you enjoy every bounce and basket at tonight's game right along with us. Here's Dragic, and Tremont Green brings it down. By the way, Clay Thompson is defending Dragic. Curry's on way. And Curry drains a three. It didn't take him long to extend his three point streak to 127 consecutive games. That ties Kyle Korver's record. Korver did it between 2012 and 2014. And that was Dwayne Wade smiling on the way back because he did it on Dwayne, and uh, he was about 30 feet out. Curry hitting the reverse. And he went back door on uh, Winslow. Well, the 27-year-old Steph Curry with the Warriors' first five points. He is the NBA's top scorer this year. Curry on the delivery. Tony, it's hard to believe it, but according to his coach, Steve Kerr, he is better, quicker, and stronger than he was as the league's MVP a year ago. Yeah, he's the number one perimeter player finishing at the rim in the NBA. You don't think of him as that way, but that's what it is. And number two, Clay Thompson. 
There, there's another putt for, for Curry, the soft, soft shooter's touch for a guy averaging a career high at just under 30 points a game. He has nine in the first quarter. That's Curry, and that's money. They rule it along, too. They will review. Way down the lane, off to Winslow. Oh, picking apart the Warriors' defense. The Heat with 22 points in the paint here in the first quarter. Curry connects with seven tenths left in the first quarter from way downtown. Wow, with anybody else, you would say that was luck, but that, that man has made so many shots like that. Unbelievable. Roberts driving by Green, but missing. And Bogut outlets. And here comes Curry. He's got Livingston to his left. He found it. Yeah, that's what they do off misses. The last two shots are missed. Four points at the other end. And Curry makes it look so easy. He does, doesn't he? 16 points for Curry. Now, if you can get to the arena early, and you got to get there about an hour and a half before the game, the arena doors were still closed when Curry went through his unique warm-up. Tony, it is worth the price of admission to just watch the workout. He does it every night, every pregame. He gets the ball handling skills. He gets the three-point shooting. Look at that shot. He's going to bring rain. Well, he averages five triples a game on 11 attempts a night. He had 31 points in the January meeting in Oakland. And his last three games, listen, he, he torches everybody. But his last three games against the Heat, he's averaged 34 points a game. And in those three, he went 19 of 32 from downtown. Curry got fouled by Dragic. That's the second on Goron. That's the first time in the last eight games that Whiteside has started either the first or second half. That basket will count for Draymond Green, plus a foul on Dwayne Wade. Oh. That's his third. So Hassan Whiteside starting the second half. That is noteworthy as Curry launches and connects from downtown. He's got 21 points. He is three of six from three-point line. Good screen by Green. Dragic missing. Thompson covers up the rebound. And here come the Warriors. Curry got inside of Whiteside for the rebound and scored. Well, Whiteside was on Thompson when he came down the floor, so he wasn't under the basket for that rebound. Curry gets a step on Dragic and hoists it perfectly over Whiteside. So seven in the quarter and 25 on the night for Steph Curry. This is Curry. He really doesn't need any room at all, does he? Steve Kerr, just his second year as an NBA head coach in Oakland with the Warriors. Right guy stepped into a great situation. Iguodala finger rolling for profit. Seven points for the 32-year-old Iguodala. The Heat with a one-point lead. That didn't take long. Barnes, an open three. That's true. Hey, suck the defense in. Hit the three. Oh, nice pass by Iguodala. Richardson commits the foul. That will send Curry to the line. Curry is so crafty getting open for the ball. And it's 17 left on the third. Curry a pull up three. It sticks. So Steph Curry now with four triples and 32 points. And he got off to a slow start, but you knew that wasn't going to last. This is Thompson over Whiteside. My goodness. Thompson with a 10-point fourth quarter and a 26-point nine. They set up the last two plays for him when they were down four. Thompson. Again, that, that's 10 in a row, I believe. He has the last 15 points oh for Golden State. That's incredible. Whiteside hands it back to Dwayne for the jumper. In and out. Oh, that was in. Oh. Minute 10 to go. Warriors down two. Curry for three. His first points of the fourth quarter give him 35 on the night. Warriors up one, 107 to 106. Think they know what to do when they need a three? Miami ahead, 108 to 107, our 12th lead change of the fourth quarter. Right side block screen shot. Nine on the shot clock. Curry from deep. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Back-to-back -back threes for Curry, and the Warriors go up 110 to 108. Man, the reigning MVP. Wow, two threes in a row. That one was over Whiteside. 118 to 112. Dang for three. And the ball game's over. A yeah, great night of NBA basketball. The Warriors continue their historic pace. They go to 51 and 5.
And they are 50 and two when they score over 100 points. It was Curry and Thompson that held off the heat. They combined to score 75 points, 25 of them in the fourth quarter when they collaborated on five of the Warriors' 13 triples for the game. An NBA Thursday night in the city beautiful, a crisp, clear, cool 58 degree evening in downtown Orlando and the Magic are here to take on the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors. The NBA's reigning MVP, Steph Curry and the Warriors with the best record in the NBA, the off to the best start of any team in NBA history at 51 and five. And there's some cross matches, Jeff. Yep. It's uh, taking a look at defensively what Golden State, they had Curry on Pate. Thompson on Oladipo. There's a great pass by Bogut, who is a tremendous passer from that center position. I like to use Bogut out high. That was again an outstanding yep. passer, and he threads the needle once again to Steph Curry. Steph Curry. See, they are not afraid to throw a very high risk, high reward pass. Fournier got a good screen from Gordon, missed the three, the rebound, Curry. Clay Thompson, a quick trigger for three. Well, they advance the ball so quickly. Make or miss, you've got to get back in transition. Vucevic will know, but he missed the shot. Curry. Green running the floor. Oladipo's got Green on him. Gets around him to the basket and lays it in. Victor Oladipo has extraordinary quickness tonight on both ends of the floor. Magic already with eight points in the paint. Curry for three. And that sets an NBA record. 128 consecutive games for Curry with at least one three-point field goal made. Three-point shot by Steph Curry, who has 10 already in the game. Barbosa escapes. He runs over Elias Sova. There's no whistle. Curry from 18 feet. A look for Curry. Nope. Now Verajal gives it to Steph. Reverse shot is good. He spins it in and a foul on the Magic. What a first quarter for the reigning MVP, Steph Curry, with 14 points and headed to the line. It was just another great pass from the big guy, and then Steph Curry doing the rest, going to the other side of the rim, getting the contact, and that's not luck, folks. That's, that's part of his routine. Curry threads the needle on a lob to Bogut. I think if you we can put Curry and Thompson in screen and roll situations a lot here, especially with Vooch, it really helps your cause. Thompson with a quick catch and shoot. Curry came off the screen, a catch and shoot for three. Third three tonight for Steph Curry. Two minutes. Curry. Two minutes. Fall away two is good. Steph Curry. Not much you can do about that one. Vucevic against the smaller green, but he's very good defensively. Aaron Gordon with the tip in. Nine for Gordon. Nice job because Harrison Barnes left to come help Draymond Green. Curry, a spectacular move and a terrific finish. Steph won't even let me finish my point. He goes so fast. Peyton and a jump ball is called. Curry really took a chance. Aaron Gordon challenged by Bogan, wanted a foul, there was no call. Can't argue too many fouls for very long. You got to get back because the Warriors are coming right back at you. Yep. Curry off the three-point line, makes a two. Has 24 in the game. Oladipo with the shot clock down to five, gives it to Vucevic. Bogut stripped it away down low. Green back to Curry. Three-point shot. Steph Curry. And he is dialed in. 11 of 15 from the floor. Gordon, three ball out of the corner. In and out. Rebounded by Curry. Picked up by Gordon. Finds Barnes for a three-point look. Harrison Barnes with his first field goal of the night. Curry, loose for three. Boy, Steph Curry. Five threes in the game. 30 points on his season average now, still with six and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Curry with another backdoor cut. 
They switched up the D that time. Alfred matched up, doing a good job denying on the perimeter, but that's what Steph will do for you. Now it's Gordon from the left corner. Rebound Curry. That's all right, and that's a nice job. Good spacing that time, drive and kick. Curry bombs in another three. Good grief. <laughs> 35 for Steph Curry on 14 of 19 shooting. Oladipo for three. Barrage out, kicks it to Barbosa. Green leads it in. Another assist for Steph Curry. Curry, good look for three. 38 for Curry. Rebound pass stolen by the Warriors. And Curry pulls up at the three-point line and makes his eighth three of the night. His fifth in the quarter. Green to Barajan. Curry, no room. Barajan. And the foul. You be thinking two for one, yep, maybe? I think so. Really good show by Aaron Gordon. Curry jumps into Elias Sova. A remarkable finish. Steph Curry's got 43. So Curry has a 40 point game for the 10th time this year. Nine of those 10 40 point games have come on the road. Curry from half court. Thank you. Man. When you got it going, you got it going. A 24-point quarter for Steph Curry, capped off by a mid-court bank shot at the buzzer. Sometimes by his reaction, I'm not sure he even believes he does these things, David. Curry will check back in, much to the delight of the Golden State fans, and I'm sure even a number of Magic fans don't object to watching Curry. Curry going for three more. He drills it. His 10th three-pointer of the night. 49 in the game. Curry certainly knows that he needs another bucket to get 50. And another three to match his 11 record. Now he's got 50 on a two-pointer. That's 51 for Steph Curry. Third time this year he scored 50 or better in a game. Mission accomplished for Golden State on the second night of a back-to-back. The greatness of Steph Curry was the difference in the game. What are you going to do? I mean, the Magic played pretty solid basketball game, but Curry just breaks your back. He breaks your heart. Contested three there. Victor in his face gets away a little bit. I guess I don't need to talk. I'll just let you sit and watch, folks. Ten of them go in. He took 15. Made 10. That's the one, in my opinion, Jeff, that broke the back of the Magic. The right. end of the third quarter because yep. Orlando was still fighting. Orlando played a good game tonight, but just too much Steph Curry. A remarkable 51-point outburst by the reigning most valuable player of the NBA. It's Steph Curry and the Warriors versus the dynamic duo of the OKC Thunder, the team with the best record in the NBA, the best record ever after 57 games. The 52 and 5 Golden State Warriors facing off against the 41 and 17 Oklahoma City Thunder. Oklahoma City switching a lot of interchanges, much like Golden State. And so now you're going to have to have multiple guys make great decisions once they switch, knowing who they're guarding. Curry fires away and hits the three behind the back and a crossover against Durant. And it's 8-5. to five. Westbrook attack mode. Tried to draw the foul. Didn't get the whistle. Great closeout by Steven Adams on in transition. Curry the drive. Foul from behind. As he was passing it out to the corner. Got hit by Westbrook. That's going to be Westbrook's first. And he'll say in the act of shooting. As Barbosa comes up with a steal. Three on one. Curry Iguodala the finish. 40 to 30. First meeting between the two. Golden State scored 73 as Curry nails the three pointer. That's his second. Adams lost it. Curry drives, flips it over to Spates. Spates banks it in. Curry from the corner. Another. 
and that's the mistake right there. So Ibaka switches on him. He throws it to Spates, and then he goes under the little hand back, which gives Curry the space to give the three. Curry, long distance, puts it in. Stephen Curry with another three-pointer, his fourth. And it's a one-point game. Curry finds Bogut, cutting to the basket. Third assist for Curry. Westbrook sidestep, oh, lays it in. A sweet move from Russell Westbrook. Curry, and nobody in front of him. Curry with the left hand. And if I'm Stephen Adams, I'm upset. I'm doing my job defending Steph Curry on the perimeter. Help has got to come, and Serge Ibaka is in prime position to come over. Green was daring Robertson to shoot Durant, throws it away, stolen by Curry. Fourth in the league in steals. Finds Barnes. Barnes up and in. And Curry a little shaken up. Slow to get up. He's actually telling them to foul, foul right now. He's hurt right now as Westbrook is fouled. Looked like Westbrook landed on a little bit. Actually, he did. And they tried to take a foul earlier in the possession where they grabbed Steven Adams, Draymond Green, as Curry's going off the floor and into the back. Good to see Steph Curry okay. Ready to check back in. Still a little limp there. I remember when he signed that long-term deal, some thought it was risky because of the ankle problems. Just Curry launches a three and gets the bounce. Count the basket and then a foul is going to go against OKC. Westbrook fires away. And Green grabs rebound number eight. Ahead to Spates. Mo Spates banks it in. You got to give Steph Curry a lot of credit. Not just his shooting ability, but he's taking the challenge. Trying to get into the body of Westbrook. This was on a damaged ankle, obviously not 100%, but he is competing. Curry for three. Stephen Curry from downtown. His sixth of the game. He's six of seven from long distance. Hanter taken away by Green. A hit to Curry. Waiters in pursuit. And a foul call on Waiters. And Curry will go to the line. Singler now on Curry. Crossover, step back, three-pointer, bang! First lead of the night for Golden State. Not much you can do in, in that situation. <laughs> are, we, are you kidding me? <laughs> Westbrook on the drive to the rim, way off. Ibaka the rebound, turns, can't hit. Westbrook's tip doesn't go. Curry to the basket, layup is good. 28 for Curry. Curry from downtown. It's good. Curry from way downtown. It's a four-point game. But you don't overreact. Hey, he made a shot. That's good defense. Great offense by Curry. Curry from downtown. Puts it in. Stephen Curry. It's a two-point game with a minute and a half to play. Alley-oop to Durant. Curry out to Thompson. Three-pointer. Bang. One-point game. About a 12-second difference, shot clock, game clock. Durant for three, bang! I think Adala's about to inbound. Ibaka guards the inbound. Thompson drives to the hoop, lays it in quickly. Still 11.8 remaining. Double-teaming Durant, trying to stop him, throws it up. Deflected by Thompson! Green trying to save it, and he does! Ahead to Iguodala. Iguodala puts it up! No, a whistle and a foul! A foul is called! That is two clutch free throws right there from a veteran. Inside, Durant puts it up. Overtime. We get five more minutes of this. Curry picked up by Durant. Curry to the basket. Layup high off the glass. He got knocked down. And it's I on Durant. It's, and Durant is fouled out. Westbrook attacks, goes at Green. Trying to get it inside, deflected by Green. And Thompson picks it up. Well, Green's made some huge defensive plays. Curry for three, nails it. Ten three-pointers, back-to-back games with ten threes, and he ties his NBA record for most threes in a season. Curry, another three. Oh, it's good! The Curry eruption continues. A tie game. Wow. And a record broken by Curry once again, his own. Ibaka, jump hook, bounces around and rolls in. 
and the lead is four. Timeout, Golden State. Singler right up on Curry. Drives, layup, swatted away. But he got hit in the head and the whistle and a foul. 51 points on Thursday night. 43 more tonight. 11 more three-pointers tonight. Westbrook drives past inside Robertson. Robertson's layup is good. Timeout, Golden State. Green, backdoor, Thompson, reverse layup, banks it in, and a foul! Oh, Thompson got hit in the head, and he can tie the game at the free throw line. And the game is tied with 29.5 remaining. Billy Donovan calls timeout. Westbrook, back out Singler, shot clock at seven. Westbrook on the drive, falling away, won't go, rebound taken by Iguodala. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With six tenths of a second remaining. The brilliant shooting of Stephen Curry continues. And he ties the NBA record with his 12th three-pointer of the game. Westbrook gets off a decent look, the banker. And you've got to press up. Robertson just a little late, but that's just... I mean, <laughs> that's about 35 feet out, well beyond the 28-foot mark. And now with six tenths of a second remaining, it's a three-point lead. Obviously, Oklahoma City has to go for a three. Westbrook gets off a good look, won't go. And Golden State historic run continues with a signature win here in OKC. Stephen Curry breathtaking once again. Ties an NBA record with 12 threes, 46 points. And the Warriors are 53 and 5. A look at Steph Curry getting ready for the rematch earlier, going through his unique pregame workout. Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and the Thunder hoping to avenge what took place this past Saturday night in Oklahoma City. It's the 160th consecutive sellout at Oracle Arena in Oakland, with the Warriors looking to make it 44 straight regular season wins. At home, Westbrook fires. Save made by Green. Saturday night, the Warriors were out rebounded 62 to 32 by the Thunder. There's Curry kicking it out. Barnes with room. Yes. Allison Barnes from downtown. And great recognition as Westbrook had committed too much to Steph Curry, and Harrison held tight, patient in the corner. Curry putting moves on Durant through the double. Able to beat Durant and score! Steph Curry around Kevin Durant off the dribble. With Robertson with a rare shot from downtown. Curry with the save. Five and a half remaining in this opening quarter. Curry putting moves on Westbrook, and he scores! The acceleration, the hesitation by Steph Curry to beat Russell Westbrook off the dribble. Westbrook to the lane with the jumper. Mimosa with the save. Here's Curry giving it up. Barbosa gets it back to Curry, who fires. Yes! Cantor switched out. Curry liked that matchup, moved left and found space. What about the instincts, though, of Steph Curry to know that Russell Westbrook was tracking him from behind and get rid of that first one? So excellent job by Steph. They double up. Singler fires for three. Yes! Kyle Singler, five-year man out of Duke, acquired by Oklahoma City from Detroit. Here's Curry. Again. For Steph Curry, that's his second three. Barbosa fires. Yes. They double up on Curry. Bolton on the bounce. Finds Curry. A beautiful play. It's just so hard to explain how difficult it is to not relax after the player you're guarding has given up the ball. But that's when Steph becomes 
devastating, moving without it, and Bogut finds him late. As Curry got the step, Curry to the bucket. This is, this is Marbury at a time when the game starts to have a little bit of flow that OKC still has to contain themselves and not get caught up in quick possession. So we'll see how they finish this last minute. Curry for three. Another deep three for Steph Curry. That's his third three-pointer of the night. Warriors by one. Down to 20 seconds remaining on the half. It's Curry. Kind of changed his mind on that one. He's going to take a short pop and then went for the scoop. He has 19. That time Westbrook off. And good shots, Mark. And good shots. See, uh, Curry was triple teamed and got it down low to Thompson. Westbrook with an angle three. A tip missed by Adams. Barnes sends ahead. Curry with the catch. Curry on the reverse. And he draws the foul. It's a one-point game. Durant is just checked back in. Gets right back to it. There's Curry with the step. And the bucket. The step taking it to the rim. Looked like Steven Adams twisted his ankle last time down court. He's trying to walk it off. Curry off the pit for Bogut is able to drive and hit a foul. Russell Westbrook can't track it down. No backside help. And the contact from Robertson. Oracle coming alive. And the chant of MVP for last season's MVP. Completes a three-point play. Opens up a 106-97 lead. Curry in no hurry. Plays the clock with 2.20 to go. Now Curry steps back. Yes! Steph Curry with his fourth three of the night. Here's Curry kicking it out. Greenbaum green for three. OKC running out of possessions here, so Golden State going to make sure they take this clock down and try to get themselves a good one each time down. Curry with a nice move on Foy, kicks it out. Here's Livingston. Yes. Joel Livingston from Steph Curry. Warriors will be 26-0 at home. 44 straight regular season wins here at home, which will tie the NBA record. Curry again! A record held by the 95-96 Bulls that went 72 and 10. While Oklahoma City continues its tailspin, it'll be six losses their last eight games. They dropped to 42 and 20. And only one game in front of the fourth place LA Clippers. Curry will head to the line. And a standing ovation from this crowd here at Oracle. Golden State outscores Oklahoma City 50 to 26 the last six minutes. So the 44 in a row here at home during the regular season has tied the NBA record which was set by the Bulls of 95-96, the Chicago team that went 72-10. and 10. Steph, you faced a deficit heading into the fourth quarter. What was the difference in those final minutes? Our second unit, their defensive intensity to start that fourth quarter got us out to a six-point lead, and they, they, they turned the momentum in our favor. And uh, we were able to come, you know, to capitalize off that down the stretch. You told me that your confidence is what drives you. For the first time in your career, you've recorded five straight 30-plus point games. How confident were you out there in your return tonight? Uh, I was pretty, pretty rusty, but I was pretty, obviously, confident in the stage. Didn't shoot particularly well, but uh, you know, the teammates talking to me on the bench, keep shooting, you know, knock the cobwebs off from the, from the injury. And, and just keep uh, keep firing away, and thankfully we made a couple down the stretch. And now your team has tied an NBA record for the most consecutive home wins in league history. How huge an advantage do you have here at Oracle? I mean, it's unbelievable. You can hear the, you know, the noise and the, the passion they have for the game. So uh, this is special for, for our fans here. Obviously, come out of the championship run, but to have a record like that where we've been dominant here at home, we feed off the energy every single night. So they can be as, uh, as much a part of that, that uh, accomplishment as we are. Congrats, Steph. Thanks, Chris. Today, the world champion, Golden State Warriors. 
visit Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers on the NBA Sunday Showcase here on ABC, as has become the case. Ton of Warrior jerseys on the road and plenty of Kobe jerseys as well. The reigning league MVP is in the house trying to continue the best 60 game start in NBA history. Steve Kerr's team undefeated at home, a franchise record 29 and five away from Oregon. And the imbalances there, they have nine more games to make up home to road. Now see, that was very simple. All he did was throw the ball in bounds and then just curl around a screen. Step from deep. Rebound by Hibbert. Now you have to get to him early now. You must pick him up around half court. Otherwise, once he crosses over, you're in danger. Kobe inside with the layup, and oh. he lost his shoot. Jordan Clarkson and D'Angelo Russell, the L.A. backcourt, starting to find a rhythm together. Look over out. these last Look couple out. of games. Bogut to Curry. Touchdown. They can't do that. The guards today, young guards, they get caught. They watch their shot. Once that shot goes up, what happened? Curry just took off on him, and then the long pass was right on the money. Covering multiple sports. I love going across sports and seeing what athletes in one appreciate in the athletes in the other. It's great to hear what Kobe and Steph have taken away from watching Peyton Manning's two-time Super Bowl future Hall of Fame career come to an end with the announcement officially tomorrow. Well, Hibbert anyone, hits the outside shot. Anyone who's an NFL fan naturally, you know, you just adore what the man has accomplished, not only with the championships, but with the fact that he was one of the greatest leaders and one of the great teachers. He and his family running those quarterback the summer academy, sessions yeah. for college people and high school coaches in there. They have given back to football an awful lot away from the field. Reed to Curry, and Steph has 10 of the Warriors' 18. So much work over the years okay. from that spot by Kobe. There you go. I like that. I like the, we've seen him many times when they would run the triangle back in the day when they were competing for championships. He loves that area on the back now. Well, we got big eyes flashed in the yeah. post. Shoots over Barnes and hits his third field goal. Kobe! Draymond Green challenges, calls for the foul. And Draymond spins out of there in disbelief. Kobe for three. All right. Fouled by Green, and he'll come to the line. Just a series of bad turnovers by the Warriors here this afternoon. 11 has led to 16 Laker points. Kobe grinding on defense on Steph. Kobe down in there. Yep, he's playing him tough. Watch out. Steph three. And he got fouled, and yeah. Kobe will pick him up. Steph coming to the line for three. Kobe lost his shoe again for the second time. It slowed down the action on the other side and leads Curry to that finish comfortably with the reverse. Big thing now, you can't fall asleep. Lakers got to come out here now and show that they're going to have a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy. Let's get some movement and some movement from the opposite side of the floor. Green's got four. Randall can attack if he chooses here. Nice Kobe pass. on the cut. All right, they were looking, they were looking, and Kobe finally went right down. His man turned his head right down, the easy layup. Thompson, many puff fakes, but Hibbert stays there. Play one of the call, didn't get it. Come on, you got an advantage here now. Bryant on the take. Oh, good Finds pass. Randall. Great pass. Mamba feeling it. Yeah, I like, I like the pass, but also I like the fact that Randall moved well without the ball. Not Curry to Varejao. And Anderson Varejao dumps it down. See, if you're going to trap him, you got to get up high on him. The man guarding the screener so that he cannot make that easy pass. Nice Curry pass. cuts and scores. Livingston finds it. Yeah, the Lakers right now have got to re regroup here. Russell, no. Rebound Curry. Oh, look out. Look out long here. Step on the push. Finds Green. And now more layups coming up here for Golden State in this quarter. Warriors go home for that stretch at Oracle. They will tomorrow night try to go for 45 in a row at home, try to break the NBA record for home wins in a row. But a very poor three-point shooting game. They came to see the Warriors march to history. They came to see Kobe one last time play against the Warriors. And instead, they see one of the biggest regular season upsets in the history of the NBA. The 12 and 51 Lakers and Golden State, their sixth loss of the season. See Kobe over there exchanging one of those many hugs and conversations with Steve Kerr, who over the years has competed against, covered, and coached against. 
Kobe Bryant. Oracle never looked so good. The beginning of a six-game homestand. Orlando in town and history opportunity in the making. The Lexus pursuit of perfection. The Warriors go for 45 straight at home. Put themselves alone in the NBA record books. There's the first three. And that's a good guy to take it. Well, he hit his first one yesterday. He didn't miss nine straight. We'll see how that plays out. I don't believe that will occur again. Step inside. Payton is a very good point guard defender, particularly for a young player. But Steph has so many moves there. And he, he, he went, then he went back. And that drew, drew the defender out. Curry again. And he's running back the other way. He knew that was down. Curry setting up Bogan. Finding Rush. So he moved out the ball. Oh, Bogan had it. Didn't catch it. Curry, that's a warm-up three. Yes, sir! When you hustle and you do the right things, you get the right bounces. And there's Brandon right on cue. I love it. He's worked hard. Smith missing there. Curry is rebounding very well tonight. Steph's got five pulls. Hey, Thompson, three. He says, take that for a travel. I won't dribble anymore, I'll just shoot. I'm good at that too. Curry, step back three. That's the shot you don't stop. I don't care who it is. I don't care how big, how small, or any area. Curry on the kick out. Hogan will bat it back out. Steph, top finish in traffic. He can improvise in midair. Even then, Smith does not want to challenge Bogan. He's a shooter. Curry barely hit out of his hands. Oh, man. That's something to revere. I, I mean, that quick release that he has stops on a dime, and it's out of his hands. Everyone talks about that. Yeah, that's why the debate on the best shooter ever has ended. What a steal. Snap with the quick hands. And Oladipo has to foul him. Take out your stopwatch. He comes and gets that return pass. It is up and gone. Gordon played good defense. He just outdrew him. Curry. And Akadu can certainly go out and just defend on Smith. That, that's right. That's perfect. Curry working inside and he'll get to the line again. This is... Far from over. We've got 16 minutes left to play. Second half, Orlando's at the edge of play. Step. Curry. Curry with 27. Clay Thompson, 22. Still, no third warrior in double figures. Uh, poor Ilya Silva. Oh, Ersan Ilya Silva got spun around. The 303 by Stephen Curry will be memorable. Curry flipping it up and in. Oh, how does he make some of these shots? They're horse shots at the driveway. The ultimate shooter's role. Great shooters know how to do it. The depot stayed with Steph. Nice give and go. Curry and Bogut, beautiful basketball. They're the perfect duo to run. Back doors, pick and rolls, pick and pop. Step for three. 37. No way did Evan Fournier think that Steph was going to launch that. Bogut poked it, and Curry got the steal. Steph in a foot race to lay it in. He saw 48 coming. Avoided him with the left hand. Steve Kerr played on that team that won 44 in a row at home. And he's going to coach a team that wins 45. This team started 24-0. That broke the record of 15-0 to begin an NBA season. The 44 wins at home in a row will move to 45, and that will be a new record. And you may have heard that the single season record is 72 wins, as people like to talk about that as well. And that's still 
a long way off. This is a reward for these fans. Absolutely. You know, individual honors to the players, the team championship. But Oracle, the greatest home crowd, is now rewarded with the longest home winning streak in NBA history. 45 in a row. They move to 56 and 6. The Warriors said if they get near a streak and a record, they want to break it. And tonight, mission accomplished. 119 to 113. Curry with 41. Clay with 27. And just a great night at Oracle on a very odd game. But it ends the right way. And that's in a Warrior victory. Steph, congratulations. Another NBA record. Longest home win streak in NBA history. And not all the wins are pretty. Like a game like tonight. Why do you guys refuse to lose? We just have uh, that winning mentality, that winning mindset. And uh, it's been good to us the last 45 you know, regular season home games and even in the playoffs. This is a place that we love to play and love to get wins. And for you guys, bouncing back off of a tough loss where nothing was going down, those same shots a day later, later go down. What's the difference from one day to the next? This is, the game of basketball is funny like that, and it's a long season, so you got to be prepared for, for anything. Obviously, last night we loved to play better um, and get, give it more of a complete effort, but you know, tonight we had an opportunity to, uh, to avenge that, and we did it. Um, fed off our crowd's energy, had a better start, and you know, it was kind of, like you said, it was ugly, but we got it done. Are the turnovers like an Achilles heel in a way? Well, if they continue, yeah, we. It's it's funny because I mean some of them are we're trying to make the right play and then you make you know a couple of those in a row it starts to get a bad vibe but then the careless ones add on to it so um, you know we had this issue a little bit last year and we were able to, to you know sure it up down the stretch so just gotta find a way. As the team's point guard, how do you set the tone? Oh, not making dumb dumb mistakes so. I think I had about two or three of them tonight. Yeah, they're going to happen. And I mean, granted, this is good preparation. If it does happen in the playoffs, that our defense has to help us. Um, and the, the possessions that we do get a shot up, finding a good shot is uh, what we're about. So we'll be all right. So Draymond Green, he's really giving a lot of effort, but his shots, he's still struggling with it. As his teammate, as a leader, as his point guard, how do you help him along? Just keep encouraging him. Uh, we make the same plays and, and you know, just, just, you know, he'll figure it out. And there's, there's no issue with that. And um, the way that we play, everybody's going to get an opportunity. So, um, you know, any given night, you might see some fireworks. About this win streak, 45 wins. What is it about Oracle Arena that is different from other arenas? Just the passion of our fans. They know basketball. They understand the game and they, they love, you know, winning. And I think that's uh, what we've been able to establish, you know, the last uh, couple years. And even before that, they always brought the noise and tried to get us out of that. So, you know, we appreciate, you know, what, what they bring every single night. And it's a good time to be a Warrior fan. It sure is. Congrats, Steph. Respect. Thank you. The homestand continues with the midweeker against the Utah Jazz. Packed Oracle as the Warriors continue to pursue perfection. Yeah, they won 45 in a row at home, but could they become the only team ever to be undefeated for a full season in the building? There's always something to strive for in the NBA. And Stephen was open. He comes back with a steal there. Behind the back. Steph Curry with a delivery to Draymond Green at full speed behind the back. And what's interesting is they get it to Bogut inside. Is it the logo? Is actually Jerry dribbling left handed? That is a long lob that's converted again. Well, there's your pass of the night. I don't care what happens after that. Okay, so from, from half court behind the back to Draymond at full speed. And a 46-footer on the lob. Curry weaving through the green. Draymond. That three is so big psychologically. Draymond had been four of his last 24 on threes. Anderson Berger. Berger. Berger hooked it away. 
Curry running with friends. The bounce to the Brazilian blur. That by Bird. Curry step back. There it is. Steph Curry's on the board. Steph and Draymond working nicely together. Steph saw that coming before he got into the lane. He knew exactly, and those are, that's what the great players do. They know what's going to transpire. There's the Barnes. Finding Steph. Feet set. Three down. The ball movement here is superb. The people movement. Get into the open spots. That's a deep three. Perfect. Right out of the timeout. Draymond set a great screen. Back clock at three. Draymond knows it. Up on angles, making that a tough shot. Two seconds to work with. Curry from mid-court. It's good! Surprised. He can make it from anywhere. Yeah, but that's sixth, seventh, and eighth spot, and into the ninth with Utah. Well, it's a crapshoot. Well, wide open, but they want the lob. Yes, they do. I mean, how about that? How often do you get somebody open at the top and at the bottom at the rim? That was going to be a little push shot for Draymond, and I like that he's looking for his offense. Bottom line is there's 45 seconds left in the third and it's a double digit lead. And now Steph will get to the line himself. Raymond with the D. Curry and Shelvin Mack weaving around him to lay it up and in. Win number 57. 46 in a row at home. The continuing NBA record. Curry, 133 games at the three. They shoot it at 57%. They limit Utah to 40% shooting. 36 assists to the Warriors and only 15 turnovers. Oracle is the place to be on a Friday night with Portland in town, taking on the Warriors, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. You want point guard play? Damian Lillard, the hometown hero, matching up against the MVP, Stephen Curry. 50-point Bombardiers, Steph has done it three times this year. Damian's done it twice. There'll be points of plenty tonight. Clay Thompson, another three. Well, took that little step back to make sure behind the line. Steph, and there's his three and his first points of the night. How about this? He mishandled the ball. He didn't catch it cleanly. Usually people never bring that up and take a shot. They have to get their feet set, get all the rhythm and so forth. It doesn't bother him. Curry, the corner three for Iguodala. Lillard weaving through traffic. His floater is off and Steph the rebound. Yeah, this is fun. Step back three. Oh, man. Absolute heat check. And again, losing the ball ever so slightly, recovers him and puts it behind the line. Step another three. Are you kidding me? Clay four of five. Step four of five on threes. Curry spinning around. He has different ways to finish. Steph is just feeling it right now. He's got 16. It's 28 to 8. Oh, Curry gets around. Lillard lays it up and in. Well, he may miss the easy one inside, but he makes the most difficult ones. And he makes them look easy. Plays Curry both ends. Floater. Got plenty of time here. Now they may get something close. Steph. Don't give them any daylight. Don't get sloppy. They exerted a lot of perfection and energy in that first half, the Warriors did. Steph Curry. Halftime didn't cool them off. Not a bad start. Blazers can't buy a bucket. The Warriors are just putting it on them. Phoenix. Steph flipping it up and out. 
That'll count. Yeah, it's goaltended. <laughs> That's going to count. Shot clock at five. Kick out Curry. Feet set. Three down. Another assist for Draymond. And Curry. Put in a triple. Clay's got 30. Steph's got 34. They have 15 threes between them. You get a game closer to start talking about 72 and 10. 58 and 6. No team has ever been 58 and 6. And they took care of the Blazers. They really did it in the first half. 128-112 the final. They led by as many as 32. Portland never had a lead. The game was never tied. A dominant Warrior performance. And for Portland and Damian Lillard, Oracle still continues to be a problem. A sold out Saturday night at Oracle, the fourth and final meeting with the Phoenix Suns in town. And the Warriors continue to chase history. Our Lexus pursuit of perfection. No team's ever been 58 and six. No team's ever won 47 straight at home. Three All-Stars trying to keep both those streaks alive and sweep the Suns tonight. Curry behind the bucket screen. Drops in the three. 135 games in a row. The continuing NBA record. Curry kind of gapping Tyson Chandler. Chandler didn't know whether to come, retreat, play for the lob, and Steph floated it in. Booker is a handful. Bogut challenged him nicely. He's so close. Bogut handling. Bogut <laughs> squirted out of his hands. Curry with a little fly-by three. Curry, a three of his own. So Stephens got 11. And the lead grows to seven. A high screen roll. Steph thought about that three. Now the reload. And he'll get all the way to the rim. His ability to score from the perimeter at three-point range. It just every, he freezes everybody at that line. And then he's off to the races. Curry to Draymond to lay it up and in. I'm glad he didn't try to dunk that. Bogut tracked out Booker beautifully. The bench is kind of come in and say, that's our opportunity for him. Yeah, oh, fake the pass, laid it in. It all starts with the defense. Yes, it does. Bob to Bogut. Perfectly done. That's because Curry has it up top. They're concerned about him coming off and shooting. Oh, get another block. Beat on the outside, then they come back and recover. Good shot to great shot, and Clay with the three. The ones he's missed tonight have been flat. He had all the time in the world there, set his feet, got his arms locked in, and he had a nice arc on the ball. Steph Curry hitting the three. Okay. Now they get the crowd in it. Nearly 20,000, 164 straight sellouts. Let's see if Steph can slow down. This young man. And the right missing. Curry for three, yes sir! The lob to Livingston. Two point lead in the ball. Warriors coming from that double digit deficit. Steph, smallest man on the floor. The offensive rebound. And the night hasn't cooled off. Another three. Play a three in response. This is fun. This is fun. Spates nearly had the steal. Knight, another three is down. Brandon Knight in the first half was 0 for 3 on threes. He was 7 of 8. In this half, Curry answers. Three and a half minutes of crunch time. Four point lead in the ball. Curry for three. Good! Well, Draymond Green won't get an assist, but he should have on that one. What a screen. Back door, flip it in, and draw the foul. 
Well, Steph Curry and Phoenix are tied in the fourth quarter <laughs> at 13 apiece. Livingston knocks it away. Running with Steph behind the back, showing the dunk it down. Inside and this one not over. Step down the lane to lay it up and in. Now it is. Yes, it is. So let the streaks continue. 59 and 6. No one's ever done that. 48 home wins in a row. No one's ever done that. 123-116 the final. A spectacular fourth quarter and every bit of it needed to stave off the Suns. When a year begins, the first thing you want to do is win the division. That has already been accomplished for the Warriors in back-to-back -back fashion. For Steph Curry, it's his birthday. He's 28. Is this his prime? Can he get even better? On Anthony Davis, already is a three-time All-Star, and he will be an MVP. He presents a huge problem tonight. We might have to get knocked away. Look for the trailer. Steph was ready. Warriors with numbers. And broke it inside. They'll flip it in and draw the foul. Andrew thought about it, hesitated for a moment. And Steph Curry did not throw the ball to him for him to make another pass. And Steph Curry flipping that up and in. Raymond read that beautifully, contested that shot. Steph Curry hitting the three. And now he and Clay have set a new record. Combined the most threes by teammates in NBA history, breaking their own record. Holiday with the left hand, Draymond tipping to Steph. Curry on the push. Curry on the crossover, Curry on the rim. Seven already for Stephen Curry. Four second game shot clock difference. Ending this first quarter. Steph, the ball handling, the lefty finish! He is truly a wizard. Ryan Anderson, long rebound, Curry snatches it. Clay Thompson running and getting to the iron. Beautiful assist. Curry finding McAdoo on the dive cut. Everybody else stayed wide. They had plenty of time to set that up. Steph saw it, develop. There's the switch. Oh, Steph on the crossover. Steph down the lane. Lay it up and in. And draw the foul. You'll watch how low he gets to the ground here when he's crossing over. A lot of kids want to shoot threes like Steph, and that's terrific. Learn how to handle the ball with either hand. Yep, it's all part of the skill set. Curry, now you see him, now you don't. A little Houdini move on the baseline. Davis with a shot clock at three. Flies through the lane. Cunningham the rebound. do get the block. Crowd still buzzing over the Bogut three. Clay Thompson, feet set. Three down. You know it's going to be timeout. Oh, nice again. And Curry with the feed from Bogut. There's Orlando Johnson with a big Bogut contesting that shot. How about a block out by Green on Davis? Curry three, fouled. So Steph in to shoot three free throws. Anderson creates space, but they're going Ryan Anderson's missing from the outside, and New Orleans is at 30% for the game. Stephen, step back, three, go. He just takes that jab step at a big man, and he knows they can step right back and find his rhythm and the shot. Osa against a great shot blocker. The ball fake. Curry three. Good. How about the pass from Barbosa? Play of the night. Finding him in the corner. Shot clock off. They even try to fight over the screen. They just switch automatically. Everything. Down to four. Curry three. He banked it in. He just banked it in. The final second. 
Douglas will not get the shot off. 10 of 16, four made threes, 27 points, five rebounds, five assists, and Curry, happy birthday. No team's been 60 and six. No team's won 49 in a row at home. Bring on the Knickerbockers on Wednesday. Friday in Dallas, Saturday at San Antonio. Second meeting of the year between the two best teams in the NBA. The final game of the longest homestand of the year. The Knickerbockers in town for their only visit. The MVP has played very well against New York in his career. And you take the Knicks seriously because they have an elite score of their own that loves to score against the Warriors. Can they stay perfect, make it 50 in a row? We'll find out tonight. Step throwing the lob. And that's emphatically the first basket of the game for the Devs. Uyasic missing there. As we said, the Warriors' defense has been excellent. The Knicks are two of eight with two turnovers. Steph Curry with the three, extending the NBA best 137 straight games with the made three. That should be a three point play. Curry with the flip finger roll. And he got hit just after the release. He's so clever with that. I think Derek Williams has found a role here as he splits the free throws. He's a super sub scorer, Jim. They, they bring him in, he gets 8.9 points a game. Right. Has a job. Go in and score. Step right around him. Oh, with the left hand. Steph just reads the body and the moves of his opponent. Always aggressive. Steph Curry hitting the three. And he's got 10 on four of six shooting. Steph Curry with the three. I told you, Jim, once he became 28 years old, this is his prime. How hot is he? Uh -huh. That hot. Six of eight. He was three for 11 from three-point range. You can count on it and depend on it tonight. Bogut guiding that home. Mello Anthony's only a 32% three-point shooter. But wide open, he's going to stripe it. And so Anthony with 11. Steph with 16. And the 19-point lead is down to a dozen. Curry hitting another three. Steph Curry. He puts on the brakes. You think he's going all the way. He's not only aware of his man, he's aware of Seraphin coming. He puts on the brakes and takes a little one-footer off the board. It's a lob to Bogut. You get to watch Draymond Green and Kawhi Leonard play defense. That, that's just a special NBA night. Thanks to Galloway. Off by Draymond Green with the rebound. Outlet to Curry. Not only Spades can throw the touchdown. Look at Draymond. He looked at Mo. He's saying, hey, I got the arm too. <laughs> and Spades turns away. Stephen Curry with a three. Even Hollow flat. There's a, a leak out again. And it's Harrison getting the lay in. That's a lob to Draymond. He did well to catch it. And Porzingis, what a weak side block. Shot clock at three. Curry is the man to beat the clock. A fadeaway three. He banked it in. Now he banked it in from an angle. You gotta be kidding me. Well, he had to get away from the lone defender who came at him. Aaron Grant to Porzingis. Yeah. Curry battling on the glass. All right, I'm going to give you this. The Masters are coming up in golf, right? Okay. Bobby Jones said it about Jack Nicklaus. He plays a game with which I am not familiar. And Steph Curry is the basketball version of that. What game is this guy playing? Eight threes, 34, 12 of 20 shooting, and the entire building with a standing ovation for the brilliance of Stephen Curry. 121 to 85. Spades had three threes. McAdoo had his first career three. The Warriors make 18 threes and 50 straight regular season home wins. 18th time Curry did not need to play in the fourth quarter. Steve Kerr saw it with defense as they hold the Knicks to under 40% shooting. The offense was spectacular with 32 assists, and the Warriors moved to 61 and 6.
of the year. On this Friday night in Dallas, Texas, I can promise you this, the building is buzzing tonight. Rick Carlisle said it's like when the Rolling Stones come to town. Pursuing history, the 61-6 and six Golden State Warriors are here to take on the Mavericks. Golden State just wrapped up a six-game homestand as they pushed their home record to 32-0. and 0. They're 29 and 6 so on the road this year. What are you laughing at? I just, the release is so quick. I mean, the shot was up before he caught the ball on the pass. It's just nuts. Trail three, Parsons. Long rebound. Boomerangs back to him. Now a long two. That's in and out. Two good looks for him. Parsons for the year, shooting 49% from the floor, 41% from three. And I mean, 332 made threes now. I'm sorry, follow well. They're setting the pick as he's crossing half court. They're setting the screen four well, feet outside the three point line. Yeah, that means the defense has to be up. Really be up on this man so he can help. Now Curry breaks down the defense and scoops it in. It's like the Globe Trotters. Well, it's a testament to skill. Was high-fiving the bench, though, and was a little bit late getting back. Yeah, and that's what Dallas has to do. They have to really push the ball back at this team, stay aggressive throughout the night, and try and find an answer for this. Thompson for three from Steph Curry. That's four splashes tonight, two by each jump shot from those face. We said start. earlier. Yeah. He's playing well lately. He's feeling it. Here's Curry pitching it back to Green. We just talked about his three-point struggles as of late, but he drills that one up top. A lot of time, Mark. Yeah, he's one, too one. wide open. I don't care yeah. if he's 19% <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we got that much time to organize him, so most pros can make that three. The space launches a three and knocks it down. Wow. He has that green light now yes, to, to shoot does. those threes. He's been shooting them lately. Mark Bosa leaning over that dribble, drove and kicked it out to Steph Curry for a three ball. I mean, I, ordinarily you would say that's a bad shot, but, but with the way this guy shoots the basketball, it makes it look simple. Mark Bosa launches a corner three. That's now eight three-pointers in the first quarter for Golden State. Now Steph with a steal on a pass. It was intended for Dirk and pull up to beat the ball. A 42-point first quarter for Golden State. They make nine threes. Curry made four. And Dallas did a lot of good things in the first quarter, but yep. you end it with a catastrophic turnover. And it's Matthews who will try to tie it. Three is missed, and Curry with the rebound. Flips it out to Clay Thompson. Rimming out a three. Hands. That's going to be one of the easiest baskets that Curry will see in a long time. Watch out, Bogut made a three the other night against the Pelicans. Don't watch out. Oh my! Up the top corner of the backboard! Come on, man! Come on! Yeah, well. That's not real. Down goes Berea. Bogut challenged the shot. Step on the break. Flips it up and up. Is up to eight now for the Warriors. McAdoo playing in his 33rd game. He only averages six minutes a game. Did have a season high earlier this week of 11 points in 13 minutes against New Orleans. Speaking of. Yep. Just dunked it. It's never too late to be in the spirit and to wear your green St. Patrick's Day suit skin. Man, that's a sharp suit. Thank you. Thank you so much. It seems that you're wearing a green, green suit every time Mr. Spieth is in the building. Uh, we are kind of working on matching green jackets. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right. Here, Thompson down the lane, lost the ball, but right Steph there Curry. to pick it up and put it in Steph Curry. He's always in the right place at the right time, it seems. Curry up ahead, Mark Moser. That's showing off your ability to facilitate it and make a play at the open court. Steph Curry is so clever as a passer. Curry chasing Curry. Curry got all the way through the defense. Wow. Get yourself a stop right here. Well, especially considering the way D. Will have been shooting tonight. Really had some out-of-character misses in terms of how off-target the misses were. Pick and roll that time. Stephen Green. Now the lead is at 11. Here's Williams outside. Matthew swings it to dirt. The most threes that a player's ever made against Dallas was Steph Curry with 10 back in February last year. Clay Thompson has the second most threes in a game against the Mavs with nine tonight. Now 
Curry's got six. The Warriors have made 20 threes. And only the fact that there's a minute 58 left in the game looks like it's going to keep them from really threatening the NBA record for made threes in a game, which is 23. Timeout Dallas. Even though they play tomorrow night in San Antonio, starters are still out there. So Clay Thompson has made it 22 threes for the Warriors as a team. And by the way, he's tied the Mavs opponent record. He and Steph Curry now have games of 10 three-pointers made against the Mavs. Warriors 130, Mavericks 112. Blake Thompson had 39, 17 of them in the fourth quarter. Steph Curry right at his average of 31 points. The leading scorer in the league goes into play tonight averaging 30.5. And for the Mavs, a big set of games looming with the Trailblazers. They've got to see these guys a week from tonight out in Oakland. It's the Golden State Warriors facing the San Antonio Spurs as we welcome you to NBA Saturday primetime presented by La Quinta. A sellout crowd at the AT&T Center. One of the most anticipated matchups in recent NBA history. And again, not overhyping it, one of the best regular season matchups in the 70 year history of the league because Golden State at 62 and six on pace to break the all-time record of the 95-96 Bulls. Tim Duncan and the Spurs also having one of the great seasons in NBA history at 58 and 10. Parker drives past Barnes, quick layup, missed it. Rebound taken by Green. Do you know how many, how few great players as Curry finds Rush for a layup would accept coming off the bench? I mean, that to me says everything about Tim Duncan's basketball character. I don't want to make a throwaway line when you talk about coach because coaching and playing in this league, we've seen guys that would say, okay, no problem, but roll their eyes and say something totally different with their body language or their approach to the game. Well, missed from outside on Curry's first shot. You like to say you're trying to take it as another game, but you can't fool yourself. You're well aware of the fact that this is a game against the two best teams in basketball, and chances are they're going to see each other down the road. So you don't fool yourself. You tell the truth and look forward to the the, uh, the, the excitement of competing. As Thompson saves it, Barnes has it knocked away. I love those Little League pictures where you got down in your fielding stance <laughs> that Steph Curry was in. Those were nice. Kawhi Leonard on the tip. His first field goal. Curry launches a three. Brandon Rush gets it back. And that misses. One for six from downtown for Golden State. The best three-point shooting team in the league. But again, San Antonio is the best, has the best three-point defense. As Curry comes up with a steal. So three important front court members for Golden State out. Curry flips it up and lays it in. He recognizes that he struggled last time these two teams met. Leonard off the fake. Gets in the paint and draws the foul. And you're right, Mike. In the last few weeks, Draymond Green seen his three-point percentage go down to where it probably is in that 37-38% range. Curry blocked by Green. They're doubling Curry out on the three-point line. Curry drives inside, wild pass, stolen by Ginobili. They are swarming Steph Curry when he touches the ball. This is a good job of being active, supporting one another, block shot, pursuing, making them beat you on your terms. So it's not one-on-one. -on -one. Danny Green is doing his job. Once he goes by him, the other guys have to respond. Curry, quick release. Curry's one for six, 0 for five from three. Leonard. Aldridge, got it. 20 second timeout called by Steve Kerr. As San Antonio back up by six, Aldridge in double figures. As Curry drives, left-handed shot won't go. Aldridge the rebound. Aldridge every month getting more and more comfortable. Curry steps back, lost the dribble momentarily. Now drives, scoop layup is good. But again, it's on my terms if you're the Spurs. Shot clock winding down. Leonard's gonna have to get it off. Turn, shoots. Green the rebound. Thompson fires away. One for 13 from three-point range. Leonard rifle pass inside Ulrich and the finish. Beautiful look from Leonard. Leonard adjusts, banks it in, and a foul. 
Kawhi Leonard with a chance for a three-point play. Green, excellent defensive play. Green back out to Curry, left-handed, misses. Anderson the rebound. Outlet to Leonard, all alone. Curry in pursuit. Can't stop that. Leonard the drive, pulls up, shot's good. Meanwhile, Golden State, it's almost 21 minutes into this game. Little over three left in the half. They have only 30 points. This is a team that averages 115 points a game. Curry to Green, beautiful setup. And that's where Curry made them pay. Curry from deep, gets hit. Shot won't go. But a foul was called. Aldridge picks up, dribbles it off his foot. Shot clock at two. Curry from half court. And the crowd delights Leonard. He thought he got fouled. Boris Diaw, who got the start. Tim Duncan coming off the bench, if you're just tuning in. Just the third time this season. For Diaw to start as Leonard hits the three. And for Duncan, just the third time in his career, he's come off the bench. Leonard now with 15. Curry looking. Sets, find some room, too strong. Stays a six-point game. Kawhi Leonard. Parker from the corner. That's good. He doesn't shoot a lot of threes, but he's got a good percentage at 41%. Leonard steps back. Warriors trying to get the pace up. Curry foul. No basket. As Curry has it. Thompson, quick catch and shoot. And you see a, a little different pace here to start the third quarter. It's picked up a little bit, and that's certainly the Golden State's liking. Leonard drives in and out. Curry, there's the double team again. Aldridge picks him up. Shot clock winding down. Curry left-handed, flips it up and in. Gorgeous offhand from Curry, and it's back to three. Curry again now with Aldridge on him. Curry from three. Oh, it's good with Aldridge right on him, and that's the first three-pointer of the game for Steph Curry. Curry to the basket. Blocked by Green. 18 points, nine rebounds for Aldridge. Green guarding him. What a tough shot that is. What great defense. Leonard gets the rebound. Back out Ginobili. Puts it in. Curry for three. And a rebound, Parker. Steph Curry, one of nine from three-point range. Leonard gets it back, shot, and a foul. Green blocked it, a little bit of a late whistle. But Danny Crawford calls the foul on Draymond Green, his third. Curry immediately met by a help defender. Thompson drives, layup, banks it in. Leonard posting up Thompson, quick move, layup. Misses, gets his rebound. Back out to Diaw. Here's Curry, just one three-pointer on the night. One of nine. Fires away. Leonard the rebound. Curry fakes, puts up the three. Won't go. Diaw the rebound, and he's fouled. Final seconds, Barnes jumper. Rebound, Curry. Curry puts it up. Won't go. And the San Antonio Spurs with a brilliant defensive performance to defeat the Golden State Warriors. He's the reigning MVP of the league and quickly becoming the face of it, all while having an even better season than last. He leads a Warriors team chasing history and angry after a loss on Saturday night. An exciting evening of basketball tips off next. And this team got better defensively under Mark Jackson, but Steve Kerr offensively has really preached on upping the number of passes per possession. Clay Thompson as Steph Curry finds him right in stride and he's able to take it and make it. These guys have seen every kind of concept available, but it was, it's, you gotta deal with energy and effort and you've gotta do it with confidence and you've gotta be able to rotate properly. Steph Curry, and I like what Mark Jackson said in that basketball game against San Antonio. He was talking about, you could play the same defense and Steph Curry could go for 40. Towns on Curry right now as the Wolves get a switch. Curry step back for three, drills it, and with that, Steph Curry goes over 2,000 points for the season. Just the sixth Golden State Warrior player ever to eclipse that total. It's one thing to, to do this in the first quarter, but can Minnesota, when they start going to their bench, can they sustain it for two hours? Nice block inside again. 
But it's going to be a foul call here. Ricky Rubio, 5 of 5 at the free throw line now. He's shooting a career high percentage there as Thompson drills the three on the other end. They're going to switch and put Steph Curry and Andrew Wiggins. you got to get clear space. That's just not great execution by Minnesota. You can't both roll if they're going to switch like that. Curry, nice through it. traffic. So consecutive baskets by Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. Minnesota had them at a 22-9 advantage starting backcourt. Draymond Green able to rattle it in and we're knotted up. Curry. Golden State on a 9-1 run to take this two-point lead. When you look at his shot chart, we have his three-point shot chart. It is quite lush, by the way. Nice jump shot by... Clay Thompson, who is really good above the break at the angles on both sides of the floor. Middle of the floor, not so much. Steve Kerr before the game tonight said, this could be a tough test for the Warriors. That the Timberwolves have a nice young core that's been playing well. Steph Curry is second made three now of the game, and we all know how quickly he can heat up. He's up to 13 in the game. I started to mention Steve Curry he said, you know, basically this is maybe the biggest game of the year for the Timberwolves. Having a packed house at home, having a chance to hand Golden State back-to-back -back losses for the first time all season. Minnesota is going to front. You better have backside help and just allow Draymond Green to free roll. I just don't like it. I don't. I, they need to make an adjustment here because I'd rather have Ricky Rubio play behind and be a deterrent from Green to get to the rim than I would have him front to have him get all this easy loose change around the basket. Curry got the high screen from. Draymond Green and then threads the needle to Anderson Barajal. So Steph Curry now with a double-double, his 10th assist. Curry the feed for Draymond Green. And there you go. I mean, switching concept gets exploited there. Minnesota gets caught into a high ball screen with Draymond Green showing his versatility. Levine, tough three, no, and that's going to close it out. What an effort tonight out of the Minnesota Timberwolves who gave the NBA champs all they could handle, but in the end falls short by a final of 109-104. Golden State avoids losing back-to-back -back games and improves to 63 and seven on the season. Steph Curry and the Warriors chasing 73 wins, playing nine of their final 12 games here at home, where they won 50 straight in the regular season. Entering tonight's showdown with one of their chief rivals, the Los Angeles Clippers, next. The steal, Steph Curry, all the way to the goal for the easy deuce. First points for Curry. Averages two steals per game among the league leaders. Barnes, two, too strong, but Bo gets there. Curry sets and fires, hits! First three for Curry, fifth point. You got Crawford, Rivers, along with Green, as Curry gets to the basket, scores on two Clippers. Steph Curry with seven points. There it is, for three, <laughs> it's good! Crawford drains a three, and the Clippers with a seven-point lead. Here's Curry, four seconds left. Curry gets all the way to the basket and lays it in easily. The Clippers fell asleep for some reason on defense. Good look pass. by Bogan. He is an excellent passer. Finds Curry underneath. Another layup for Steph. See, another reason, you know, you think Steph's last couple games, two of the best passers on their team he plays a lot with decision makers are Bogan and Andre Godala. Both those guys were out. Curry, step back three. You bet! Second three pointer for Curry. 14 first half points. Hey, Dave, well, I just talked to Doc Rivers, who told me that he's still happy with the way his team is playing. He said, Honestly, we just have been missing a lot of shots. He pointed to Chris Paul, who was one for seven in that first half. I asked him, how do you get Chris going? He says, you know what, I don't really worry about it as long as, as we're getting good shots, as long as he's getting good shots. He said, I figure the law of averages will eventually kick in. But I asked him, does the fact that Chris has to work so hard defending Steph Curry, something he's proud of, that he actually does defend the other team's point guard. And he said, that plays in a little bit, but he had a, a good rest in that first half with Austin. He's going to get another rest in the second half. Austin Rivers will come in and defend Steph Curry. He said Chris will be fine. 12 points for Green, who did not play in the Clippers' last game because of a head issue. Curry for three is good. Third three-pointer for Steph Curry. And 19 points. Curry takes it away from Reddick. One hands and a oh. half to Green. What a look by Curry.
Clippers are 3 of 15 from the field here in the quarter, and you can't do that against this Warrior team. Curry with the finger roll, opposite hand. 21 points. Clay Thompson told us today that Curry has the best finger roll that he's ever seen. We got Curry on the big. Curry goes behind the back. Curry gets past Jordan, throws it up. It won't go, but a foul is called. Here's Paul for two. No good, rebounded by Curry. Step, no look pass ahead to Thompson for the layup. Draymond Green takes it to the rim, puts it home, and he's fouled. And Doc wants to talk it over as the Clippers are giving up laps to the Warriors here on the fourth. Curry gets free, nails a three. Four three-pointer for Curry. His first field goal since the four-minute mark of the third. As Curry gets 31, his 35th 30-point game this season. Curry against Prigioni. Curry to the bucket, 33 points for Steph. His total over the last two games combined. Curry gives it up, Thompson going for the 30-point plateau, and he's got it. 7-3, 32 points, 15th 30-point game. The Golden State Warriors, 33-0 at home this season. An NBA record, 51st consecutive regular season home win, and they improved to 64-7 overall. Nine wins away from history. Steph, so I, I'm guessing that that whole mini slump thing is over now? I never thought like that in the first place. So, um, long season, everybody goes through a couple up and down uh, games and just got to stick with it. I um, feel like I can still play better, so I'm looking forward to uh, what's coming up. What felt good tonight for you? Um, sort of the same defense we've seen the last three games and just trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one coming. Good job, Lisa. Probably, you got out of there. I probably tipped. <laughs> yeah, me running tipped you off, huh? Um, I don't even know what I'll say. I think trying to get into the paint, trying to get into the paint a little bit more um, with the way they're defending our pick and rolls and our, our perimeter shots. So we'll uh, continue to adjust uh, accordingly. Team switching up on you now. How does that affect uh, affect what you're trying to do? Well. I mean, I'm sure they want to take away a three-point shot as much as possible, take away our rhythm. But we have uh, enough playmakers that if we, you know, bait those switches and continue to get rhythm, um, moving the ball and finding, you know, easier shots, I think we'll be fine. So it's good that we're going through these uh, these last, you know, four, three, four games because it's progress in the playoffs. 64 and seven now. I know you have eight of the last 11 here at home. How much realistically now are you guys really starting to think about that record? Well, uh, I, I mean, honestly, if you take care of home court the rest of the way, that's going to be a good sign for, for you know, whatever record it is. And then I think we want to, we don't want to limp into the playoffs. We want to continue to win a mentality. So that's what we're, what we're all about. And with the schedule that we have, we got to take advantage of it. Thanks. Congratulations tonight. Steph. Sold out Oracle on a Friday night. The chase for history continues. And we say hi to an old friend tonight. Curry springs free and drops in a three. And the continuing NBA record with 142 straight games with a three made. The lob to Bogut. Beautifully executed. Rhea, just the presence of Bogut changed that. Got numbers here and Clay's got a shot. That's a warm up three. He doesn't miss those. So three made threes. Draymond, an early three. And his stroke on both of them looked really good. Steph hiding behind, double screen and hitting a three. Justin Matthews offline. Steph will track it down. Gets a long rebound. That's why you try to save it. Oh, Curry. The ball handling wizardry and the foul. David Lee shoved him on purpose. Making him earn it at the line. There was no goaltend call. David Lee, first personal, first team foul. Burned him there, man. So, as I said, 29% from three, but tonight he's been perfect from everywhere. You know, you sounded like Steve Kerr there for a second. Hey, guys, if something's not working, you don't know what you're doing, make a back cut. As Curry hits a three. But that's a Warrior Team mantra. Always cut, make back 
cuts move without the ball. Moran that time. Draymond was ready. He got a piece of it. His first miss three. And Draymond Green finishing at the other end. He made that look so easy. And, and that's the fluidity that I'm noticing in his game around the basket. That's a guard that tried to steal it from him. It, he was undaunted by it. Jeff cutting back door. And Curry flipping it up and in. He had to bring his legs up, his knees up, otherwise, because he didn't want to release the ball. And he was going to hit the ground. That would have been traveling. Curry hides behind Draymond. He's fouled shooting that three. And Stephen Curry with three free throws. Oh, too many power forwards that can finish with either hand as well as David, too. And we talked about it a lot when he was a warrior. Broke that left arm and developed everything with the right. And he's just so good either way. He just got a lot of criticism in a lot of areas about defense. That's a shot again. <laughs> How many people take that shot? How many people capable of making it? I know only know one. Correa. Denied by Draymond. Watch it here. Five seconds for Curry at three. Deep three. Why not? He is the closer like no other. Play with the quick hands. Harrison Barnes running and finishing. And Steph was directing him the entire way. That's all about timing there. Knowing that once Harrison Barnes reaches the free throw line extended, he's going to make that 45 degree cut. There's the point. He said, make that little angle. And he did. And Draymond blocked it in the lead. Thought he gets each other a lot in practice. Clay Thompson, what a catch. Better finish. What a talent. Matthews misfiring there, Zaza Pachulia had it taken away. He brought it down, brought it down low. Steph is fouled. Mike Curry inside, back out to rush. And Barbosa high for that rebound. Curry three. He knows where to go, doesn't he? He kicks it out, he sees Barbosa. See, he's anticipating, he sees Barbosa's got the rebound. He says, I'm gonna go to an open spot. And the closest one is the easy corner. Curry behind the back. Livingston, the layup. Livingston. 11-3 Dallas run. Curry splitting the D to lay it in. Dylan the wave off. And this firing. Curry around Pachulia. Curry to the rim. Smart to get off the three-point line. All right? Smart to do that when you can get to the basket that easily, which he's done twice in a row. And the Warriors now move to 65 and 7, make it 52 wins in a row at home. No team has ever been 65 and 7. And all the streaks continue. A special Sunday start time at a sold-out Oracle with the 76ers in town and the Warriors trying to play up to their championship standard. Easter Sunday and kids in the building. A great vibe, a great feel getting ready for basketball. So who be Easter to everyone? Philadelphia starts two very diminutive, very, very small guards. Is Smith and Isaiah Cannon. They're both six feet tall. Curry put on the line, the deep two, off the feed from Bogan. And Ish Smith. Where'd all this come from, from Ish? I think it's just getting a chance to play. He's been a, he's had chances to play here and there. And but, but never starting and going to every building. Yeah. He's back to do scores where you know, hey, 30 minutes a night, I'm the starting point guard. Smith, and that's where you want him to live, but he still buries the jumper. Over he is, Draymond. He's five of five. A little step back. Draymond made one. Make it two. Another three. Clay Thompson. That is so nice. Smooth. Miles Thompson missing there. Draymond will handle. Curry only has three points and one made shot. He just double both. Second make, that's another a, three. That's a reverse broadcaster jinx. Eh? That's it. All the stops and misfiring, and if you start running with the Warriors, you're going to have a problem. Hey. 
shooting at 63% now. And Curry down the lane to lay it in. There's no shot blocker in there. None. Curry, good hands. Draymond will push. Steps off to the right if he wants him. In his hands. And in the basket. Draymond Green took a hard fall, but he's all right. Laid it in. Drew the foul. Hit the deck. Smith sent away by Draymond. Curry pushing. Curry with a left hand. Curry able to finish. Never touched his right hand. Beautiful shot. Beautiful finish. I thought he didn't have a chance to make that. Steph Curry with the mid range. Cannon sold out. And Curry. Knocking down the three. Play again. The young man is amazing. Curry with that left hand, but he will get to the line. So the Warriors, 53 in a row at home. That continues the longest home winning streak in professional sports history. 66 and 7. Never been done in NBA history. On a mild 59 degree night in the Bay Area, it is the hottest chicken in town. Better than 20,000 making their way into Oracle Arena in Oakland. The NBA on TNT is presented by State Farm. The Washington Wizards hoping to do something that has been accomplished only seven times this season. That is defeat the defending champion, Golden State Warriors. The Wizards at 36 and 37 on the season. With Steph Curry knocking down a three. Beautiful move by Curry, and he's fouled. So Steph Curry, a 90% free throw shooter, will go to the line. Beal called for the foul. Warriors get it down in a hurry. Here's Thompson for three. Clay Thompson. Broke it up. Curry able to bat it aside. And Bradley Beal showing a little bit more than just being a shooter, averaging almost three assists a game. That one, a beautiful play to the left side. Marigal hands off to Curry. Rebounded by Barnes. Back for Curry. Yes! Curry with the steal. Here's Curry. He stops. And Steph Curry hearing it from this crowd. Able to drive and stuff. Chased by Garrett Temple, could not get to him. Wall with the crossover. Dangerous pass, and it's picked off. Livingston to the front court for the Warriors. Flips it over to Green. Curry for three. Yes! Steph Curry with no angle. Was able to cuff it and then fire and hit. Curry played by Dudley. Got the step. And the bucket. The lead is down to two. Final minute of the half. Here's Porter. Back comes Curry. Leads it out. Livingston stops. Tie game. Late run here in the first half by Golden State. And the game is tied. Curry behind his back. And hits from downtown. Thompson right back from downtown. He has 16 points. This wall as Thompson got picked off. Curry pulls it up for three. Yes. Steph Curry who shot only 7 of 16 for 20 points the other night against Philadelphia. And 2 of 9 from 3. As a comeback strong. Curry met on a switch by Morris. Barnes for 3. Yes! Now they say it's a 2. Had a foot on the line. But Harrison Barnes is able to work his way out of a brief shooting slump. Lost it off his foot. Battle for it. Curry, jump ball. 
Green from straight away for three. Draymond Green with his second three of the night. Draymond Green hits the three. He has 15 points, his third three. Morris backing Barnes. Curry put the three the legs, finds Barnes for the floater. Wall with just eight points, five rebounds, but has 11 assists. A three-pointer for Curry. He now has 24. He's six of eight. Nice play, Curry. And that will wrap it. The Warriors would have to win six of its last eight now to break the Bulls' record of 72 and 10. Set 95-96. Wizards drop to 36 and 38. So they're now three games behind. Eighth place, Indiana, and Washington is now in the number 10 slot. Well, Steph, there were times that game that uh, looked like you guys were struggling, and then you had a couple of bursts to go back to back and pick up some points to get a little daylight. But you lost a 19-point lead, and you had to come back into the game. How frustrating and how tiring is this? This uh, this NBA for you, I mean, the capable of going on runs, and it's tough to, to finish out and close out teams, uh, especially with situations going on down the stretch of the season. So you just got to stay ready. Personally, are you getting tired? You didn't have a break at all start. A lot of teams, particularly the Spurs, are wrestling players. Could you use a wrestler? I mean, seeing you and doing what you're doing, I mean, we, we got no excuses. So, uh, you know, you're an inspiration for us to, you know, just keep doing what we're doing, keep fighting. And uh, that's the mentality we have, and it's kind of contagious, so thank you. As you guys keep setting or going after these records, undefeated at home, um, Going after the Bulls, 72 wins, you have to go 6-2 and two now, and whether or not you get 400 threes, which record is the one you would appreciate the most? The, the team won uh, you know, 73, because you understand you know, that we're still talking about that Bulls team. Obviously, if we get that done, we want to end it with a championship uh, regardless, but um, to have a, a shot at, you know, a realistic shot at 73 wins in the season, we want to finish strong and, and uh, hopefully accomplish that, so that would be special. You already have an NBA record, 356 threes this year, but Brent Berry wants to know, are you going to get to 400? <laughs> I'm going to keep shooting like it, so we'll see what happens. You keep shooting, you'll keep making them, you will. Congratulations. Appreciate it, Craig. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to Vivint Smart Home Arena. The world champion Warriors are in town. That means Steph Curry will be on the court tonight. The top team in the NBA owns a five game lead on the Spurs in the Western Conference. And the Jazz are seventh, a half a game in front of Houston and a game and a half behind the Blazers with just eight games to play. The Matty, they average 31 three point attempts. They make 13 a game. Speaking of threes, the Jazz hot. They're picking up where they left off Monday night. Well, they're going to beat the Warriors tonight. They're going to be. They're going to have to make the three-point shot. They did that against the Lakers. Franchise high with the 17. As Steph makes an unbelievable move here, but still, the Jazz are playing their game plan right now against this Warriors team. Back inside, Rudy takes it up. Blocked by by Bogut. Now that last shot by Curry is just kind of a. We've gotten used to that. Thompson, bang bang. That's what the Warriors do. They hit you with five quick ones. In and out. Well, Harrison Barnes is going to keep shooting. Keeps finding open looks. Unreal. Unbelievable. Curry took that ball away from Matt and barely looked at the basket before he launched the three. He's got the quickest release in basketball. This is where he warms up, right on the spot during pregame. He's got Neto. Crosses him over. Free throw line J. It's up and in. Well, you knew what was happening. Matt goes baseline. He'll drive again to Favors on a free throw line jumper. Rebound Bogut. They're giving that shot to Favors. Bogut's not even out guarding him. Unreal. That's Deep. it. Deep. You've got to step up. You kind of knew that he was going to take it. Favors gave him about two feet. That's two feet more airspace than you can give a Steph Curry. Unbelievable. That cools a 9-0 run by Utah. And that is why Golden State is never out of a game, because they got a guy like that and Thompson that can make threes and get you right back in the ballgame. Barnes and Favors is just not right. 
Utah by 10, their largest lead. Well, they we were... just talked about how this part of the game was crucial. Curry. And there's your MVP, answering, making sure this lead doesn't get too big. Curry. Matty, it's amazing. Deep. Barely had time to turn his head and put the ball up. And just like that, Golden State 11-2 run. Ball's down on the deck, picked up by Curry. He's chewing on that mouthpiece. Gotta watch out. He did it in the, in the before halftime. He's great at hitting these last second quarter shots. He loves the range on a stop and go. Nine to shoot. Down to seven on a far away three. Got it. Or is that a two? That's a two. Got him for two. Golden State making a run in history. 72 wins by the 95-96 Bulls. Golden State 67 and 7 on the year. Corner three. Thompson. These guys are champions. They're not going to go away quietly. The Jazz are going to have to earn this one and win it. Here comes Mack. The floor opens. Push it. Up. Off. Tip. Go there! He's been the difference. Rudy with 10. His 18th double-double. 10 and 15. Tough shot. Tough shot. Golden State's picking up their pace. Curry's first two here in the fourth. Curry runs it out. Takes on Gobert. Goes baseline. Jack nights it up. And free throws coming. Matty, it is one of those nights. I got to say it. It's a buckle up night in Salt Lake. Jazz against the world champion Warriors. Three-point game. 24 seconds left. Barnes will inbound to Curry. Hayward jumps out on top. Back to Thompson. Has a look at three. Third. Rebound, Livingston. Play again. Got it. Got it. Hayward. Thompson jumps out. The clock runs. Ten to play. Down to nine. Hayward with seven. Now six. Over the top to Mack with four. Here's three. Mack blocked. Hayward at the horn. And we're going to overtime. Curry was able to get down low, use his body, and put that shot in over Hayward. Utah to push. Push the tempo. Hood in the paint. Nice wiggle. Kick it up and off. Short. Rebound. Golden State. It's a good shot. That's his shot right there. You can't ask for a better shot for Hood. Again, the Jazz have to come up big defensively. Curry shot. And a whistle. It's on Mack, his fifth. Right now, it's all about D. Big D, defense, 135, clock runs, Curry in the paint, takes on Ingles, up and in. Unbelievable, 31. 10-2 run. 10-2 run Golden State right now. Warriors on a mission. History, a must stop for Utah. Curry breaks free, skip pass, Green. And a timeout. All oh, the Jazz, so close. And now the champions of the NBA, Taking Green. over overtime. Hood picks up the loose ball. He'll pump up a quick three. Short. Lyle. Inside. Wrap around shot. And Clay Thompson rebound. Jeff Curry. All he has to do is dribble out the clock. And Golden State will go to 68 and 67. 6 and 0. Oh, it's in so overtime. True. Good teams find a way to win somehow. And bad teams. I'm not saying the Jazz are bad, but I'm saying you look at the worst teams in the NBA, Lakers, Sixers, they usually find ways to lose. This team, give them credit. I don't know how they did it tonight. I don't either. Because the Jazz beat them in all areas of the game up until the last few minutes of, the, of regulation. 17-time champion Celtics, the reigning champion Warriors meet on this NBA Friday presented by State Farm. We welcome you to Oracle Arena here in Oakland. Mike Tirico, John Barry, J.A. Adonde. The Warriors with a win tonight can become the fourth team in the history of the league to win 69 games in the same season. If they win four out of their final seven, they tie the 96 Bulls. If they win five of their final seven, they surpass them for the all-time regular season wins mark. Turner turned it over. And Draymond Green on the push. Trying not to give Curry room. Avery Bradley, long arm, good defender. This needs to get going for Golden State. And these very smart fans know that Harrison Barnes has been struggling. So good to see the first one go down and make it a 9 4 lead. Out of shorts, discombobulated, uh, unwarrior like quarter right here. Steph Great dribbled look. everybody to him and found Varajal. No points from Thompson or Curry until now.
with the three. Final seconds. Smart loses it. Jarebko with the heave. And the quarter comes to an end. Sullinger putting the moves on Thompson. And Rush who's come in and given Golden State a couple of minutes here. Just trying to find the right mix. As the Warriors have been a bit out of sorts. And the extended defense by Avery Bradley on Curry has given Steph little room <laughs> until the screen got him three. What were you saying? <laughs> you were going to say it was working pretty well. It was. It was. Curry got a little space. Knocks yeah. down the three to get the half going. His third three of the night. 364 made threes this season. Give and go. Curry and Thompson off. Clay's hand. Steph again. Steph again. Timeout, Boston. <laughs> we were in Utah down whatever with six minutes left. Uh, I, that might have been the first time I actually thought about it in the in game of like this game means something, you know, reaching 73. This might be a big win for us considering how the rest of the game went. Uh, you know, over 82 games, though, that night is kind of one that might slip away just with the schedule and how you're playing and things like that. We dug deep and found a way to get it done. And I think I was on the court. That was the first time I can honestly say I actually thought about um, the record in the context of what we were doing. So appreciate the candor that, you know, in game it was like, hey, if we don't get this one, this is going to be a lot harder. Both free throws missed, out of bounds off yeah, of here, Johnson. I, I thought that was interesting that that was the first time in game he thought about it and how important that was to this group. Mind you, that was a back to back game for them. They played Washington here the night before, and that's very difficult heading up to Utah. You head up to Denver on the second night of a back to back. Great look. Bogan on the finish. Warriors lead by three as Curry hits a three. Well, simple screen and roll. You can't just try to fight over the top and get no help. Amir Johnson, no show, no double. That's a layup for Steph Curry. Curry to the basket. Would not finish. Back to Barnes. Steph is free. Steph for three. We got ourselves a barn burner here. 14 more minutes of this. Steph Can't with wait. space. Curry foul shooting the three by Bradley. Bradley off rebound to flex in off of Draymond Green, then the hand of Marcus Smart. <laughs> oh, fucking one of those the other night, didn't we? Against Carolina. And then Carolina against Notre Dame. Guys Chief Steph. is going nuts over here on my lap. Olenek got too cute on the push. Barbosa tried to chase it down. He did. Livingston. Curry. Fake it. Take it. Making! Sullinger had the dribble handoff taken away by Curry. Good defense. Sullinger inside. No. Tipped it in. Good work by the big man. Great second effort. Whew. A good quick second jump too. That was. This is what we talked about. He didn't have this gas in the second half last year. Draymond from the top. Triple top. Sullinger. No. Curry the rebound. Minute 30 left. Step behind the back. Step to the basket. Wait it up and in. How about the speed? And just stop on the down. Go behind your back left hand. Chase it down and go glass with a little English on it. Here is Curry down the sideline, puts the mouthpiece in behind the back. Curry on the find in the corner. Barnes a big three. He hit it! One point game. It is Livingston to trigger. Two players down. No timeouts. Has to get it in. Green at the top to Curry. Steph fakes. Three for the tie. No! Jarebko tips it. Out to Barnes. Steph back. Three for the tie. No! And the Boston Celtics have stopped the record run at home of the Golden State Warriors. Six games remain on a sold-out Sunday at Oracle with the Blazers in town as the Warriors continue to chase history.
the best record ever at 68 and 8 to this point. But more importantly, the Lexus pursuit of perfection is being the one seed. The magic number is three, taking on the Blazers tonight. They're a confident group. They believe in each other. They trust. And Festus and Draymond with a D on Aminu. Curry in transition. And Clay spaces out for three. I love what Harrison Barnes did. He spotted up also. So there's one defender over there. And Stephen Curry played with that one defender. Held on the ball a little longer. Clay the return pass. Skip pass. Curry corner three. It's amazing how they give this man that much space. Steph into the shot blocker. Steph is on rebound. He wanted two free throws. That's exactly why. He could have easily made the first shot, I believe. But Parrish out checking in. Curry again. And laying it in again. By throwing it off the board so high, it comes down at an angle. So it's soft on top of the rim. Not to the side of the rim and not bouncing off it. Bouncing into it. Parrish out. That's a beautiful screen. He just cleaned up. So Curry was wide open to hit that shot. And Curry will draw the foul. Steph, step back. Oh, man. How good is Stephen Curry? He's got too good of a dance step. They cycle it to Curry. Shot clock at 12. Deep three. Good. So the Warriors, most threes ever in NBA history is now a thousand for a team. Henderson missing that three. I love how Barnes and Draymond are working the glass. Ray Thompson drifting and hitting anyway. He was ready to catch because he knew exactly where Curry was going to deliver. Lovely is chasing Curry around. He, he did a pretty good job not letting him go back door. And he eventually won the match. Of course. <laughs> Draymond's so smart, he said. Plumlee's trying to chase Curry around. I couldn't get him the first time. I'm I'll, gonna, get, I'll I'm, get it. I'm going to keep looking at him. That was funny. Steph so, and Plumlee again. Got the mismatch. I thought he gave it away when he first got it. Sets up Harrison Barnes. He hits a triple. It's only his third attempt of the game tonight. He's one out of two from three-point range. Nowhere to go there. Side of the backboard for Harkless. He's got numbers here, and Clay's got a shot. How about a dunk? Beautiful. Curry's looking to the right for a three by Thompson. He says, no, we've got a shoot too. Colin that time is firing and Curry in motion. Push ahead, Draymond. Touchdown. And he made it in. Steph hides behind the Zeely. And then the mid-range. Curry with the three. Lillard's at 51 against the Warriors. He had 50 against Toronto early March. Curry 25, Damian Lillard 25. Lillard looked better to get over that screen. Curry 3. The human torch is lit. They ran the elevator doors. Yes, they did. Closed the doors, and Lillard couldn't get through. And Lillard comes right back. And Steph Curry again. That's what it is. We said Lillard Curry. Beware the human torch. 14 of his 34. And McAdoo benefiting from the Curry attention. So Steph says, okay, you got an assist. I'll get one too. Brilliant. And Steph Curry is fouled. So Curry to the line, and we check in with Roz. Steph's got a heartless step back three. He's on it again tonight. Barbosa. He just slips by people. So 69 and 8. Magic number of two. And still ahead of the Bulls' pace for the all-time record. 
the second half, the Warriors shoot 27 of 39. They come only the fourth team to win 69 games in a season. 57% shooting for the game. And the Splash Brothers went for 60. On a beautiful 68-degree night in the Bay Area, the usual sellout crowd better than 19,000 have made their way into Oracle Arena in Oakland for game two of our special Tuesday night doubleheader, the NBA on TNT, presented by State Farm. It's the Minnesota Timberwolves facing the defending NBA champion, Golden State Warriors, who are seeking win number 70 in this historical season. The Warriors looking to become only the second team in NBA history to win 70, right behind the 72 and 10 Chicago Bulls of 1995-96. So the Golden State Warriors have an intact roster, which has been very unusual in the last month. And a oh, beautifully done. Morgan off that lead pass. 11 unanswered for the Warriors. Rubio lost it. There's Green ahead of the field. Wiggins with the steal. As Jones to his right goes the other way, Levine tried to stuff and it was stripped. You got Levine there, you got to throw that up to the spot. Barbosa finishing the break. You should never throw Levine a bad alley oop. You should err on the side of air because he gets up. <laughs> nice pass, Curry with assist number seven on the setup for Livingston. They take long twos according to their head coach Sam Mitchell, but rarely take a step back to three point uh, territory. You think about it, most of these guys haven't been around a three point line long enough in the NBA as you see the beautiful finish by Livingston. But if you're 19 and 20 years old, you haven't seen a real three point line. You've been dealing with the college three point line. So this team just needs to grow and get older. They're not going to win a championship in the next couple years. Wide open lane to the bucket by Draymond Green. We've seen Minnesota beat OKC. We've seen them beat the Clippers. We've seen them play and win some, I'm sorry, not the Clippers. We've seen them beat OKC and Chicago twice. Some really good teams, but they have to be focused every night in this league. It's Curry, a look away pass of beauty. So Andre Iguodala with the finish. Levine put, oh, beautiful move. Splits through and then Thompson with the block shot. On Zach Levine. There's Curry. Knew he was going to draw the foul, and he will go to the line. Steph Curry, who shoots 90% at the free throw line, has his first point of the game. Earlier this evening, San Antonio winning at Utah 88 to 86, with Kawhi Leonard hitting the game winner with the second remaining. Curry for three! His first field goal after eight missed shots. I just asked our producer, Ross Schneiderman, and director, Money Daniels, regarding this, the St. Louis Maroons. Is that major league baseball? I've been told that Green plays at home. It was the Union Association. So i trying to figure out, is that perhaps the predecessor to the St. Louis Cardinals or St. Louis Browns. Curry continues to be guarded by Towns on a switch. Curry on the drive. More assist by him as he sets up Harrison Barnes. It'd be fun to see Curry get 20 assists. And maybe he'll probably wish he didn't score and just had 20 assists. Something you'll never see from him as we know. Here is Curry for three. Yes. And here's Minnesota with an eight. Reading by Federal 17 and Curry has found the touch. Curry, yeah. He has exploded in the third. I used to love it when some of the best players in the game used to get mad at themselves because no one can challenge a great player like himself. And Curry has challenged himself. It's Curry with a floater. So Steph Curry now five for 15. From the field, Curry at by Towns. Working past the screen, Curry around Towns and scores! Six point Warrior lead. It's a two point Warrior lead. We're down at 20 seconds remaining. Beautiful spin by Wiggins. Remember what Kerr said, he's never worried about Curry knocking down the shot. 
We're down to two. Down to one. Is it too late? It is waved off. We go to overtime. 12-2 run here by Minnesota. 350 left in the five-minute overtime. Curry will stop. Livingston. Yes. And the foul. Shot clock to five. Oh, strong move by Towns. What a performance by the rookie. 17 points, 11 rebounds. Curry! Yes, and the foul. He doesn't have to stand behind that line for the, his shot to count for three. We know he's automatic from the free throw line, but this is why he's the best shooter in the game. Because he can do more than shoot, and you do not know how to guard him. The little smack in the face right there was the foul. A strong finish, the chance for the and one. Three point attempt once again is missed. Steph Curry now seven for 25, and that will do it. The T Wolves with the win over the Warriors here in Oakland. A Minnesota team that is 26 and 52. That's the third worst record in the West. They lost four of their previous five, but they pull it off, preventing the Warriors from win number 70. Golden State is now 69 and 10, which means they can only match the Bulls 72 and 10 uh, from back in the 95-96 season. Packed house at Oracle Arena, Oakland, California. It's the 174th consecutive sellout despite the magnificent season. These folks are concerned about a Warrior team that has lost two of its last three games. The NBA on TNT is being presented by State Farm. And tonight, a matchup of two of the best the San Antonio Spurs, the Golden State Warriors, meeting. For the third time this season, Golden State at 69 and 9, San Antonio 65 and 12. The Warriors' magic number to clinch top spot in the NBA for home court advantage throughout remains at two. You know, Marvin, games like this I've noticed that in every point guard is good in this league, it seems, but Tony Parker usually is really aggressive against the best point guards early and often in games like these. Thompson at Rose, Ray Thompson from downtown. Man, I would all to say that the value of tonight is getting more familiar with Golden State. How do we guard them? Work through the other X's and O's. They're more of a conventional team than we are. So as we see and hear the emotion here, Marv, a lot of strategy and planning for the playoffs in full effect. Oh, Curry with a beautiful move to penetrate. Did not see that at all Tuesday night against the T-Wolves. You're exactly right. He's saying if you're going to force me to drive, I'm going to drive all the way with the purpose and the thought of scoring. There's five on the shot clock. Here's Curry. Yes. Beautifully done by, by Steph Curry. The second bucket, both have been around the basket. Just five tenths of a second to go in the quarter. Let's see if Curry take, he does take the set. And goes front rim. <laughs> and did it so casually. And he's upset with himself that he didn't make it. It's a 90 footer. It's okay. Aldridge. Another rebound for Bogan. Here's Curry with room. Yes. And he's saying to himself, finally, Warriors at 69 and 9, looking for win number 70. The runner by Curry and has been too much showtime as of late. Those are the words of Steve Kerr. Duncan not able to hit. Here comes Curry. Whips it over to Green. Beautifully done. And the Warriors have taken a 60 to 45 lead. Greg Popovich takes timeout. Houston losing to Phoenix, 124-115. So Houston now game and a half behind Utah. Here's Aldridge, game and a half behind Utah for eighth place in the West. Steph Curry. He's been doing it with layups tonight. He has 11. 62-47, Golden State. Curry with a runner, banks it home. He, that's how he plays horse. I mean, that's just a, a game out in the park for him. So many moves in his repertoire because of his great ball handling ability. That's a three. 16 for Curry. That's his second three-pointer. 
thing I remember about that team is that they just had a workmanlike attitude. I asked Coach Kerr what are the similarities between those teams, and he said maturity. Oh, the pass from Curry to Bogut. And that's part of that maturity, understanding when you have an open teammate and when you don't. I don't believe in comparing players or teams from different eras, but Scottie Pippen does, and he told the well, Bogut just told the rim, I own you. But Scottie Pippen says, listen, we have the best. He's kind of like those Miami Dolphins teams that pop the bottle of champagne every year that the team doesn't go undefeated and win the Super Bowl. He believes his team is the best, but I say, hey, they're the best of that era. This team is the best this year. Martin is a flat-out scorer, and he's embraced that ugly jump shot of his, and it knocks down. Whoa. Steph Curry! He embraces that beautiful layup right there off the glass, and I believe that Kevin Martin is really going to help this team come down the stretch. Yes, his jump shot is unconventional, but it goes down. He can get to the free throw line with these and just to score. Here's Curry again. Yeah, oh, he's, he's been unstoppable in the third quarter. A hesitation move there by Curry. Got it to Green. 83-67. Warriors, final minute, third quarter. Curry putting out a dribbling exhibition. Goes high. Oh, that's Livingston on the steal was tipped away by Curry. Curry whips it back out. Green from straight away. So Green on Green. Green! With his second three, he has 16 points. Here's Curry getting inside, and the foul is called. In the uh, chase for an NBA record 73 win, Steph Curry is on record saying that, listen, uh, it can't be an excuse that we put ourselves in this situation, and it's now draining to us to finish. He says, I think we are mature enough, and we've got enough of an edge to get it done. We've just got to figure it out. Well, it looks like Golden State has done that tonight. They figured it out. Steve Kerr in those timeouts talking about stops, scores, offensive flow. And clearly the Oracle is alive and loving what the Warriors are doing tonight as they reach for number 70. It is a completely different atmosphere than we had here two nights ago. Yeah, you're not used to seeing Warriors fans walk out the building with their head down, but that's why Minnesota Timberwolves, and if you heard Wiggins after the game, they felt confident after that win. And, you know, this is a copycat league, and hopefully some coaches start to use ball movement in their offense, as does the Warriors, because you can still let your one-on-one -on -one players go to work. But it's a much more exciting game. Players like playing in it because they know they're going to touch the ball. And then you can have players like this do that. That's his third three of the game. Three games left for Golden State, two in Memphis and the one at San Antonio. They have to win all three to surpass the Bulls for best record in NBA history. If they win two of three, they equal the record. Time has run out. That'll do it. The Golden State Warriors with a strong performance against the San Antonio Spurs. They win it 112-101. to 101. They are the second team in NBA history to hit the 70 mark in the win column. Well, Steph, your thoughts on your 70th win of this season, securing the number one seed for you guys? Obviously a big win. We've been uh, kind of stu stumbling a little bit the last two or last three home games here. So uh, against a team like that, that uh, we're playing at a high level. We want to come in and get a win, and that's what we did. How were you guys able to turn things around here Tuesday night? There was no energy, it seems, in the team, in the building. Why were things so different tonight? Uh, I think we got a little, you know, for lack of a better term, pissed off about uh, you know how how we played last game. We wanted to, to come out and have the opportunity to show what we're about and build momentum into the playoffs. So we have three more opportunities to do that and uh, get ready for the postseason. As you guys make this chase for 73, how do you balance out the energy needed for that record as opposed to that major goal, that bigger goal of winning another NBA title? I think our priority tonight was about how we played it. I mean, we obviously wanted to win, and that uh, is important to us, but how we play these next three games leading into the playoffs is how we focus on the big goal. And in, in the process, if we get three wins, that'd be great. But, you know, putting 48, 48 minutes together on both ends of the floor is important for us to, to focus on as we go forward. So, yeah, that's our mission. All right, Steph, thanks a lot. Yes, sir. The pursuit to have the greatest regular season in the history of the NBA continues tonight at the FedEx Forum, a sellout crowd here in Memphis, Tennessee on an NBA Saturday presented
by State Farm. Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. From the first game of the season, they've been the NBA's best team, the most entertaining team, and now with a chance to make history. Three games to go, three victories away from surpassing these Chicago Bulls. And once again, doing it from a packed house here on the road. Stevenson has to put it up quickly. And Stevenson knocks down the three. And yes, there are Grizzly fans here as well. It's a great home court when the Grizzlies are playing well. As Barnes knocks down a three. So we're three for three from downtown to start. The two teams have taken nine shots. Eight of them have been from three-point range. Curry to Azili. Count it and a foul. Now John Stockton's st stars would have been all over his jersey because he did it at 41 years of age. He played all 82. So I don't think it's too much to ask guys to actually come to work. The amount of players in the NBA is Thompson releases and hits it on a beautiful three-quarters court pass. The amount of NBA players who play every game is so small now. That's why I'm giving them a million. If Michael Jordan, the greatest player in our era, did it, it's good for everybody. He played every night for his fans. Curry pulls back. Curry off the glass, banks it in. Both teams hot start shooting. 60% for Golden State, 70% for Memphis. Curry floats it up to Azili. Beautiful pass from Steph Curry. And Curry already with four assists with five minutes to go here in the first. Beautiful pass by Curry and the finish by Azili. Curry again floats it up and Azili throws it down. Two beautiful connections. And it's perfectly designed because Clay Thompson is the shooter on that side. So it puts Lance Stevenson in a bind. Do you help or do you stay at home? Farmar finds some space. Misses badly. Curry the rebound. Warriors drive. Curry. Beautiful shot off the glass on the reverse. Oh, another nice feed. Seven assists already for the Golden State Warriors. This is awful defense right now by the Memphis Grizzlies. Well, Steph Curry's father, Dell, was a terrific shooter, one of the best shooters in the NBA throughout his career. One of the places he played was in Toronto with the Raptors, and his teammate was Vince Carter, who has fond memories of a little kid who was always hanging around. I just remember coming out, getting my workout in right before the game, and once I've, I finished my workout, I'm telling Steph to come on. We, we usually play one-on-one -on -one before each game. Now. All of a sudden, the NBA and to play against them, see him win the MVP, see him win a championship. I'm just like, man, this is the same kid <laughs> that I used to play one-on-one -on -one against. And he had it all then. His mindset is like, hey, this time I'm going to beat you. You know, I love what Carter said as Green throws it in, that he, he's really proud of Steph Curry because he's earned everything that he's got. I bet Dave Yeager... And so you have to figure it at some of the practices with all the shuffling in and out, there's some guys that he wasn't sure of who their name was. Well, you're giving Charles Barkley too much credit. Half? He's not going to get a quarter of that group. <laughs> you think so? I think he's going half. No way. It's not a chance to chuck the, the name half of them. Again, this is the NBA, Mike. You saw it the other night. Utah losing at home to a depleted... Clipper team as Curry knocks in his first three. Livingston, Curry for three. It's good. Second three-pointer for Curry. Barnes hits all three free throws. 22 points for Matt Barnes. 13 rebounds. Curry for three. Got it. Again, Curry sets the screen on the ball. Just a miscommunication for a moment leads to the open three-point shot. Curry, beautiful pass, and the foul. Draymond Green with a chance for a three-point play to cut it to two. Barnes off the mark, rebound Curry. Oh, and they got away with a foul on Vince Carter there. Draymond Green grabbed his jersey. Curry with Randolph on him. Randolph hounding him. Curry to Barnes for three. Bang! Warriors take the lead with 140 remaining. Munford goes right at Green, can't get to the goal. Barnes has it, and Barnes hammered by Draymond Green. He'll shoot two. Remember, this was a team that Golden State beat by 50 earlier this season. Jaeger takes out Jack Randolph and 
allows Green to defend Green, so he's better in pick and roll situations. Curry drives, gets inside, off the glass, tipped up and in by Draymond Green, but they wave it off. They're going to go review it. They call a goaltend, which means they can, or interference. The ball didn't look like it was above the cylinder when Green initially tipped it. It's a huge call, obviously, with a minute to go. So they overturn the ruling. It counts. Warriors do not have a foul to give. Grizzlies still have a time. Stevenson drives. Underneath shot block. Tip. Stevenson gets it back. Puts it up. Off the side. Out of bounds with five tenths of a second remaining. And that's it. The Warriors survive. 71 wins. And the pursuit of NBA history is still very much alive. Steph, how does your group, when it looks like things are getting awry, how do you continue to find a way when it matters to make those plays? Uh, I really don't know. Tonight was a weird one where we played pretty well in the first half um, and just you know, couldn't find any mojo down the stretch. You know, a lot of winning plays in the defensive end, especially uh, Draymond with Zebo, that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Uh, he took that challenge on. Play uh, that last possession right there on, on Lance. So when you have the opportunity to seal the deal with, with the defensive end, that's usually when we, we step up. In what ways beyond playing does Draymond Green affect this team? Because if half he had words for you, what exactly did he say? We got to play with a purpose. It's uh, you know they came out with a lot of energy with a lot on the line um, with their playoff seed and all that. We kind of came out just kind of blah so we had to play with purpose play with passion have fun doing what we do and that's what we did uh, down the stretch Steph what concern is there long term that this pursuit has taken some sort of emotional mental drain on on your group long term any concern at all Nah, I think it you know we'll see what happens next next weekend when the playoffs start but it might uh, rejuvenate us once we get hopefully you know these next two wins to you know set our sights strictly on that championship we're, we're, we're doing okay right now uh, down the stretch trying to uh, build momentum, but uh, we haven't played our best, so we got to find that as we uh, look forward to next week. Steph, thank you. Yep. Mike. The final regular season road game in a building that has been a haunted house for the Warriors. Taking on the Spurs for the final time in the regular season with history in the air. Do the Warriors get to 72? Did they finish with the most road wins in NBA history? We're going to find out in 48 minutes if the Warriors join the Bulls forever tonight. San Antonio defensively here. We've talked about that how dominant they are, and they make you pay for your mistakes. Curry created a little space and hits the jumper. Very physical with Tony Parker there. And Patty Mills is stalking Steph Curry, who rails a three. That continues the NBA record now, 151 straight games with the three made for Steph Curry. Why Leonard riding Curry down the lane to lay it in or out, but then draw the foul. The Warriors have to get stops, and we'll say it a lot. There's a nice little back door. When you don't see the ball, and Patty Mills got caught there. They can make a pass right by your ear. Steph likes this one-on-one -on -one here. And they're looking, oh, oh, ball. Patty Mills took one of the chops, and Livingston gets a dunk. Well, Ross just talked about being physical, as Steve Kerr mentioned. Parker missing, and Brandon Rush high for that rebound. Brandon three, that's a big play. But see, he's going to be open, as I said. Harrison Barnes is going to be open. Brandon Rush, you've got to get that in your mindset and be ready to catch and shoot. All the quickness of Parker. Well, the Warrior guards have to do a better job keeping someone in front. And Clay Thompson's on the board. He hits a three. So you mentioned two of 19 the last time Steph and Clay were here. They're two of four on threes tonight. And Clay Thompson stole the inbound. He and Draymond combining on the steal. Curry, little push shot, banking it home, and the Warriors have the lead. They have no idea he's going to stop and go for a bank shot there. Good luck here. Curry hitting a three. Why Leonard, the post up on Clay Thompson. Stay down on the pump fake, stay down. Turn around, he shot it long, and Curry rebound in motion. 
Stefan pulls up for the three. Okay, he's feeling it. This is what I'm talking about. When the game starts to open up, it usually starts with him. Curry, a little teardrop, good. See, they've broken the ice a little bit with early offense in this quarter. Aldridge well defended that time. Curry in seeking space. Steph attacking. Good catch by Barnes, saved the turnover. Curry gets it back, his three is perfect! Oh, they're moving the ball, they're moving themselves. Open spaces and they're finding them. Curry, 13 in the corner. Curry soaring in to finish. Field goal and the foul for the MVP. Mills from deep, missed it wide right. And Curry from 65, he backed it in! And they waved it off. Well, that was good replay because it's at 0-0. When you're scrambling for the ball and Steph Curry's in the vicinity, get away from it, let him take it because he knows how to hit shots past half court. Long way to go with 5.37 left. Only eight to shoot here. Nearly a backcourt violation. Raymond saved it. Curry to beat the buzzer. He banked it in! Banked it in with a right-hand runner. You can say luck, but it just happens too often. He makes his luck. I'm telling you, sometimes he's charmed. Evan Martin and Kawhi with David West and Aldridge. Curry deflected it. Stephen with the steal. Stephen a foot race. Running to Clay Thompson to dunk it down. Patience. Stephen down the lane. And he's roofed but fouled. Well, up nine here. You're playing the Spurs and the clock. Yes, and they know it. The Spurs feel it. They were a little down after not converting there. Curry weaving through traffic. Stefan inside to lay it in. I think the streak is about to be over. Mr. Fitzgerald. Curry, the ball handling, the skill, the finish. He's a wizard. This is going to help them if they meet them in the Western Conference Finals. Final eight seconds, that one blocked. No need to shoot, no need to foul. The Golden State Warriors have equaled the Chicago Bulls as the only two teams in NBA history to be 72 wins and one game remaining on Wednesday. San Antonio gave them their best shot, but all of a sudden, the Warriors offense prevailed with that much talent, and Stephen Curry, what a tremendous second half on this play. All season long, we've heard the comparison between those Bulls and these Warriors. Warriors have put up amazing numbers all season. That number 73, that's the only one that matters tonight. An electric atmosphere here at Oracle Arena. Many of these fans have been here for hours. Dub Nation, as they call themselves, out in full force. They have witnessed brilliant basketball all season. Tonight they have a chance to witness history. Oh, and yes, the opponent, the Memphis Grizzlies, still so banged up. Boy, do they fight hard on Saturday night and almost beat Golden State. Still shorthanded, still going to the playoffs. But what a tough task tonight before a crowd that is ready to roar and have been ready to roar for the past couple of hours. The victory the other night against San Antonio, putting them in this position to go for the record here in front of their home fans. Another sellout crowd, 175th consecutive sellout. Barnes, Green, misses the tip and is fouled on the second. The shot will not count. He was fouled on the second tip. And Draymond Green will shoot. Randolph can't hit. Rebound finds its way back to Randolph. And he puts it up and in. And again, Memphis playing without Mark Gasol, playing without Mike Connolly, amongst others as Clay Thompson rattles one home. Bogut has been one of those Warriors, along with Andre Iguodala, as Randolph knocks it down. He's tried, not necessarily to downplay, but talk more about the championship, whereas players like Draymond Green and Steph Curry, very vocal of how important this night is to them. Green off the Randolph miss. Green finds Curry, open three, puts it in. Farmar calmly sinks that one. 
You know everybody in this building just wants to crown this team as the greatest regular season record of all time. What's going through your mind as a Grizzly? Well, you're not going to just give it to him as Harrison Barnes knocks down the shot. You coming in with the mentality to protect history and also make a statement because this is a team that's you know, been questioned all season long themselves. Randolph the rebound, back out Carter. Carter well beyond the arc, hits the three-pointer. And the Grizzlies tie it up. Curry, another three. Got it. But if you're Jordan Farmer guarding Curry, you can't try to shoot the gap and give him space. Farmer answers back with a little shot of his own. Randolph gets inside. And Randolph still as good as it gets down low in the post at 34 years old. Quickly down the other end is Draymond Green. It's Curry to the basket. Blocked by Barnes, but a foul. As Curry goes down. Jordan Farmar. Andre Iguodala's in. Cut to the basket. When I was lucky enough to be with the Bulls 20 years ago, it was an incredible uh, journey. And when we won our 72nd game, I remember thinking, there's no way anybody is ever going to do this again. Because it, it's... It's so hard, and we had Michael Jordan. You know, Michael personally won 15, 20 games, just, you know, games we shouldn't have won. He just would win. Steve said that Judd Bushler, Poway's finest, was actually taking credit for 10 wins in that Bulls <laughs> great season. So Jordan was ready for 15, Bushler <laughs> for 10, and Curry, oh my goodness. From about five feet beyond the arc, and it's a five-point lead. Bogut with the block. Green, back to Curry. Bang! Curry, again! Steph Curry early and often putting on a show. It's all about giving a man space. You can't get upset if you're a coach when he shoots that. That's just greatness. But it's inexcusable to lose him in transition. If you're the Memphis Grizzlies, find ways to stay connected to Steph Curry. When you don't, there is a price to pay. Come on, fellas, get connected. That's the back-to-back -back MVP in this league. Has this place going crazy and rightfully so. My goodness. Mama, there goes that man. And that man now with five three-pointers already, and we're just under four minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Well, it's been so much fun to watch him play with such joy this year and smile and enjoy the moment. <laughs> three, another three. That's seven three-pointers. Curry with five of them, but there's seven of 15 from downtown. Stevenson, turnaround shot is good. And Stevenson will play a very important role for the Grizzlies in the playoffs. Livingston, one-hander. I like what a lot of these D-League guys have shown. Jermichael Green, I think, has shown up well. <laughs> but why are they shooting the gap on Curry? I... They're giving him space. Curry downtown. Tipped up and in by Azealu. Barnes drives, blocked by Azealu. With nine tenths of a second remaining. Chance of Warriors, chance of MVP. And the MVP will sit down as Leandro Barbosa comes in. This crowd has been on its feet almost the entire first period. Livingston throws it up. Azealu throws it down. Boy, Festus Azili back and looking strong. His sixth game back after missing 31 games following knee surgery. Livingston, pull-up jumper. Livingston is a career-high field goal percentage this year. 54% from the field. Unford knocked down by Barnes. Green comes flying in for the follow. 
Livingston rifles a pass, open three, Barbosa. Nine threes already for Golden State. They have been kings of the court all season long. 34 road games, an NBA record passing the Bulls. 54 straight at home going back to last season, first 36 this season. First team ever never to lose back-to-back -back games and ever not to lose to the same opponent twice. Over a thousand three-pointers, NBA record. And Curry on the verge of 400 three-pointers. They're even right now, but ready to take that next step and get number 73. Livingston pass to Spates. Steps back. Mo Buckets puts him back up 18. Stevenson catch. Nice fancy pass. Count it and a foul. Sweet look from Stevenson and Jermichael Green with a chance for a three-point play. Hairston throws it up and Green can't handle it. Warriors push. Thompson steps, fires, hits. Timeout Grizzlies. Green throws it off Martin's back. Barnes throws it up. Spates brings it down. Jermichael Green gets it to go. You never see them as Thompson hits another three. You never see them where they're missing open people and then their bigs can really pass. And that makes a huge difference. Martin shot. Another one of the young players, Jerome Martin, just 24. First round pick out of LSU. Thompson again. The onslaught continues. Lead up to 20. They've got 12 three-pointers. Bad pass. Green quickly ahead to Iguodala. Back out Curry. Curry for three. It's good. The rookie Munford on Curry. Heard Dave Hager tell about it. It's a good learning experience for his rookie. Thompson catch and shoot again. Play Thompson from downtown. Curry and Green get a lot of publicity. And he is just lights out. But Mark, as you always talk about, he is more than just a shooter. He was basically the defensive stopper for them winning the gold medal. And he didn't come into this league as a defensive stopper. The guy is an incredible basketball player. And not just Steph Curry's side. Nice follow there from Darrell Martin. As we hit the final minute of the first half. Bullet pass. Curry finishes. What a look from Andre Iguodala. 70 first half points for Golden State. Randolph back to Carter. Vince Carter steps back and hits. If this team was healthy, Memphis, they're a beast to play. They are a tough team. And they play differently than a lot of teams now in the league. Old-fashioned way as Curry does it. 400 three-pointers in a season. Curry drives off the glass and in. Barnes misses. We do have this fascination with round numbers. Although 73 is not a round number. Curry hits again. Stephen Curry from way downtown. His ninth three-pointer of the game. Another dazzling display of long-distance shooting. Curry floats it in, underhanded, and Dave Yeager calls timeout. Another Curry explosion. I mean, we have never seen this type of range. And he's so much better from when he first came in the league in finishing around the basket. The finger roll here from Gervin Land. I would set a date right now and retire Steph Curry's jersey number. He's been that great. I'm not going to wait. We can have a celebration 10, 15, 20 years from now. But right now, what he's done to change this organization is absolutely incredible. As Thompson misses badly. Curry gets the rebound and banks it in. And that obviously is so huge. Alley up to Bogut. Draymond Green with his seventh assist. Nice feed inside. Iguodala. 
Coming up on two minutes remaining here in the third. Randolph so crafty down low. 22 points for Randolph. Livingston to Green. They got Munford on him. Green goes across, lays it in. Curry saw the switch and immediately told Green to get down low. Munford shot can go. Azili. Seven boards for Azili. Curry drives. Scoop layup is good. 43 for Curry. And Lance Stevenson converts at the other end. Back out Livingston. Draymond Green. 17 three-pointers for the Golden State Warriors. The lead back up to 21. Curry catches. Three-pointer. Bang! I got to have a talk with Xavier Mumford after the game. Staying on Curry's body. Randolph doesn't get it off in time. That shot will not count. As Steph Curry with his 10th three-pointer of the night. He's got 46. And Barnes misfires. So it would be, once they cement this one, 140 over two now. The Bulls at 172. They won 69 the next year. As Barnes rattles in a three. 19th three-pointer of the game for Golden State. Mike, getting back to what you just finished talking about, the credit coming off of winning a championship. I've been part of teams as Harrison Barnes hits a tough turnaround jump shot. Barbosa on the inbound. And these fans continue to celebrate. It has been an electric atmosphere all night long. These great Warrior fans, known as Dub Nation, they have been spoiled rotten with their team's play here at Oracle Arena. It's going to be two straight years where they're 39 and 2 at home. And they're doing the wave. That officially means you're bored. <laughs> Is this 2016? I think it's like party like it's 1989. <laughs> Martin throws it away. Five minutes left. Harrison Barnes misses the dunk. But space right there to clean it up. Space. Timeout Memphis. Space knocks it down. Brandon Rush, who had some big moments early in the season. Harrison Barnes missed 16 games with an ankle injury. Rush filled in. And he played well. So many different players playing roles for these Golden State Warriors. And they'll dribble it out. Final seconds here at Oracle Arena. It's official number 73. The greatest regular season in NBA history now belongs to the 2016 Golden State Warriors. Vince Carter, who played one-on-one -on -one with Steph Curry when he was 12 years old, when Carter was teammates with Del Curry in Toronto. That he's proud of the young man, what he's become. Steph, congratulations on what has been a truly extraordinary individual season for you. You cross the 403 platform, you go for that efficient 450, 40, 90, and you become the first guard since Michael Jordan to average 30 and shoot over 50%. What has driven you to this level of play? Uh, blessed to play this game and have great teammates to sit up with every single night. So I, I try to keep getting better, uh, keep pushing myself, and try not to have any kind of limit. And that's that's what's going you know, motivates me every single night. What kind of character has been required from your guys in the pursuit of this historic mark? I mean, that's that's everything for us. We have there's so many guys that sacrifice. They, everybody has a, a role in this team, and they come in every night with that focus of uh, playing that role to the best of their ability and just. No one that's going to be the best uh, way for us to win games. So practice days, travel days, game days, all, all being locked in and tied in together, um, that's what it takes. In what way did the pursuit of this mark help you in what will ultimately be your goal, which is a championship? How did this pursuit help that? I mean, it just keeps us focused down the stretch. We don't have uh, any, any room for error. Uh, you know, we're getting every team's best shot. And for us to keep that playoff kind of mentality and that playoff focus for our ultimate goal which is obviously the championship these last two weeks have been uh, mentally and physically challenging so uh, I think it's made us better 
and uh, we'll, be, we'll be fresh for this weekend. It's hard to imagine you getting to 79 without that 24-0 start. So you think back to some of the comments made after last year's championship. Thank you to Festus for not letting me be a part of that. <laughs> okay, can you share that note? No, I don't want okay, to. Okay, no worries, no worries. <laughs> it's hard to imagine, Steph, getting a 79 without, excuse me, 73 and 9 without that 24-0 start. So I want to go back to some of the comments made after the championship and the MVP vote and all that. How much of what was said about your championship a season ago drove this group to where you are? Kept everybody uh, motivated over the summer, I'll say. So, um, I mean, at the end of the day, when we set up a training camp, it was obviously talked about and this and that. Um, and we wanted to have a, a great start to the season, which is what we did with that 24-0 that, uh, start. And then from there, just you know, raise the bar of uh, expectation for ourselves. That's really all, all it's about is the expectation we put on ourselves in that locker room that uh, we don't need any, we don't need any extra uh, motivation, but we're, we're seeming to be getting it a lot. Your smile at the start of that question told me all I needed to know. Thank you so much, Steph. Yeah, yeah, yeah.